<clears throat> All righty. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good day, good night, wherever you are, wherever you may be. <clears throat> okay. Pardon me. So I've been fine all day, and now all of a sudden I got a nice little tickle cough. Wonderful sinuses. <coughs> okay, leave it to going on live to trigger sinuses. All right, let's see here. I'm actually ahead of the game, despite being a couple of minutes late for a change. And guess what? Somebody else is going to be relatively on time for their normal appearance. Let's see what we got here. All righty. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Might not. You got beat out, dude. Tina Lewis. Good evening and welcome. You're the first one in the door tonight. Hello there, Diamond Painting Gammy. Nicole Applegate. Oops, sorry, I did not know. I'm corrected on that, mutt nut. All right. Diamond Travis gets creative. Good evening to you. All right. Let's see. Yep. That's Tina Lewis again. Diamond Ganny, Mutt Nut. Travis gets creative. Anita Johnson. Hello. How are you doing tonight? Hope you're getting better. Dreamers Craft Corner. Good evening, Linda. Uh, let's see. Da, 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 da. I'm a smooth diamond painter. I can't say it like Nick's does, but uh, you get the idea. Uh, let's see. Travis, Nita, Mutt Nut, Travis, Tijuana. Good evening to you. Hello, Amber. Welcome. Uh, let's see. Nita, Aaron Colley. Good evening to you. Oh, uh, let's see. Yep, Linda, I heard you got a few more birds here recently. Uh, da -da -da -da, Tina Lewis. Oh, crap. It scrolled on me. Lost my place. Uh, let's see. Da -da -da -da. Where was I at? Where was I at? All right, there's Linda's comment. And my, not Tina. I'm a smooth diamond painter. Amber, hello. Amber Vaughn. We have two embers in the house tonight. Uh, let's see. Uh, okay. Did I miss somebody there, Anita? I don't see a Karina. Who is Karina? Where did I, did I miss a Karina? Is there somebody else named Karina that's got a different screen name? All right. Uh, Nita, you'll have to tell me who that is. I'm not sure who Karina is, but anyway, good evening. And also an Aaron. Raylene Prather, hello and good evening to you. Punks and Crafts, good evening. Risa Young, good evening to you as well. Uh, do, 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 do. Jen M, good evening and welcome to you. Uh, do, do, what? Hello. Yes. Uh, okay. Rat wants his fame. This is Rocket, the big boy of the bunch. Say hello to everybody. All right. Let's get the butt there. This is Rocket, everybody. Uh-oh. We have oh. somebody made an appearance. Okay. Oh, uh, let's see. Deb Gossman, Reese Young, I'm a smooth diamond painter, Jen M. Colleen Fisher, good evening, Colleen. Hey, stop. You didn't say that correctly. That's a, I'm a smooth diamond painter. Uh, I already made my uh, statement for not saying it the same way you do. Hey, you got to do it correctly or don't do it. Well, get in here on time. I'm here. <laughs> hey, I'm only five minutes late this time instead of 30. Say rocket, mm. you little teddy bear. All right. Uh, Dreamers Craft Corner, Travis, Mutt, Nut, Anita, Tina Lewis, Aaron Colley, Brandy Stevens. Good evening to you. Uh, do, 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 do. 
I think I'm at the bottom. Heidi Lease, good evening. Jen M. Diamond Painting with Gammy, Anita Johnson, Travis Gets Creative, Deb Gossman, Miranda Root. And that's the bottom of my list. I relinquished controls. I love you. Thank you so very much. He is our, what is it when you go to the show? Uh, you go to a. The MC. Uh, yeah. He's he's the I'm, the I'm the Ed McMahon. He yeah he's the Ed McMahon or the MC or whatever. Okay, I got that. I got that. I don't need that. Uh, I am missing. Hi guys, give me two seconds. I got some serious goodies. Okay, Ellie, you're gonna have to get off for the mama. Not tonight. Somebody over here is wanting to play. Well, drag this one with you. Uh, just put her on the floor. He'll keep her occupied. Yeah, she's on the floor. Uh, he's in play mode. Hi, everybody. Literally, I am playing Jenga in my office right this minute. Up oh, there it is. Okay. I did take off the stream deck for you. You took off stream deck? The, the pad you wanted you on? I, I have no clue what you're talking about. The button pad. Oh, thank you. I don't use that stupid thing. Pay too much money for it. And if y'all use Stream Deck, more power to you. Please excuse me for a second because my nose is go bonkers here. As y'all know, I just woke up. Uh, did I do my hair? No. This is what it is. Why you think I wear a hat? All right. Let me get my... My rearranging here because he always puts me cockeyed. Y'all know I got, oh, good gravy. I got 101 windows open. Uh, okay, let's see. Where are you? Okay, you are YouTube. You go over here. You are StreamYard. You go over here. Uh, there you go. I don't know what you are, but you can go away. Uh, we pop this out. Oh, these lights are bright tonight. Uh, pop out chat. And then I will be going down the list. If you are on Facebook and our Twitch, we are streaming in three different sections at one time. Uh, uh, it's not that we miss you on YouTube. Uh, our Facebook is the fact that uh, uh, nobody is, um, uh, one of my mods is over there, but go to YouTube. You, you get better response. I am getting rocks thrown at me. Knox River is in the house. Hello, 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 Knox River. Sweetheart, if you won't come play with us tonight, give me a shout uh, via Facebook Messenger. I will be more than happy to send you the link so you can come hang out and play with us tonight and tell us about any new goodies that you've got going on. Uh, let me let me run down the list real here here real quick and and tell y'all how it goes. Anita Johnson, hello, my darling. I am so glad that, that you are feeling a little better. Diamond painting with Gammy. Hello, mwah, Gammy. Travis gets created. Oh, my heart. Love you, Travis. Not to mention him and Anita are the two fastest uh, link slingers in the West. Well, for me in the, uh, 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 in the East. So uh, we got Mutter. How you doing there, Mutter, my crazy little... My my girl, mm, mother it mother is a mother is a doll. I love her to death. Uh, Tijuana Crafter, aka Karina. Hello, my darling. Happy birthday to Scott. Uh, Amber. Hello, darling. Uh, Dreamers Craft Corner, aka Linda Ewall. Hello, hello, hello. As the hubby said earlier. Uh, Linda's got her some new birdies. Uh, Tina Lewis, hello, darling. And here we go. This is the way it's properly pronounced. I'm a smooth diamond painter. 
How you doing there, my darling? Amber Vaughn, uh, 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 Raylene Prather, I, yay me. Punks and Crafts is in the house tonight. Hello and welcome. Oh my gosh, it's so fabulous to see you. Thank you for gracing us with your beautiful presence this evening. Uh, I hope you guys are doing fabulous. Um, it is great to see you guys. Uh, I, I feel like the, 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 the Queen of England has, has walked the door. Uh, because I love Knox and Punks and Crafts. And uh, oh my gosh. Risa Young, hello, sweetheart. Welcome, Jen M. Hello, uh, Deb Gooseman. Hi, darling. Uh, Colleen Fisher, hello, my sweetheart. Uh, Patricia Strauss, hi. How you doing? Come on in. Come on in. Come on in. Uh, and and again, thank you for the rocks because uh, there is a rock uh, icon. And usually when it's important and somebody wants my attention, they throw rocks at me. So uh, I'm going down the list here. And if I have missed your name, uh, raise your hand, throw a rock. Uh, Heidi Lee and uh, Deb Gusman going down, going down. Uh, and the screen jumped. Uh, Anita goes, Knox River's here. Hi, Knox. Oh, my goodness. Yes, Knox is here. And again, Knox is welcome to come play with us live tonight if she would like. Uh, she's just got to let me know. Uh, Punks and Crafts is in the house. And Scott S., happy birthday to you. Diana Decknap. Diana, I got your order, Barbie. It is completed and will be going out the door this week. I am so, so, so sorry that it has taken 40 forevers to get to you. However, I wasn't expecting to be in bed for 24 days with COVID. So uh, I do apologize for the length, but your order is on its way and you're in Belgium anyway. So it might take just a smidge. Um diamonds and drew aka lee k hello hello come on in come on in come in in jen does diamonds hi hi uh so anyway i believe that is shout outs and hellos to everybody uh give me two seconds here i gotta see what the hubby has done here i don't think he sent the right uh okay Give me, give me, give me two seconds here. Uh, copy and let's see. There we go. Paste that one. Uh, paste that one and paste that one and Knox. Again, Knox, I'm going to send you the link, my darling. You want to come hang, you are more than welcome to. Uh, please do not feel pressured. Or um, you obligated, you do not have to if you do not want to. However, the invite is there. You know my door is always open and you are always welcome. So, uh, anyway, uh, what have we got going on tonight? Oh, my goodness, guys. Um, I have got some serious... Debbie Day goodies that I have got to show you guys. Oh, man. Uh, may I join in a bit later? Of course. Of course, punks and crafts. Uh, not a problem. Hey, the door is open whenever you feel like walking through it. All you got to do is show up. Uh, and uh, let me forget uh, Miss Debbie Day, uh, who is extremely shy and she goes, people don't like the way I talk because she got this very deep Aussie accent. And I said, ain't nobody going to make no fun of you. And the first person that does is going get to get, get a good right hook. Um, but anyway, Debbie is extremely shy. And I would love, 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 hint, hint for her to come and hang with us however um again i totally get it i don't want nobody to feel pressured and or feel like they have to this just my door's open you want to come play come play come hang out you know you're welcome 
All right, why do I feel like I'm forgetting something? Other than the fact that I just woke up, I'm still working on my hot tea from my fabulous mug that says stay wild moon child it was a birthday present from my bff and my beautiful real life friend sandy chan who i have not quite seen yet um i did want to tell everybody really quick before i forget because y'all know me i'm brain fried however do the fact the fuzzy brain from covid is getting a little better so my marbles are kind of lining back up where they're supposed to be. So I'm not as uh, goofy as I, I, I was the past couple of weeks. Um, the In Phoenix Fantasy group on Facebook, uh, there is a birthday listing there. If you are a supporter of Saturday Night Live, if you are a supporter of Phoenix Fantasy, patreon youtube uh nix's notions if you support me in any way shape fashion or form and this group and these groups that, that we are all in uh and it's your birthday do me a favor pop over to phoenix fantasy group uh put your name your date of birth in there and follow the instructions i need an email and I need you to go down one and answer the questions one through six. And I'm sorry, I know the extra little jump through the hoops can be a pain in the butt. But it helps me keep things straight so I don't miss anybody. Y'all know that that's my biggest fear is missing somebody. And uh, them going, hey, I didn't get my birthday present or, or whatever. So I never want anybody to feel left out. And uh, if you are a Patreon member, uh, thank you, thank you, thank you. Much, much love. Greatly, greatly appreciated. Uh, Patreon is listed below. Uh, I believe Hubby did that correctly. If you click the more button, all of my links, uh, everything is there, include my underwear size, which is size zero. And tonight's underwear color is purple. So there you go. Now y'all know everything about me there is to know. Um, so anyway, let's see what else was I going to say. Uh, next, join Patreon. Okay, yes. Uh, Patreon uh, is greatly, greatly, greatly appreciated. We are monetized. Um, uh, uh, now, I, wanna, I, I want to explain something really quick here, okay? Because it does throw a little people off. Um, you will see what is called a join section on uh, Facebook. That is a apples and oranges thing. That is totally different from Patreon, okay? Uh, honestly, I would prefer for y'all to do Patreon than, than YouTube, but YouTube does its own thing. And when I hit a certain amount of people, it automatically put that in there. Um, under the chat, I believe I'm not looking at a phone. I'm on a computer. There'll be a little dollar sign. Uh, thank you, Linda. Dreamers Craft Corner. There you go. AKA. That's a good example right there. Uh, if you click the dollar sign, that is a one-time donation. If you click the join, that is a monthly thing. Uh, again, I did not do this. I just want to make sure you guys are all clear and straight on this. I don't want nobody to feel like they're being hoodooed or anything like that. Again... If you want to do the monthly thing, go to Patreon. You get more benefits because of the fact that I'm still trying to figure out the, the YouTube thing. And thank you, thank you, thank you, Dreamers Craft Corner, a.k.a. Linda, for the super sticker. Big, huge shout out. Much, much love. Mwah, mwah, mwah. Hugs and kisses. Uh, Linda, uh, uh, I'm sorry, Lady Dragon Marie. Hello, hello, welcome. Come in, come in, come in. Um, again, I believe I have, uh, I am checking messages here. Uh, I just woke up, so I'm playing catch up. 
Uh, hello, Bessie Barkley. Hello, Randy Roth. Uh, my fabulous Saturday Night Live mod team. Hello to all of my fabulous mods. Cocacia Warren is not here at the moment. Usually she's my sidekick. Um, they had a, uh, a hurricane come through. She is fine. They lost power for a little bit, uh, but she's back home. Everything's cool. Everything's great. Everything is uh, uh, great going on. Uh, so uh, there you go. Uh, Renee, I have not heard from Renee today, so I'm not sure. Again, uh, Saturdays is usually my sleep day due to the fact that I have, let's see, four, eight, 12. I've had 13 hours sleep all week. So when you sick for 24 days with COVID to the point of I was dead weight, I have never been that helpless and that sick uh, with the flu in my life. Okay. No joke. Uh, I was dead weight. My husband literally had to carry me. And uh, so I am 100% better now. Uh, thank you to all the prayers. Thank you to all the get wells. Thank you to everybody. Love, 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 and mwah, much love to everybody that kept me in their thoughts and their prayers and everything. Miranda Roth. Hello, hello, hello. Again, go to Miranda. Please go to the Phoenix Fantasy Group. Uh, it does not do any good to post it here. Um, because I have no way of keeping tabs of that here. Uh, go to the Phoenix Fantasy Group. Follow the instructions. It is pinned at the top. Got a big birthday cake on it. It's pink. You can't miss it. Uh, oh, did I, uh, give me one second, guys, because I have got to check Facebook to see if I closed Phoenix Fantasy's, um, I know Keisha's been busy. Normally she does this, but I'm not sure if if she has been able to do that uh, today. If you are uh, posting your whip, uh, I highly suggest that if I'm looking to see if this is closed, because normally it closes at seven o'clock. We go live at eight. I am double checking to make sure everybody has got a number. Again, uh, my sidekick, Miss Kokesha, has been dealing with a lot. Um, so we are kind of uh, a, a little off kilter this week. Uh, but I want to make sure that, nope, uh, let me double check this here. Okay, there you go. You got your number. And then Gail Stripper, y'all give me just a second, please. Let me finish this. Uh, 36, because I want to make sure everybody is numbered, everybody is, um, let's see, 37, and 38. Boy, y'all got lucky, y'all got, y'all got an extra hour this week. All right, 39. Okay, I'm going to give you guys a couple of minutes. If you have not posted your uh, whip in Phoenix Fantasy Group, go down. Go now. Go now. Now, 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 now. Okay, because I am fixing to close it. And then we will spin the wheel. Um, and we will go from there. Uh, but as of right this minute, again, it is still open. Normally, it closes at 7. We go live at 8. This gives everybody from Wednesday to Saturday to uh, get their their whips in there. Uh, I don't care if you, you list... Um, you know, one drill or, or uh, you know, five drills, uh, as long as you sh show some type of progress, okay, then you are allowed to uh, post into the Phoenix Fantasy Whip. Uh, okay, let's see. Oban Rocks. 
Hello, hello, hello. Scott S. I done said happy birthday. Billy A. Hello, Billy. Love. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Um, going to, Risa Young. Hello, Risa. Elbow cough. Oh, I'm sorry. You got you got the cold this week. Um, going down a list here. Miranda Roth. Hello, hello. If I've called your name more than once, uh, again, I'm just going down a list. I want to make sure that nobody gets overlooked. Kevin's wife. Hello, my beautiful friend. Hello to Kevin in the background. Um, I am so happy to see you guys tonight. Let's see, where's Kevin's wife? Uh, cause... And uh, there we go. You want to come play? You're welcome to come play. Uh, so there you go. If not, that's cool too. Totally get it. Totally understand. Anyway, doors open, platforms there. Anybody's doing any, uh, uh, any goodies or, uh, goodies. If anybody's doing any events and you would like to discuss your events or if you're running a sale, you guys know me, uh, please do not spam my chat, okay? Um, you know, you just gotta go, yo, Nicks, I, I, I would like to talk about something. You can either do it in chat, okay? But don't spam my chat. I don't mind you sharing it once or twice, but don't spam my chat. If you would like to come live, okay, and discuss your event, yo, shoot me a message on Facebook. Hey, I want to come hang with you. Talk about my, my event or whatever it is you're doing. Honey, I'll send you the link in a heartbeat. My platform and my door is always open to everybody. Uh, I don't care what it is. And let's see, Risa Young and Travis gets creative, and I believe we are caught up, and I believe that I have sent links to everybody that I'm supposed to. I'm not sure where everybody's at, but again, I don't know what the weather is, because right this minute, it is me, myself, and I. Um, but again, I don't got any messages. Um... Let me double check my messages really quick uh, and make sure I'm not missing anything because, uh, again, uh, I Saturdays is my sleep day. And I'm glad it's not COVID. Yes, Travis, glad it's not COVID. Okay, sorry you're feeling bad, though, dude. Um... Okay, Bessie Barkley, thank you, thank you guys for all of your kindness, your understanding, and your patience. Okay, now, um, normally I start out with the uh, wheels, however, uh, I am not going to do that uh, right this minute due to the fact that we have 44 people in the house and I've only got 21 thumbs up. Uh, if y'all want me to, to be giving away stuff, and if y'all want me to uh, be, you know, handing out prizes and spinning wheels and giving away goodies and all this stuff, uh, I need this. Okay? It's free. Don't cost nothing. I need that. It takes two seconds to just, you know, take your mouse over to that little thumb and go... Okay, and or you can do the ladylike thing and go click, ding. Uh, so anyway, there you go. Uh, but I need, I need them thumbs up. Uh, why? I don't know. I like them. Amber, done. Thank you, Nix. I appreciate you so much. And then you know. Yep. Amber, I love you too, my darling. Linda Bain. Hello, hello, hello. Come in, come in, come in. Um, uh, and Kevin's wife, uh, do, 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 do. Uh, and Kevin, Kevin's in the background. I know. Hi, Kevin. Uh, where are my pins? Oh my goodness. Um, 
I do have uh, a pen. I don't know if I should. Obion Rocks, thank you, thank you, thank you for the $5 donation. Oh my gosh. Mwah, mwah, mwah. Much, much love, appreciation. Thank you, thank you, thank you uh, for the one time donation. Uh, again, um, I want to make sure everybody understands that, okay, because it's new and I don't want nobody to get hoodooed. Uh, I don't know if I showed you guys this last week or not. This is from Renee of Diamond Pen Pals. Uh, check that out. Isn't that so pretty? Can y'all see that? Is it kind of looking a little funky? Uh, I don't know why it's doing that, but there you go. There we go. That's a little better. It's like my colors are off or something. Okay, get my fingers out of the way. Um... This is very thin. Uh, now, me, I like thin, okay? So, if you look at the size of a Sharpie, okay, if you compare them, like the size of a Sharpie, this is about the size of a Sharpie. It's got the little thingies on the end, and it is absolutely gorgeous. It's got beads in it and uh, all kinds of goodies in it. So, go over to... Uh, Diamond Pen Pals, and it is on Etsy, and if you put in next 10, you get 10% off of your order. Sandy Chan, there's my girl. How you doing, my darling? Welcome, welcome, welcome. Erin Colley, hello, hello. Uh, yay, Erin remembered today. Um... Uh, Jen M says that she lady likes the thumbs up. She just she does the lady like thing. She holds out the pinky. She slides little mouse over and goes ding. Yeah, I got some that like me. You know, there's that bull in that china shop that just goes bang, 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 you know beats beats the stuffing out of it. Anyway, there is Diamond Pen Pals who made that pen. Uh, I couldn't remember if I showed it to you guys or not last week. Uh, anyway, that is Renee, who is normally here. I don't know where all my peeps are at. Uh, I got no messages, and so I'm not sure what's going on. Uh, hopefully everybody's fine. Hopefully nobody's sick. Hopefully there hasn't been any major issues. Uh, if you hear any scratching in the background, I have four ferrets. They are free-range ferrets, meaning... Uh, this room is their house. They, I do not own a cage. I do not cage my ferrets. Um, they get from the knee down and I get from the knee up. So anyway, daddy, who's scratching what and why? So, uh, anyway, if that's, if y'all hear anything, that's, that's what that is. And, uh, oh, we've got, to see, we have, uh, Morgana Brown. Hello, 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 Morgana. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Rose Willis. Hello, Rose. Uh, I'm, I'm doing okay. Karen Lewis may or may not be here. Her iPod died. Ah, thank you, Sandy. Mother, oh, thank you, Mother, for the five dollar uh donation. Ah, uh, love, mm -hmm. love, love, love. I also corrected it and let my husband know that you were a girl, not a guy, because I heard him call you guy earlier. I try to stay neutral. Uh, he says he tries to stay neutral. I try to stay neutral, but at the same time, hey, you know. Uh, so anyway, Morgana Brown, I believe that that is everybody. Again, we've got 49 people watching. We got 43 thumbs up. Come on. If y'all want me to spin them wheels for the goodies this week, y'all better, y'all better get your little ducks in a row. Uh, let's see. Let me get over here on my wheel. Uh, where are my wheels? Where's my wheels? Come on, give me my wheels. Uh, doggone, I lost my wheels. Nope. Got to look in the right spot. All right, let's see. And we are going to open again. Um, let's see, eight, 20, 
36, 8, 19. Delete that one. And three and four. We're going to delete that one. Am I prepared? Never. If y'all ever want somebody that's prepared, boy, do y'all come to the wrong place. Um, We fly by the seat of our pants around here. You know, you with me, you never know what's going to happen. So, uh, anyway, I'm going to open that one first. Oh, crud. Uh, Phoenix Fantasy. I need to go over here and close this. Okay, did everybody get their whips in? Everybody get their whips in because guess what? In three, two, one, and I'm fixing to close it. Let me get the closed. The closed image, and then I'm going to turn it off. Uh, so all I got to say is you better... And, and like literally five seconds, you better go over there and go get your diamond painting in because of the fact that I am fixing to close the um. Uh, don't think it's been numbered. Uh, I just I just double checked the numbers and uh everybody was numbered. So uh, unless there has been somebody that literally just posted their um. Their their uh, whip. Okay, see everybody. There is everybody. I'm gonna go down to the bottom here and double check for the last. Ah, ah, ah. Look at there. We got a couple of sneaks in. See, told y'all. Um, let me double check here. Uh, because I want to make sure I don't make no mistakes. Come on. Are you going to work? How about let's work? There we go. Uh, we got Phoenix Fantasy right here. Uh, okay. And I am looking at all. Hang on. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Diana's Diamond Painting Journeys for the $20 donation. Uh, oh, my goodness. Mwah, mwah, mwah. Love you, sweetheart. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And if you look up at the top, um, y'all will know more about this than I will. You get extra little uh, icons and stars by your names, and you get a big old, look, you get the big old orange banner. Um, so there you go. Okay, back to what I was doing. Let's not, Nix doesn't need to get sidetracked here. Let me make sure everybody's got a number. Okay, uh, come on, everybody get a number. Everybody get a number. 37, 38, 39, 39, 39, Heidi Lee, okay, uh, Heidi Lee, and you are going to be 40. And Scott, I see Scott slid in here at the last second. Scott's going to be 41. I just go down the list giving everybody numbers. Uh, okay, and let's see. We've got Amber Vaughn, which was late at the, as well. So she's like number 42. Again, there is no rhyme or reason on these links. All I do is literally just go down a list and assign everybody a number. Uh, and then Morgana Brown is 43. And that is it. I am closing. I'm double checking one last time. I am closing the whip Wednesday for this week. So, uh, guys, do not. You are no longer allowed to um, to to add anything else. We are officially closed for the week. You will see a big red thing that says, sorry, we were, we are closed. And also I am turning off any comments. All right. So there you go. So we have, we have 43 people. 
let me uh give me two seconds guys i'm not watching chat okay i cannot my, my eyeballs will only go so many places at one time uh mods i'm gonna need your extra help tonight uh so with them rocks and if i need any to pay attention to anything specific um okay update phoenix fantasy and we're gonna get that and there was 43 yep 43 all right let me get my numbers situated 34 and our 35 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43. I'm on double check Phoenix Fantasy one last time. Yes, there was 43 entries. Yes, there are 43 numbers on the wheel. Rose Willis, thank you, thank you, thank you for the $2 for the donation and celebrating the love because it's my birthday. Rose, go over to Facebook on a Phoenix Fantasy Group. You will see a birthday, September birthday. Make sure to read that, follow the directions, and uh, I will send you a free birthday gift. Um, if you are a supporter of Nix's Notions or me in any way, shape, fashion, or form, and it's your birthday, uh, everybody will get a mystery gift. Now, I'm not going to tell you what it's going to be, okay? It could be little, it could be big, it, it, y'all know me, I'm crazy and, hey, whatever, whatever runs across. So, I want to say a big, huge thank you to everybody for your donations and your love and your support. Oh, my gosh. Uh, it takes a village, and you guys are the village. I can make, I, I can build the roof, and I can build the walls. Uh, but it is you guys that make this a, a, a family and make this a home. And for that, I want to say thank you and just mm, massive love, massive love. So thank you, thank you, thank you so much for all of the donations. Love and sparkles. Cindy Walsh is in the house. Y'all make sure to go and check out Cindy's um, event. That is coming up in October. Uh, I believe it's October the 1st. And uh, it is Let Your Witch Goddess Free. So pop over to her YouTube channel or her Etsy page, uh, her Facebook page, and uh, grab all the info there. Um, and then we have... Uh, Nephrateria King, who I call the beautiful Nephrateri, Queen of the Nile. Uh, hello, my darling. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Rose Willis, uh, I believe I said thank you for the donation. Uh, uh, love, love, love. Again, make sure to go and put your name in Phoenix Fantasy. Follow the directions. I need those emails. I need you to put your name in the in the post, okay? Because what it is, is I've got so many people that are sending me birthdays this month. Boy, I tell you, uh, we got a lot of birthdays for September. And if y'all don't do this, and, and I'm sorry about the extra hoop, okay, that you have to jump through. But if y'all don't do this the way I need you to, what's going to happen is I'm going to end up overlooking somebody and I'm going to feel horrible, okay? So I need y'all to just read and follow the directions pretty easy. Um, and uh, in emails and capital letters, you know, uh, my birthday, that way because it slaps me upside the head. Because I get almost 150 emails a day. That's why I said in the subject line in capital letters, put happy birthday. That way it stands out. And I don't miss anybody. Everybody's stuff is in one spot. I hit the print button. I put your little birthday goodie in there. And it goes off to wherever it needs to go. Sweet P.A. Hello, darling. 
uh, Obion, uh, Obion Rocks. Happy birthday, happy birthday. Um, Rose Willis and Nef uh, uh, Nefertiria, which I call Nefertiti. I'm sorry. I am I am the only one that's allowed to call her Nefertiti because she is the queen of the Nile to me. And as beautiful as the queen of the Nile. So, uh, anyway, I believe that is it. I do not see any rocks. Uh, happy birthday to literally everybody this month. Man, we got some serious birthdays going on this week uh, or this month. So, uh, but hey, bring it. But you must, okay, for you to get your birthday present, okay, from Nick's. And it is a mystery birthday present. You must go to Phoenix Fantasy. You got to join the group. Don't just fill it out because guess what? I will delete you if you are not a member of the group. But uh, click on the birthday cake. Read the directions. Put in the info that I need uh, in the email and you will get your, you will get your gift. Don't come back at me two months from now and go, hey, Nicks, I didn't get my birthday present. Well, if you didn't get it, that's because you didn't follow directions and you didn't do something correctly. So there you go. Uh, so anyway, um, there you go. What Anita said. Anita, thank you. Oh, my goodness. You and Travis both. Uh, I want to give a special shout out. To all of my moderators, okay, uh, Love and Sparkles, uh, Anita Johnson, uh, Travis Gets Creative, uh, I have got a whole slew of, of moderators here, um, we have Christopher Colossus, however, Christopher, I haven't seen him this evening, Cindy Michelle, I haven't seen her either this evening. Uh, again, uh, I guess, you know, hey, life happens. Look at me. I wasn't expecting to get COVID and I was in bed for 24 days. Hit me like a ton of bricks. Uh, Don Marie uh, uh, of uh, Nana's Crafty Gems. Uh, we have Dreamers Craft Corner, Linda Ewald. Uh, my fabulous husband, uh, Mr. E or Mr. Einstein and Kokesha Warren, uh, Renee Rodrigo, uh, again, Diamond Pen Pals and, uh, Travis. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you to all of my fabulous moderators, because I would not be able to do what I do with, without all of their fabulous help. Are they all here all the time? No, but that's kind of the reason why we got the, the as many as we do because of the fact that, you know, some can be here and some can't. It's life. Not to mention, this is not a job. This is, uh, they come here, they do this on their own time, their own dime. And um, I just need them to know how greatly appreciated they are. So I always do my best to stop, give them a shout out and let them know that they are loved and so, so, so appreciated. Um, I know Jimmy Buffett passed away. I I, I just noticed that uh, when did I, I read that right before I went to bed. Um, uh, our, our hearts and prayers and everything goes out to him and his family. Uh, the music industry lost a big dude today. Uh, Jimmy Buffett was very well known and hey, what was it? It's five o'clock somewhere and uh, Pina Colada. What, what? Huh? Margaritaville. Margaritaville. Thank you. Uh, so, hey, hold up to margaritas and salute to Jimmy Buffett and a fabulous guy and great music and he will be greatly missed. So here's to you, Jimmy Buffett and Margaritaville, because there is one somewhere. Matter of fact, I think we got a Margaritaville bar here. We do. Um, yeah, so anyway, I am drinking hot tea. 
from my, again my fabulous mug that my beautiful real life friend Cindy Chan sent me for my birthday. It says stay wild, moon child. Not to mention it holds a lot of tea. So uh, this helps. This is hot tea and honey. Usually I drink two cups of that when I wake up. And then I go to Dr. Pepper. Kimberly Johannes, a.k.a. Fast Punch. Boop, boop. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Come on in, my darling. All right. We have 48 people in the house. We have 46 thumbs up. So I'm going to say that that is close enough. And um, so I am going to go over here. And as soon as I can find the right thing, I am going to share my screen. All right, uh, mods, I need you to help me out here. Make sure that we can see the screen. There we go. Okay, my screen is not wanting to cooperate. All right. Um, if you will look in the Phoenix Fantasy Group and the whip section WIP it is black with red flames and goes whip uh whip Wednesday on there um it is open from Wednesday morning uh tr truly I try to get it as quick as I can on Wednesdays and it stays open until uh 7 p.m on Saturday nights and we do our giveaways um uh, in uh, our Saturday Night Lives at 8 o'clock on Saturdays, or give or take her there, until the thumbs up reaches the people that are in the house. Uh, Raylene Prather, uh, yep, it is 5 o'clock somewhere. And again, salute to Jimmy Buffett, who is going to be greatly missed. Mm. So, uh, anyway, uh, let me check my my um what am i checking my saturday night live uh they did did they say why i got nothing Uh, sorry guys, give me a couple of, couple of seconds here. I'm having to double check on some stuff. Um, uh, I don't see it, Mr. E. Well, that's Monday. That's Wednesday. Going down. Three thirty-one right there. Teacher replied to Renee. Uh, okay, Renee, who is always here. Sorry, I had to read something. Uh, Renee, who is our sidekick, uh, Diamond Pen Pals, is, uh, not, yeah, oh, look at y'all looking at my, hey, stop reading my messages. But anyway, they will, uh, not, as you can see, Renee has a sinus call and will not be here uh Kokisha as well um you know she um uh Kokisha has had a lot going on as you can see from here they lost their power for two days uh so anyway that was our mod chat which is where all of our moderators kind of keep me clued in on what's going on why do I got a fuzzy butt okay Hello, fuzzy butt. Okay, you're going to have to go play with daddy. There you go, daddy. Um, So, anyway, it, hey, it might be just us tonight. I, I, and we hope everybody gets to feeling better. And we hope that everybody has a great time. Uh, so, what we're going to do now is we are going to, as you can see, here's the wheel. This is for the Phoenix Fantasy Whip up here. Let's give her the commercial. Um, here's the Phoenix Fantasy Whip. Today is the second. We have 43 people in chat. 
and uh, uh i'm sorry we had 43 people that submitted a whip a work in progress and so and it goes all the way to one so all the numbers are there we are going to shuffle 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 and as you can see all the numbers on the wheels kind of get shuffled watch the wheel okay pick a number what watch it when i shuffle 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 okay so we've shuffled really good so nobody thinks that we play in favorites or anything like that okay so good luck and here we go on your mark you set and go 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 and this is for a 25 dollar gift card to um print screen give me two seconds let me get this uh this is for a 25 dollar gift card to days dash dreams where is debbie day's card i never have debbie day's card good gravy debbie girl i need a business card up oh, there it is uh and so anyway there is debbie day's card right there and you the winner uh give me a second i gotta pop over here to phoenix fantasy and i got to and y'all are looking at this okay so everybody can verify the number was number 14 we are in the phoenix fantasy group on facebook there you can see that and the number was 14 so let's go see who number 14 is Fifteen and 14 jen oh forgive me in advance for this name jen renick renicky jen uh jen if you're in the house please raise your hand and congratulations she is our whip winner so give me a second let me get my uh print screens done here uh because i always print screen everything this way if um this way if somebody comes back you know a couple weeks down the road and goes hey nix you you cheated you did this or that i have proof and i have evidence right here um that you know um this was the winner and i always add their names and the name is jen rook um j e and we are going to j e n n and how do i spell the last name again sorry guys don't mean to be bop back and forth but i am a rotten speller r u h n k e k r u h n k e r u h n k e and this gives me my backup and it also shows the wheel and it also shows uh the number that was drawn and the winner this way again i always do my best to be transparent and up front with everybody this way there is no issues no problems no what have you is it overkill oh yeah but trust me i have had people try to make the biggest hoo ha out of nothing and you just wouldn't believe it if i told you so uh layers and we're gonna merge all all right so we got that and we are going to go back to our wheel if i can find it i lost the wheel um where'd you go dude okay it ain't that one up oh, there you are 
Okay, so that is our winner. This is our Wednesday Phoenix Fantasy Whip winner. Congratulations again to Jen Ron, uh, Ronicki. Uh, and if I am mispronouncing that name, I do apologize. Uh, congratulations. Congratulations to Jen. Bessie Barkley. Hello, 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 darling. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Okay. Our next wheel that we are going to be doing, let me save this. All right. And save. Uh, our next is going to be our Patreon. Uh, and these are uh, what this wheel is for. Hi, Kimmy Craft. Uh, Kimmy, Queen of Crafts. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome. Come in, come in, come in. Uh, the next wheel uh, we will be doing is for my Patreon members. I have four levels of Patreon. This is a monthly uh, subscription thing of support. Um, and I do two groups. I have two wheels that I spin. Wheel is, uh, the first one is for group one and two. And they get a present, uh, a mystery gift from me. And then I have groups three and four, which will get a mystery gift as well. Again, all of my Patreon information is listed below in the show more button. Uh, Nina, hello, hello, hello. Uh, I believe I've got everybody. So we are going to save that save. And uh, you can never save too much. And we are going to open up Patreons. Levels 1 and 2. Here is all of our members for level 1 and 2. And um, let me change the date here and correct that. It is 9. Today is the 2nd. All right. And this, again, is Patreon level 1 and 2. And thank you. I want to say a huge thank you to all of my Patreon supporters. Again, uh, without you guys, um, I can build a roof, I can build a wall, and you guys help so much. Y'all help keep the lights on. Um, the proceeds that are donated uh, through Patreon and through YouTube, all of that money is saved. All of that money goes back into the channel, and it goes into the Phoenix Fantasy event that we have once a year. Uh, like last year, I saved the entire year worth of Patreon money and donations. And all of that money went to the Phoenix Fantasy event. We ended up giving away uh, uh, drafting tables. And oh my gosh, we had top end, top of the line uh, gifts that we gave away in Phoenix Fantasy. Uh, matter of fact... Uh, uh, Kevin's, um, uh, Ke where, all right, Kevin, come out here. Where are you at? Um, Kevin's creation is the ones that I'm looking for the card. There they go. Kevin's creations are the ones that made the diamond painting pen, uh, for the Phoenix fantasy event. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much for that. Uh, I don't see, um, I don't I don't see uh them this evening but again uh school and uh holidays and memorial day and hurricanes and covid and flus and sick and everything so anyway this here as you can see over here it is for patreons level one and two again thank you to all of our members that have subscribed to that and this week's winner is Cindy Michelle. Congratulations to Cindy Michelle. Uh, let me go over here and um, 
paste that so I have a documentation of this week's winner. Um, and so there we go. So congratulations to Cindy Michelle for Patreon level one and two. Um, thank you, thank you, thank you. Also, I wanted to let y'all know that Cindy Michelle owns uh, Diamond Painting Fanatics, where Travis Gets Creative is one of the artists for the Diamond Paintings. And y'all go over to uh, Cindy Michelle's uh, Diamond Painting Fanatics and check out her Diamond Paintings. I have got three, and I got one more is on the way. Uh, two of them are from Travis. Uh, the one that I'm waiting on right this minute is, uh, uh, Travis, you have to give me the name of it. It's the witch with the ball of lightning. Uh, I'm sorry. I don't have that in front of me, but Travis gets creative is the artist of that. And, uh, so, uh, I, I just had to have it. I just had to have it. Risa Young, hello. Thank you, thank you, thank you again. Uh, congratulations to Cindy Michelle. So we're going to save that and save that. And now next we're going to move on to uh, Patreon levels three and four. If you go to my Patreon site, uh, you will see the different levels and the different mounts and all the extra stuff that goes with that. Um, and each level has a different item or a different thing uh, that goes with each level. Uh, I have tried my best to think about everybody and keep all people... Um, and keep it available for everybody. Um, you know, so anyway, we're going to switch over to tiers three and four, which is right here. Let me correct the date on that. Um, and that is nine and two. Okay, and as you can see, here are all of our Levels 3 and 4 members. Uh, if anybody sees an issue with that, throw a rock, throw a, throw, raise a hand, uh, something. Uh, but this is our members for Patreons, Level 3 and 4. Um, and so thank you, thank you, thank you to everybody that supports Nick's Dark Sky and Nick's Notions and Phoenix Fantasy. So here we go. Uh, I'm going to shuffle, 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 shuffle. And if you watch somebody's name, watch shuffle, shuffle, shuffle. And good luck. And here we go. And this week's winner is Chris Broom. Uh, Broom. Okay, y'all know I'm rotten with names. Uh, Broom Mud. I believe I got that correctly. Broom Mud. Congratulations to Chris. Let me put this over here in my print screen so i have a copy of that all right everybody there we go and we have that going on and go back to here and congratulations to chris uh congratulations to all of our patreon winners uh, congratulations to our Phoenix Fantasy Whip winners. Again, if you would like to participate, all of the links are listed below, including uh, uh, Phoenix Fantasy's uh, Facebook group. And uh, again, you can't miss it, okay? Birthdays is a big pink birthday cake. If it is your birthday this month, go follow the directions. Hit me up. Uh, also, if you want to do the weekly, and this is weekly, uh, whip 
Okay. All you got to do is show a progress photo. I don't care. It, I, I'd have to say at least it's got to have five drills. Okay. We got to draw the line. I kind of kind of have five drills, you know, some kind of progress. Um, and then you just list your picture there. Uh, I will come down the line like tonight. I will give you a number. Uh, it closes at 7 p.m. on Saturday night. And then at 8 or a little after 8, which is 9 o'clock right now, um, I let everybody catch up with the thumbs up. And we do giveaways and prizes and all that kind of good stuff. Uh, now, the whip winner gets a $25 uh, Debbie Day. Uh, days-dreams.com um, uh, gift card, which, oh my gosh, guys, y'all are going to freak out tonight, okay? The winner of the Debbie Day gift card, uh, the whip, you have got to stick around. You have got to see what I'm fixing to show you because of the fact that I finally, finally, finally got my two diamond paintings in from Debbie Day. Now these are uh, Debbie Day that I know of. And if I'm wrong, someone correct me. Day's Dream is the only company in the United States that has their own canvas diamond painting printer. Okay. And so the last time I called Debbie, she goes, I couldn't answer the phone because I was knee deep in glue, which is poor glue. Okay. So when you see these diamond paintings that I'm fixing to show you, there's two of them. You are going to freak out over how crystal clear they are because I am a DAC fanatic. Y'all know me. That's that, that is my company. Um, my stash is set up in the style of a Jenga. Okay. Which is, I'm going to have to say four foot by four foot wide and around and literally uh i got one more row and it's touching the ceiling okay so uh yeah and they're all dacs couple of dreamers designs but uh anyway the point that i was trying to get to is that debbie day she is just as good okay and i'm fixing to show you the proof that, uh, oh my gosh, these are crystal clear. They are literally crystal clear and DAC quality, as good as. I, I, I'm, I'm hunting words here. Uh, let me stop sharing my page. Y'all are tired of looking at that and need to look at me. Woo, I look like roadkill. But I was 24 days. I was sick with COVID for 24 days. So y'all have to forgive me. You kind of get what you get tonight. And the fact that I had to grab some sleep. Um, if Dawn Marie comes in, tell her, uh, 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 one of the mods, tell Dawn Marie to throw, throw a, 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 a rock or something at me. And because uh, I have got an unboxing from her as well. Uh, we love our Dawn Marie because of the fact that Dawn Marie of Nana's Crafty Gems has the best cover minders and um i want to say this is one of the latest ones that i got and i'm trying to put here up oh, there we go that's a good place right there and then uh domery does have nix 10 on her as well um where that card is at uh i have no clue uh, and then Kevin's Creations uh, was the ones that made our um, diamond painting pens for Phoenix Fantasy. I see rocks. Anita, Dom Marie is not feeling good and she has a friend in the hospital, so she won't be here beyond tonight. Okay. Thank you, Anita. Oh, my goodness. This must be the weekend of everybody's sick. Uh, Delma, uh, Jennifer. Hi, Jennifer. Welcome. Uh, forgive me. I'm lucky I can spit out English. Uh, I believe that's French. I'm not exactly sure. Um, anyway, welcome, Jennifer. Uh, Delma E. Jennifer. Welcome, welcome. Come on in. 
Uh, the first thing that I'm going to show you really quick is from Don Marie of Nana's Crafty Gems. Let me shift my... There we go. And this is from Don Marie of Nana's Crafty Gems. Uh, if one of you guys can, could throw up uh, Don Marie's um, link, it'd be greatly appreciated. And make sure everything's out of there. Uh, usually, I do my small shop haul uh, on the first. But due to the fact that I was in bed with COVID, I ended up doing it on the weekend. Or at the last of the month. Don Marie sent me all these cool, um, all these cool little stickers. Ah, a witch oxalot. I'll check it out. Okay, how cool is that? And uh, again, this is this is Nana's Crafty Gems on Etsy. And if you put in Nick's 10, you will get uh, 10% off. And um, let me make sure that I've got my my um, mod chat up. So in case any of my mods need to say something to me um i tell you what you know i got two monitors okay reading two monitors at one time and trying to do stuff at the same time gets a little rough so and making sure that i'm in focus on top of it and her beautiful bag that says thank you and she knows that i love my slim gems so she always sends me two and, oh, she even sent me a Rice Krispie treat this time. Girl, you spoiling me. What I did order, this is called a Snap Style uh, Cover Minder. And um, this is just the base, okay? It comes in two pieces. I'll show you here in a second. I can get that off there. I ain't gonna fight with that. So anyway, let's see here. There we go. And oh my stars. Okay, let me show you a little trick here. Okay, can y'all see this? Uh where's my camera? There's my camera. This is the cover minder that I got. And if I'm not mistaken. This center part here, she gifted me because I remember the wings, but I don't remember. I don't remember this part. So thank you, thank you, thank you, Don Marie. Now again, this is a cover minder. Okay. Um. Oh, she got new business cards. Woohoo! Yay! Okay, I'm happy. Love that girl. All right. And again, if you put in next ten, you get ten percent off. Now, the reason why these are called snap cover minders, okay, is because this center piece is like a snap on a pair of jeans, okay? And you can mix and match and swap out and all that good stuff. And uh, I absolutely love these. I have about a dozen of these that I have gotten from Dom Marie. They're very inexpensive. Um, yeah, she finally listened to me and sent me a truckload of business cards, which I'm always fussing at. I need business cards. Um, yes, the uh, this part here. The centerpiece that she sent me. Come on, focus in. It sees all the things here and it don't want to focus. It's trying to read what's behind. There we go. There we go. It focused. Um, this piece here, this piece was a gift. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Don Marie. I ordered the wings and the wings were $9.00. Shipping was three seventy five, dollars and it took about three to four days for me to get this. Don Marie has uber fast shipping. And again, it's called Nana's 
Crafty Gems. Here is her card. There you go. Oh, Don Marie, I love all your new. Um, there you go. And Nana's Crafty Gems. Oh, my goodness. And she has the, and she uses really, really good magnets. Now, guys, I'm not saying anything negative about any other companies, okay? But I have people that send me cover monitors. Uh, I got cover monitors running out of my ears. So, however, the difference is a lot of people will go cheap with their magnets, and their magnets will not hold together through the canvas it's not strong enough and i have to admit Dom Marie does really good because her her magnets have literally pin, pinched me uh because i'll have something here and i'll have something about you know two or three inches away and they will literally slide together uh and go Kick! and i'm like ah my finger was in the middle but anyway, these magnets that she uses, you can see how thick they are. They're really thick. Um, and they stick very well. This is a snap. She has, oh gosh, she has at least 75 different snaps that you could take the wings and put in a different snap. She's also got her new Halloween stuff in. Um, she's got spinners. Um, did it, did it, let me see if I can, are you over here, dude? You were here. Where'd you go? Where'd you go? I am so disorganized right this minute. This here is also, uh, a Dom Marie cover minder. Came in different colors. Oh my gosh, come on, focus in. It is made out of, uh, Shirarsky. I know I'm not saying that correctly. Shirarsky crystal. Okay. So, um, oh my goodness, guys, it is absolutely amazing. Okay, where did my little spinner thingy go? Oh my goodness. Is it over here? Dude, where'd you go? I got a, I got a basket that, ah, there it is. Found it. I found it. I have a basket that's right here that, check this out. Okay, if I, I let me let let me get it here. They're spinners, and that little sucker will spin forever. Now this is the Harry Potter quibbage thing or whatever. However, she does have a couple of others if she is not sold out. Uh, also, too, it's multicolored. Um, it's purples and pinks and greens and. And so, if y'all can see that there, um, and it's extremely heavy, okay? So, uh, it is absolutely, I love, love, love them. These, I have to admit, this one here, uh, it is simply amazing. I have all of these in every color that they make, um, and, and absolutely just love them to death. And again, see how good the magnets are. They just literally will, um, this is a business card, card stock. Watch this. Okay. That was literally here. It, here's the magnet in my hand. That is how strong those, uh, magnets are. And, You've literally got to put some pressure on it to get it to slide on this business card. So, uh, anyway, thank you, thank you, thank you, Dom Marie. Welcome back, Sandy. Uh, Sandy, you okay? What's going on? Broke Sandy broke two teeth? Mm -hmm. Sandy, how did you break two teeth? Did Greg hit you? You tell him I said I'm gonna be there in three hours and punch him in the my, punch him in the face. And I'm just joking on that. Um, I doubt seriously Greg would do that, which is her husband. And I'm joking. I'm joking. Um, but I will go beat up Greg if I find out Greg hit you. Again, joking. Um, I'd send I'd send Mister E instead. Uh, anyway, 
I'm sorry to hear that about your teeth, sweetheart. Oh, my goodness. What a pain. I am so, 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 so sorry. Um, hopefully, go see your dentist. Get everything fixed. It wasn't easy. Just ate. Seriously? Oh, they're false teeth. Oh, okay. Okay. And the, the, yeah. Uh, and again, okay, back to Don Marie and Nana's Crafty Gems. The wings snap was, um, again, it was $9. The snaps themselves average between four, five, eight. It just depends on how elaborate you want. She has all different kinds. And again, this is a diff another one that I had. I got this one last week. And the snap comes off of it as well. And you can mix and match and all that good stuff. And where did I just do with all her business cards? Um, don't you just love when you put stuff away and you, you lose it and you ain't even moved? All right. And again, that is Nana's Crafty Gems. If you check the mods, the mods have put the links. Thank you, mods, uh, in the chat. And we are good. Uh, Love and Sparkles is here. And again, don't forget about Love and Sparkles. Go over on our YouTube channel. Hit that follow and like button. Also, check out her Facebook page, and she's got a higher uh, event coming up, and it is, um, oh, God, Cindy, uh, uh, Cindy Love and Sparkles, when's your event again? Talk about your event. Um, yes, dear. Okay. Uh, so, anyway, she is, uh, it's Let Your Witch Goddess Free. Pretty laid back, easy going, simple, uh, you know, new start, that kind of stuff. She doesn't have a lot of, um, you know, massive rules and uh, all that stuff that you got to jump through. So, um, you know, that kind of thing. But anyway, all right. Now, let me, let me clear some running room here. Let me make some running room. Because I wanted to show this to you guys. And uh, again, anybody want to come hang out with me and, you know, just BS or talk about your group or whatever it is you want to do, just give me a yell. Um, tonight it is everybody got sick night. So not a problem. Uh, now, check this out. Debbie Day, these are her monthly drills. Every month, Debbie Day comes out with a set of drills. Check out the butterflies. This came with Debbie's this month. I was like, girl, you have done stepped up. And then and then she's got a butterfly with the, it's a 3D butterfly that was on her bag. And look at these bags. Thank you. Oh my, and these are silk bags. Now, these are her drills, her monthly drills. Now, this is last month, or, yeah, this is last month. Again, I was, you know, a, a little behind. I don't have this month yet. Um, kisses and hugs. Oh, love that. Now, um, this was, and they are still on her website, days-dreams.com. Um what did I do with her? Debbie Day. There we go. Debbie Day. Uh, and now I get squares. This is the August set. Okay. I got uh, DMC 553 Violet. They're 14 grams. Uh, DMC 906 a uh, uh, parrot green uh, 14 grams I got uh, crystal DMC 444 lemon dark uh, all these are crystals by the way uh, crystals DMC 602 
I got Crystals DMC 740 Tangerine. And I got Crystal uh, DMC 820 Royal Blue. Very dark. 14 grams. And let me double check. Make sure they were all. Yeah, they're all crystals. All of these are crystals. Now, again, this is still available on her site. Okay. Um, and these are squares. Now, her rounds, I, do, I have not been to the website, so I cannot tell you yet. We'll go in here in just a second. Um, uh, I cannot tell you that uh, if in the rounds, if she has an extra set this week, um, because she always, uh, on the rounds, she, uh, last couple of months, she has been adding um, an extra set uh, of drills to her rounds. Uh, a bonus free pack. Okay. Oh, matter of fact, she added it to, to, to my squares. So, we're going to go shopping here for just a, a, a quick second. And because I want you guys to see this. Um. This here is August. This is what I'm showing you here. Uh, you did see July. And also, they you'll notice here, they are on sale. Okay. Uh, they were regular $24. She uh, uh, knocked off $360. And that made them $20.40. Um, also, too, again, you got Nick's 10 uh, if you have a problem, she's been having some issues with the website. If you have a problem with the NYX10 code, message her. She will get that corrected. But anyway, her, uh, let's see, here's the rounds. Okay, so she has big, beautiful pictures here of the colors that you will get. Um, and how many is in each one? Um, and she gives you very, very good information on, you know, what you're getting. So, and these are the round sets. Um, and, and, and I've got more drills that I know what to do with. Also, too, um, in my goodie bags, whenever a customer orders from Nix's Notions, they will get my orange goodie bag. In that goodie bag is uh, Kevin's Creations business card, uh, Debbie Day's business card with a sample, and Kokesha Warren's uh, Butterfly Kisses uh, business card in there with coupons and discount coupons and what have you. So, um, anyway, so I'm going to take this and, oh my gosh, I don't know where she got these butterflies, but I got to admit, check that out. That is pretty doggone cool. Um, she is stepping up with these, with these, uh, uh, her little uh, stickers and her little stuff. Now's the wow factor. Okay. So let me, let me put these back in there. And I love these bags. Oh, my gosh. I tell you what, guys. These bags right here are not cheap. That Just the organza bags that I get uh, to put my goodie bags in uh, for 100 is $10. So, these here, I can tell you, she 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 paid a lot, uh, a, a nice, healthy chunk for these silk bags. Um so those are absolutely fabulous. Now I'm gonna start with the smallest uh, diamond painting. Now let me see if I can swap this here if it'll let me. Will you, or will you let me swap here, dude? Up ah, there we go. Well, that's a little better. How's that? Nope. 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 Uh, okay, well, we'll come back to it. How about that? Um, this here is a tube, uh, kind of like, um, what, uh, Craftably used to have. I get these at Hobby Lobby for, like, seven bucks a pop. Uh, they're, they expand, like, almost as tall as I am. Um, 
And the reason why I put Debbie's diamond painting in this is because it came in um, one of the uh, boxes and uh, my, uh, it was not her, it was the postal service, uh, decided they wanted to play football with the boxes. So uh, the boxes were a little damaged. Again, everything's fine. There's nothing wrong. It's just the postal service decided they want to play football. So I always um, send my husband up to Hobby Lobby. Uh, these are $7.99 each. They come with the carrier, uh, the straps. They expand almost out to like five foot. Um, here you can see if I got enough room. See, it's just a lock and lid. Okay, you pull the lid off. Um, and then you can, if I can do this, usually I get hubby to do this. You turn it, see where it says the locks here. Okay, I don't know if y'all can see that or not. And it will slide out and you pick the notch that you want and say I want... It's not that big is i want the second notch and you just kind of twist it until you find it and it goes in place and there you go you've expanded it like again this expands out if i'm not mistaken to a good four foot um so anyway this is the diamond painting that i got from debbie day now here's the thing i don't do rounds but I bought this diamond painting specifically because it is, one, it is in-house printed. Meaning that Debbie Day took this canvas, run it through her canvas printer, and put the squares on the printer for the... Uh, for the drills, and then did uh, the poured glue over the top of it. She did everything in-house here in the United States, okay? That's the point that I'm trying to make. Now, when you go to Debbie Day's site, okay, and you go to where her diamond paintings are at, okay, you uh, she does have some old stock that she's trying to get rid of. So you have to look um, on page one. And here I will, if I can get this doggone thing to come up again. Oh, come on, dude. Ah, why won't you work? Up, oh, there we go. Up, oh, that didn't work. And click the right button. Full screen. There we go. Okay. This is page one. Okay. She sells drills. Uh, I'm not sure who the lady is. Is doing the crocheting. This is new. Um, and here, in-house diamond paintings. Okay. She's got her bargain bin. These are kind of the old uh, Chinese style diamond paintings that she's trying to get rid of. Look for sales, okay? Uh, if you're just wanting something to play with, something to do, check out her sales. Uh, she's got a lot of sales running because she's trying to unload um, all of these older ones. Um, here is this right here is where her drills was at. And then this will give you a list of the new products that she's added to the site. However, we're going to go to in-house diamond painting. Okay. It, I'm on the wrong spot. Ah, there we go. All right. The two diamond paintings that I am fixing to show you is this one here and the wolf. Okay. I paid uh $27. This is a round. It is a 44 by 44. You are going to freak out when you see the colors. I mean, the colors look amazing right this minute on this image, okay? But you are literally going to freak out when you see it in person. Another thing, the wolf. 
the wolf she has had in rounds for about a month, month and a half now. Okay. Uh, Pink Poodle. Hello, hello, hello. Hello to anybody I've missed. Aaron Colley, anybody I've missed. Hello, hello, hello. Please make sure to give that thumbs up. Uh, we are discussing Debbie Day's products right this minute, which I have two diamond paintings that I'm doing show and tell on. The second one that I have is this absolutely amazing wolf. Um, she come out with it in rounds and uh, for about a month and a half. And then she redid it in squares because she knows that I don't do rounds. I only do squares. And she is working on the squares, but I'm going to say 90% of her in-house diamond paintings are round. Now, all of these diamond paintings that you see right here are printed by her in the United States on her printer. I believe I did an unboxing on a stained glass butterfly that I showed y'all a little little while back. It's been, I'm going to say, about a good six months back. Um, she's got the love. I think I got the love. And they do come in round and squares. Um, and I do have this one here, which is huge and has like a hundred colors to it. So, no joke. Um, see, there's the butterfly right there. See, it's square. Uh, and her prices are not crazy. So, anyway, this is her doings, her things. And tonight, we are going to be showing this one here. This is going to be the first one that I'm fixing to show you. Um, now, again, this is a round. You can get canvas only. If you have your own drills and it's cheaper or you can get the kit. Okay, let's see. Canvas only is $17. If you get the kit, it's $27 and that comes with the drills. Hello, my darling. How are you doing this evening? Welcome, welcome, welcome. Oh, hang on. Oh, that's okay. We talking about Debbie Day right this second. Uh, we will get to you and your fabulous goodies here in a short, short. But let me finish this real quick before the brain decides to take a left turn. I'm here for the wolf. Oh, there you go. Uh, so anyway, oh my God, girl, that wolf. Oh, y'all gonna freak out. Uh, anyway, this is, um, it is a 44 by 44, 2 ABs, 1 metallic. Uh, if you get the kit. You do not have to get the kit. You can get canvas only if you want to use your own drills. Now, another thing is if you will look, always look and it will say printed and packaged in the house. That is the number one thing that you look at. If you're confused, if it's one of the old diamond paintings from China, y'all know what we're talking about. Uh, it will not have this. Her diamond paintings will have design printed and packaged in-house. This means that she literally done it herself. Here is uh, an image of what it looks like, which is honestly not a very good one. Uh, and then here are the colors. It has 31 colors in this that I'm fixing to show you right this minute. Uh, and that is the field right there. Okay. One, all I can say is look at how clear that is. And that's just a picture. I'm fixing to show you the real thing in my hand here. Short, short. This is the kit. This is how it comes. Matter of fact, that is my tray right there. She does not send you the little cheapy trays. She sends you one of Nix's trays. Okay. So, um, because Debbie Day is my, my girl. Uh, and, oops, I lost my pictures. Um, ah, sorry. There we go. Uh, you will get a, uh, a sheet that tells you how many drills that you get, what color, and all you do is just go down and mark off the list. If you have any issues whatsoever, look at this, guys. That is her personal 
right here. That is, stop that. Stop that. Stop. There we go. Okay, I'm here. I'm, I'm, I'm getting it together. Um, this is her personal phone number. So if you have any problems with anything from Day's Dream, pick up that phone and call. she will answer. Okay, no joke. She will answer. So anyway, this is her card right there. We're going to set that to the side. And we are going to do our best to swap places here if I can make this work. Get over here. Hope that didn't work. And let's go. Uh, oops. Well, hi, Kevin. Uh, Kevin's wife, stay there. Don't move. <laughs> I, I just I, I went full page to be able to show so everybody can see. It's all good. So let me take this. Now, this canvas, this particular one, does not have the fuzzy on the box. This is like an artist canvas, okay? Like what you would paint on. Uh, you could do oils and acrylics on this. That is the type of canvas this is, okay? Now, let me... Um, due to the fact that this is poured glue, I can gently, okay, roll it backwards. If it has a white opaque, um, if it has a white opaque uh, uh, cover on the top, that is not poured glue. That is like shelf paper and you do not want to roll it backwards, okay? Because it will uh, mess up your diamond painting. So anyway, here is our paperwork. Okay, that you seen earlier. Here is a list of all of our drills. Um, it even comes down to tell you how many drills she sent you. I'm sorry, I wish that was bigger. Uh, and if you need or how. Okay, she put this in there for you. You can also cut these out and use them if you want to. Again, here is her email. She answers her emails ASAP. You can also get her in her Facebook group. Okay. She does have a Facebook group. And that is her direct phone number. So I'm one of these people. I hate doing text. I hate doing messages. When I have a problem with something, I want to talk to a live human being. Okay. So I love the fact that I can pick up that dog on phone and call her. So here are the drills. They come like this, okay? Typical in the bag. I am not going to open these because my OCD would go bonkers and I would be petrified that I would get them all out of shape. If you look on the bag, you will see that there is a number on the bag. It also gives you the <coughs> round stickers to go on the top of, if you use the round bottles, like I do in a little zipper pouch, there you go. There's your stickers right there. And uh, and then here's your bags, okay, uh, of everything that you've got and uh, what have you. And it comes in the typical uh, long bag. All right, people, here we go. I'm going to try to get this as best as I can. As you can see, even though it does not have the, what I, what I call fuzzy on the back. Let me move this here. Even though it does not have the fuzzy on the back, I rolled it in the opposite direction and it is laying down perfect. Now, the first thing that I am going to do is I'm going to peel this back just a little bit because what this does is it releases the tension that is in between the diamond painting and the um the cellophane and you just do this to both sides you pull it back very gently okay can y'all see that 
if I'm messing up anything. If you see any fuzz whatsoever, I promise you it is not this canvas. It is my camera. So let me do this really quick and smooth it out. Oops, let me touch. That's the sticky. Okay, y'all see where it has really good sticky to it? Now, I'm going to turn this around again. I'm going to do this side right here really quick. And smooth it out. Come on. Go off the way, baby. Usually, I get Mr. E to help me with this because it's, for me, everybody else, y'all can most probably hear that. That's air bubbles. You always want to make sure you get the air bubbles out, okay? Because what's going to happen, and this goes for kids that you leave open for a long time. The glue will dry. Once the glue dries, uh, you've either got to go and buy that glue stuff or um, you have to, um, you know, uh, just remember, if you got four, five, or six diamond paintings open, all right, and it don't have the plastic on it, and y'all have done something else to it, it will dry out. Um, and my Josephine wall that I'm working on, uh, that I started in 2001, um, that I have this much left to finish, Jamie. Uh, that was one of the problem was that I had, um, it had been out so long that some of the drills are not sticking. So anyway, I have managed to get all the wrinkles out, all the air bubbles out. Look at that. Look at how flat that lays. And that's why I did that. Now, I'm going to bring this up close. Hopefully my camera will do what it's supposed to do. Look at that. Do you see any fuzz in that whatsoever? This is a round kit. The colors are, well, you look in both pictures. See in both pictures right there? Okay, you got the big blowed up picture, but then if you look at the bottom right, I'm sorry, the bottom left of the screen, you can see the second image. And look at the colors. Look at how clear this is. There is no fuzz. And I mean, these colors are just popping. I do not do rounds. I am not a round person. I don't like doing rounds. But I bought this specifically because of the amazing colors. Also, I'm not exactly 100% sure, but you will have to ask Kokesha. But I believe that there is enough purple in here that if you wanted to do this, uh, you might be able to use this for Kokesha's uh, domestic violence event that is in October. Okay, because it does have quite a bit of purple. Uh, you've got your purple here. Uh, you've got purple here and here. You have the the uh, what I call neon bright orange. You've got a lot of pinks and purples. So now, I, is it enough purple? That would be the question that I would have to ask Kokesha. But at the top, you have days dash dreams. You have her banner. And then you have Music Doodle 44.5 by 44.5 centimeters, round with 39 colors. On the left and the right, this is the right side, you will have the image. See the image? Even the image comes out crystal clear. I am blown away. She did this on her own own canvas printer uh that um you know and poured the glue and everything and i mean it it there ain't a fuzzy spot on this and then look there's all you there's all your numbers 
Now, let's see, where is she? There, it does have an A, B. Uh, I want to say I thought there was an A, B or one A, B in here somewhere. I'm looking. Anybody see it? Come on, focus in, you little pain in the butt. That is my camera. This is not the, the canvas. Um, might be the last one. I'm not sure. And then you have down here at the bottom, you have a uh, design printed, packaged in a house at Day's Dream LLC. Over here on this side, it has contact information. This is a Debbie Day Day's Dream piece of art. Okay. This is not. Uh, welcome back, doll. Um, this is not a uh, somebody else's <laughs> art. This is Debbie Day's art. Okay. So, all right. That's that. So, let me take this and roll it back up and put it back in its... Uh, oops, let's not get the paper. And again, it, how cool is that? You get round stickers... To go on top of the bottles. Now, that's all I use is bottles. Okay. So, anyway. Let me roll this back up. And this is a Debbie Day. Day's Dream piece of art. So, before you start going. Hey, is it copyrighted? And blah, 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 and blah, and blah. And all the rest of that 99 yards of crap that y'all throw out. Yes. This is hers. Okay. She did it. She designed it. She made it. She that That's hers. So, I'm going to take, and it, again, I got this at Hobby Lobby. The sticker came with it. Uh, did it stick? Yes, it did. However, I put masking tape or boxing tape over the top of it because I wanted to make sure that the sticker didn't come off. However, after I am done with this, this will peel off and I can reuse this, uh, this tube. It will slide down and honestly, if you roll three or four canvases together, I don't know if y'all can see that or not. Eh, apparently not. Um, if you roll <laughs> all three or four canvases together, see how there you go. See how much room is in there? Look at that. You could get three or four canvases in just one of these. All right, that's locked into place. Let me make sure that my, my little lid is not twisted. It goes on like this. Slide it in place. See where it says open. This says lock. And you turn it that way to lock it. Okay. And that is that. Now, here is the piece de resistance that everybody has been dying for. Okay, and this is, um, this is the, where did you go? There we go. All right, this is the wolf. Look at this wolf. Look at those eyes. This is a, again, designed, printed on U.S. made canvas, packaged in-house at Day's Dream. Um, it is Wolf Dreamcatcher, $45. Uh, she does have more than three in stock. Okay, you can get more. Just message her if, if it runs out. Um... And it is uh, 51 colors, 42.8 by 64.4, uh, poured glue, licensed image, and it is printed in her uh, at Day's Dream. Okay, so there you go. And here is the, the canvas. And there's your colors. Now, she made me. Oh, excuse me. She made me a square. It is not on the site yet. Okay. I literally <clears throat> just got this. 
So she has not put the square on um on the the website as of yet, but it's coming. Okay, she she did the square specifically for me, the first one, and because she knows that I I am not a fan of rounds. Um, but there you go. Okay, so we're gonna close off here. And we are going to take, and I am going to do that, uh, and take. You, you can, you can just make me disappear. It's fine. No, we got. No, I, I need wait. to see that on the big screen. We, we, we got. Okay, big screen. Let's see. Do, uh, do. Uh, well, hey, if I lose, you come back. Uh, that was me that did that. I made a boo boo, so that was my bad. I won't do it again. Oh, there we go. Okay. <laughs> Uh, anyway, same thing. Okay. The sticker came with, um, it was on the bag on the inside. What I did was I took it off. I put it on this again. These are from Hobby Lobby. They're $7.99 each. They are bulletproof. Okay. No joke. Y'all know me. If it ain't bulletproof, it don't last. I took some, uh, boxing tape. I put over the top of this because I wanted to make sure that it didn't come undone or come unstuck or anything like that. This is strictly just a me thing. Once I'm done with this canvas, um, what will happen is I can take this off um, and it, reuse it for another image. I have so many of these because of the fact of... Um, <coughs> you know, uh, uh, boxes coming in that get crushed or whatever. Um, as long as, matter of fact, these are better than boxes because they keep uh, more air out where boxes are breathable and plastic is not. So it keeps your glue um, from drying out a lot better. So all I'm going to do is twist it. Okay, so you twist. All right, you pull. Oops, twisted the wrong part. Twist, pull. Okay, and there's my canvas right there. Uh, this does, all you do is uh, twist again. And I can, if I can do this correctly. There you go. Ooh. Hey, dude, I'm talking to you. Pay attention here. Usually I get hubby to do this. There we go. And it will expand. See, here's your expanding. Uh, matter of fact, it's got numbers on it that tells you how many inches it is. And it will literally almost go to like, I want to say four foot, five foot, something like that. So anyway, there it is. It's in there. Y'all see that? Uh, it did come in a sealed bag however i cut the bag open uh just at the very top of the seal if you have one of those what is it kitchen sealer thingies um you can reseal it if you would like uh also they have these little bitty ones that i have that uh it's a it's about this big uh it's about that square it the two little metal pieces get hot and sometimes I use them for those little Ziploc bags that I have. And you start at one side, you slide it over, and it will literally, it's kind of like a curling iron or, or uh, a hair straightener. And it will literally seal your bag back. But I left it in the bag. And as you can see, the bag did come with another sticker. All right. Uh, love Debbie for that. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show you the the image just see if I can get it to come in here but however y'all seeing it on the website look at the detail look at the detail okay now me as a graphics designer which I haven't done in forever but yes I am a graphics designer um I I am fanatical about details in diamond paintings okay that is just a me thing uh, that's the reason why I only do squares uh, instead of anything else. Again, here is the <laughs> okay. okay, come on, you pain in the butt. Focus. Uh, 
Uh, the mod, go, go look in chat. Mods will put the link down there. Uh, so anyway, um, I need to get back to where I need to be in case my mods are throwing rocks at me. There we go. Okay. Next. Uh, undo it on my iPod, but uh, okay. Uh, not a problem. Give me two seconds. Uh, Anita, I just seen your message and yes, darling, give me a couple of seconds to finish what I'm doing and we will give it a shot and see. Uh, again, this canvas does not have the fuzzy on the back of it, but it is not thick. It is not stiff. It is, well, it is very thick. Uh, but it is not stiff uh, or hard or anything, you know, kind of like these little Chinese, you know, diamond paintings we get. This is literally canvas that you could go to Hobby Lobby and buy. And if you're an artist, a lot of artists will do this. They make their own canvases, okay? And they have the wood squares that you can buy. And it's called stretching and making your own canvas. And that's what this is. And I can feel it. My grandmother was an oil painter. Um, and she would buy this and make her own canvases. And so this is a really, really good canvas. Um, as far as it fraying or anything like that, I do. It feels like it's got some type of little plastic or uh, 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 honestly, I can't tell. Will it fray? No. I do not see it fraying. Uh, it is not open ended. It looks like she put some kind of wax or something on the end of it. So I'm gonna I'm gonna roll it up again like I did the other one. Um if I can do this the right way. And again, this is poured glue. If you get a diamond painting that has the white paper on the front. That is glorified uh, shelf paper. If you remember back from the 70s and the 80s with the shelf paper, uh, you do not want to roll your canvas backwards. It will damage your, um, your canvas due to the fact that that is double-sided sticky tape. That is not poured glue. It's tape. Now, here are your drills. These are square um, and again, this kit was for me. I do not, is the paper in there? Yep, there's my paper right there, okay. Uh, how hard would it be for me to get into this? Debbie, you sealed everything. She did. She, she, she sealed it so nothing would come out. Which, honestly, she sealed both ends. Which I really think that's a good thing because how many times have we opened up our diamond paintings and our drills are literally like falling out and here and there and everything. Cause And this bag is really, really thick. It is not that cheapy little bag. So um, again, uh, the paper with these stickers is right there. Y'all can see that. So I'm going to take and I'm going to set those to the side over here. And give me a drum roll. Somebody give me a drum roll. Okay, because this is what everybody wanted to see. <clears throat> wow. Uh-huh. I told you. <laughs> now, I'm going to hold this up. And we, I, I, don't, I don't know what part. To, I'm trying to make sure you get all the detail. Let's start with the top. Daysdream.com. Debbie Day. Wolf. 46 by 4, 70.2, square, 59 colors. Uh, I don't have the thing in front of me. I forgot how much it was. Um, look at the details. Look at the details in this canvas. Now, another thing, if you see any fuzz in this canvas, it is not the canvas. It is my stupid camera. There you go. Now, Kevin's wife, help me yes. out. Is there anything particular you're wanting to look at? Because I know you said this is why you came on specifically was <laughs> to see this. Hey, thanks. Love you, too. 
Um, <laughs> but here's the feathers. I'm trying to show all the details. I'm sorry, I'm not. I just best. love all of the, uh, all blah, 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 all of the different blues. On I the know. Sides. Uh, I am not the best uh, uh, diamond painter, shower, unboxer, but look at the details. Okay, here's the thing: a lot of people can do diamond painting canvases. That's not the problem. Problem is. Oh, I forgot what they call that. Um, um, render rendering. Okay, mm -hmm. from the image to the uh, um, uh, uh, image to the canvas, because you you lose a lot of details, right? Uh, especially on a round. But look at that. Look at the blues. Look at all those colors. Okay. Now let's look over here. Here is if I can get this because it's kind of long there you go come on focus in and then um here is your numbers okay that is that is a line i thought that might have been something particular but there's a line anything that is 150 or below correct me if i'm wrong is an a b okay these are DAC numbers. And so here you go. Uh, they are extremely clear. I do not see any odd jump off the wall uh, symbols or anything like that. To be totally honest, the bane of my existence is those half triangles, especially when there's more than one in a kit. Okay, because those half triangles, I always get them turned around, mixed up, left, right, what have you. Again, if you see any fuzz in this canvas, it is not the canvas. It is my camera because it's deciding it's wanting to be a pain in the butt. You have two images of this. If you look in the bottom left, you can also see a closer up, up uh, another, another, what is the word I'm looking for? Image. You got two pictures to look at here. The one in the big old middle of the screen, and then you got one in the bottom left uh, where my face is at. So there you go. Uh, down here, uh, contact information. Again, this is her personal phone number. You got a problem, you got an issue, trust me, she's not going to give you no crap, all right? Hear me when I say this. She's going to go, okay, cool, and send you what you want. She's about like me with the attitude, it literally, okay? She's laid back, easygoing, deep Aussie accent, and uh, you think my ADHD is bad? Oh, trust me, her and I, look. It wouldn't pay for us to be in the same town. Um, and anyway, it says designed, printed, packaged, in-house at Day's Dream. So designed is she did this one herself as well. Okay. So there is no need for there to be any type of uh, like copyright because she did this. This is hers. This is her design, her drawing, her printing. She did everything from beginning to end. So there you go. Okay. This is not a send to China and go, hey, I want this or that. This is, she printed this in her basement. Okay. And I have had many, many, many video chats with her and she'd be in the basement. Um, and that's where she, you know, she runs the business out of. Now, again, what I'm going to do, come back here. Due to the fact that this is poured glue, and as you can see, see all the wrinkles that are here in this paper? Uh, when you get a uh, canvas from anybody, doesn't matter who it's from, you want to pull your paper back a little bit, all right? And you want to smooth out, you want to smooth out those air bubbles, and it always gets me right here in this corner. Not mention this one a little longer. It always gets me right here. 
Josephine Wall, like it drove me nuts. Trying to make sure that this this paper was straight. And you just usually I use a ruler uh, instead of my hand because a ruler's got that straight edge to it. And you just work the air bubbles out because wherever there's an air bubble in this, okay, is where the glue is going to dry. Now, another thing, too, what a lot of people don't know, or a lot of people do know, uh, but for those that do not know, okay, when you are done with your canvas, you'll look at it and somebody will go, oh my gosh, that's got such gaping gaps in it. Well, think of Elmer's glue when we were in school, okay? Glue shrinks when it dries, all right? So when this glue dries, it literally pulls the drills together, okay? And it literally fixes those gaps that we have and it fixes it automatically now how long does it take for this glue to dry pretty good while um in all honesty uh i've got a couple of diamond paintings that and what i'm doing is i'm pulling the paper back and i'm trying to make sure that i get air bubbles out um and when, and, you know, I would say, um, well, Josephine Wall has been opened and been worked on since 2001. Now, hers is still sticky, okay? However, it's not really all that great. Um, I will end up putting a coating on uh, the Josephine Wall like a sealer now have us did y'all hear that that was all air bubbles um i will end up putting a sealer on josephine wall just because of the fact that it has been open for so long right this minute as you can see i'm taking the palm i'm, I'm taking my palm and my coat and i'm just kind of running it along to make sure to get all the air bubbles out because you can hear them. Um, and then I'm going to turn it over and I'm going to do the same thing to this side. Um, and the Josephine wall, like I said, it's still tacky. It's still sticky. However, it's not like it was when it was first open. Let me just put it that way. You know, like uber crazy sticky. Um... But I am going to seal it. Now, I was told, and if I'm if I'm not correct on this, somebody, y'all let me know. Um, if I was told that if you put any type of um, ad adhesive or uh, like a sealer or something like that on a Diamond Art Club, once it's done... Okay, that it null and voids the warranty. Now, I don't know. I, that did not come from them. That come from a friend telling me, hey, if you... Because I asked her, does she seal her diamond paintings? That's, that's a big question for a lot of people. Do you seal your diamond paintings once they're done? Um, Christmas morning, which is four foot tall, um, is uh, dry mounted framed in a glass frame that is not um that is not sealed however when they were when hobby lobby was mounting it two of the drills popped off and they didn't know it until after the diamond painting the completed diamond painting had already been uh, sealed and there was no way to get back in it um uh, so what i did is the diamond painting was for my kids right my grandkids and, and my son so i made a game out of it now those of you that know christmas morning know that it is not a small canvas again it's four foot okay um i made a game out of it i told him i said there is 
umpteen trillion little bitty squares on this canvas. Find the two drills that are missing. <clears throat> well, I've got what I call the Brady Bunch, okay, of kids and uh, from 8 to 18. And they have spent hours, okay, looking for these two, these two red, and it's Christmas, uh, drills that are missing. So, again, there's always a way to get around it. But, um, uh, again, I was told that if you put any type of sealer, uh, especially on a Diamond Art Club, that it voided the warranty. Uh, that come from my friend that did not come from Diamond Art Club. So, uh, that is, you know, if you want to know 100%, all I can say is pick up the phone and call them and ask them. But right this minute, I'm working out all the air and just working out air bubbles. Now, again, this is crystal, crystal clear. Look at them. If you see any fuzz in this, my stupid camera, if you see any fuzz in this, this is not the diamond painting. It is my camera. Okay? So there you go. Uh, Kevin's wife, is there anything you want to see? No, uh, I mean, we, I could, I, we could just sit here and look at it all night. That's fine by me. Well, I can leave it right there. <laughs> uh, there you go. Uh, and again, this come from Debbie Day of Day's Dream. Debbie Day has a uh, Facebook group, okay? Has a huge Facebook group. Uh, huge following. It is the website is www.days with a dash dream.com. Okay. And Travis and uh, Anita and the mods are all putting the link in there. So click on the link. Again, you put in, night, in, you get 10% off. So there you go. Um, and, uh, guys, I mean, no joke, this, uh, I was blown away. Now I'm not, I don't do wolves. Okay. I don't do wolves. I don't do dream catchers. I know Sandy Chan's over there going gonzo bunkers. Okay. Because this is right up her alley. So here you go, Sandy, uh, pop over to Dave's dream and, um, pick you up one. Uh, where did my do, 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 wolf dream catcher? It is forty-five dollars. Um, again, this is a forty-six by seventy, uh, a forty-six point four. Let me be specific. You have uh, fifty-nine colors. Uh, to honestly, I don't know. Let me read. Uh, poor glue license. It does not tell me if there is any ABs in this kit. Uh, normally Debbie is pretty good about telling you if there's ABs or anything, you know, funny drills or what have you. Uh, they're not. And, uh, again, Debbie is flexible is all get out. So, uh, you know, it, all you got to do is, you know, again, pick up, uh, you can message her. You can Facebook message her. You can, um, she ain't hard to get a hold to. No joke. Uh, and I have been begging her to come on live. The only thing is Debbie is shy. And, you know, she, she thinks that uh, these are her words, not mine. She thinks that people will laugh at her accent and the fact that she's shy and, oh, my hair don't look good and this and that and everything else. So, um, anyway, um, you know, I just wanted to highlight her tonight. Poor Debbie is like my, my redheaded stepchild. She always gets pushed to the corner and everybody else gets advertised and everybody else gets, you know, shown and, and what have you. So I wanted to kind of take tonight and I wanted to focus on Debbie and especially since I 
finally, finally, finally had these two diamond paintings in my hands so I could show you um, <laughs> the clarity and show you the that these are hers. These are her paintings. These are her printings. These are her poured glue. These are her drills. Now, did she make the drills? No. Uh, did she make the glue? I don't think so. Not unless it come in a powder. I don't know how the glue comes. But I do know that this canvas and that other canvas, she ran through her printer. Think of a laser printer. You know, you hit the print button and the paper goes through. All right. That's no different than this. It's just bigger. All right. And it prints on canvas. This canvas is painter's canvas. What you would do a acrylic or what you would do um, a oil painting on. Matter of fact, this is not cheap uh, chintzy. And trust me, from somebody that knows, I was raised with this. Um, this is not cheap chintzy uh, type of, of uh, uh, canvas. This is very, very good canvas. So, uh, anyway, there you go. You just want to make sure that you work out your air bubbles. Um, you know, and again, when Mr. Nix gets home before I put this back in its, in its little, in its little case, him and I will do what I call the, uh, um, I have quilting, uh, I have quilting rulers, which are uber long. Okay, and that's what I use to, um, and he'll hold it, and I'll slide the ruler, and it gets all the air bubbles out. But anyway, guys, there you go, and this is tonight's uh, feature. This is the person that we are featuring tonight, which is Debbie Day of Day's Dreams. Uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put it down here by his nose. Uh, uh, well, I'm trying to figure out where to put it, because look at all the detail. I'm trying not to hide the detail, but I don't know where to put her card. So, anyway, uh, is she watching? Hello, Debbie. I see you back there. <laughs> okay. Uh, anybody got any questions? I'm sorry. I was not watching uh, chat. My apologies. I have faith in my mods, and I figured it if, my, if there was something that needed my attention, uh, diamond painting gimme would be throwing rocks at me. <laughs> uh, so diamond Kokisha is here, but not mod. Uh, Kokisha is a mod. Uh, she will always be a mod until she comes to me and says, Nix, I no longer want to be a mod. She's not uh, listed however, as mod. She is not feeling well right this minute. Mm -hmm. Ask her yourself. Um, and if she wants to show her beautiful face, she has the link and she is welcome to click it at any time. Uh, because when I start my, uh, when I start my lives, I literally have a list that I go down and I send everybody the link. Uh, if they want to come and hang with me, like Kevin's wife of Kevin's creations, um, then, uh, they are welcome to <clears throat> Come. Next, I do not want to be mod. You see the labs, right? Uh-huh. Yeah. Tell me that to my face, woman. Uh, <laughs> anyway, uh, what I was saying, though, is uh, honestly, uh, um, you know, I, I uh, thank you, uh, um, you know, for being here with me, uh, Erica. Erica. Hey, I just realized uh, something. Hang Kevin's on. wife, but her name is not Kevin's wife. It's Erica, I think. Correct. It's on the yeah, it's on the screen. Thank I can't prepare it with my earrings. Oh, check that out. Oh, it even looks like it. Check. Did you make those? No. No, those were they they were a gift from my grandmother. They were I mean they're handmade, but yeah, I didn't make them. Oh, I, just, I just happened to realize, I'm like, oh my gosh, I have my wolf earrings on. <laughs> there you go. There's a lot of people that like, like wolves and what have you. And again, um, I, I had to wait about three weeks for Debbie to be able to re, uh, what did I call that again? Thank you. Uh, 
Yeah, she had to redo it. Okay, she had to re thing it because it was uh done in circles or done in rounds and uh i i do squares so uh she will be listing the squares up on the website soon if you do not see it then send her a message or send her a facebook message or pick up the phone and call her uh whatever you want to do and go hey uh, I would like the wolf in uh, squares if possible. She will tell you yes, no. She will tell you yes and give me a little bit. She will uh, tell you, you know, she's very straightforward. She's very upfront. Uh, she's like me times 10. Okay. No joke. Um, she's a hoot and a half and I love her to death. Uh, and again, one of these days, I will get her on here. But, uh, you know, that is that is her call. I'm not, I'm not going to force her or anything. So, anyway, it is... It is... Where is my mouse? There is my mouse. Uh, it is now Mrs. It is Kevin's wife. She wants to be called Kevin's wife. Her name is Erica. Um, <laughs> anyway, whatever you want. I don't care. They are the creators of Nix's Notions, Diamond Painting Pins, uh, and, and sorry, Phoenix Fantasy, <laughs> Diamond Painting Pins for last year. Matter of fact, uh, I dreamed about you and Kevin and, and the blue Phoenix. Um, and so it was like, hey, <laughs> I got I to gotta check on that. I'm sorry. That sounds like a nightmare. Uh, no. And, and Eric. Er Erica made this for me. Did this this here? She goes, I was just playing around. Guys, this is my pride and joy. Okay. It don't get far from me. Uh, it is literally just a little square block of wood. Um, she put the Phoenix on it, my favorite Phoenix. And then she put, what is it, polyurethane or no, or it's resin. Resin. She put resin over the top of it. This is their card. Their website uh, is um, Kevin P Creations with a K. Uh, sorry, that is your Gmail. Give me a minute. Uh, also, their business card is in my goodie bag. So uh, if you place an order with me, Open your goodie bag. One of their business cards will be in the goodie bag. Uh, their Facebook uh, is Kevin P. Creations with a K. Instagram. I'm gonna, I have to make an adjustment. I will be right back. Yes, dear. Uh, Instagram is Kevin P. Creations. Here, let's do this. Uh, there you go. And come on, focus in, focus in. There you go. YouTube and uh, they are on Etsy and that is Kevin's Creation Store.com. So there you go, guys. That is their YouTube, that is their Etsy, that is their Instagram, that is their Facebook. I am a member of all of them. I have done everything except for move in with them. Um, there's no room here, <laughs> honey. They ain't a room my house. There's there. not enough room for us and the tools. Yeah, uh, uh, there you go. Uh, so anyway, um, guys, I wanted to tell y'all to, you know, go check them out. Uh, Kevin, where did, where, where's my favorite? I don't have my, I'm sorry, Kevin, God forgive me. Travis, there's one thing, if you can correct it, on the Etsy site. It's actually Kevin's Creation Store. So there's two S's there. It's Kevin's Creations and then separate word, or Another word, store. So it's two S's. Um, mm -hmm. I get it. All right. Would you would you run off and go get? Oh. Uh, help help me a second. I'm done and done fixing to put the wolf back in its sleeve here. If you can give me a little bit of help, um. Is there anything, is there any questions before I put the wolf away from anybody? And as you see, I rolled it backwards. It laid down flat perfectly with no issues whatsoever. No, it does not have the fuzzy on the back of it. Um, Snuggies Craft Corner. Hello, 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 darling. Did I not roll it tight enough? 
No, nope. I did not roll it tight enough. Knox. Knox be in the house. Hang on one second, Knox. Let me try to get this back in this old plastic bag here. Which, by the way, I have a Knox that my husband's going to go get off the wall. Uh, I have a Knox original hand sign that is framed and hanging on my wall uh, in the hall. So, um, come here. Got it? There we go. All right. Got it back in there. There you go. It goes in there. And those two go in the back where they were in the living room. And hello, 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 Knox. Uh, if you will give us just a second, my darling. We Hi. were talking to Erica there for a minute to see if Erica had any new goodies. Erica, are you there? Oh, I am. Uh, do you I'm, have any new goodies? I'm having or anything any that you want? issues anyway, so I'm going to fix that. Yeah. Hi, Knox. I know. Don't you dare run off. Um, so anyway, my husband went to go go get Knox's. I would, honey, I was like a five year old doing a happy dance in the middle of the floor. I was jumping up and down and screaming and yelling and squealing like I, like somebody to hand me a bar of gold. Okay, when Knox sent me this gorgeous. Uh, lithograph of one of her uh, diamond paintings, hand sign. Uh, the only other artist I have is Cheryl Baker. And um, I'm trying to find one that I want to get picked out and request. Uh, this is Knox's right here. Uh, and she does have it in a diamond painting. Uh, or I believe you can get this no, in all different I don't think that one's a diamond painting yet. Been. Okay. But anyway, there you go. It is, it is, I, I had it glass framed, Hobby Lobby. Uh, it's even sealed on a box. See, there's her little note that she sent me. Again, I thought I was the queen of Sheba. And uh, it was like, and then I have Cheryl Baker's. I have, uh, but I didn't frame it because this, oh gosh, Cheryl sent me that in 2000, 2001. Um, it's still in the envelope due to the fact that way back then we didn't have specialty paper and I was worried about it fading. And so I left it in, uh, left it in, uh, 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 in the envelope. Hello, Cheryl Baker, by the way. Uh, so anyway, Erica, I'm going to yes. shut up. What you got? Um, not much in the shop, but I am going to brag on Kevin a little bit. So we did. Where is Kevin? He's playing his video game. Hi. Oh, I don't. Oh. Oh. He can't stop long enough to come hang out with Nick's. <laughs> You're special. Oh, I get a drive by. Knox said hi, Erica. Yep, I see her. <laughs> okay. So, so anyway, okay, what's going on, baby? All right. Should I do? Yeah, if I send you pictures, can you put them on the screen? Uh, yes. Okay. Let me bring up the thing here. Now, you so, do know I got to show my um my my Facebook Messenger if you don't mind. So we did a thing. They did a thing. Yep. We entered um we had some entries in the Maryland State Fair. Um, okay. so share. we did that. Share, share screen. Deep, deep, deep. There we go. All right. And here is the first one. Oh, you got second place. Yay. Yo. All right. And We're back. Go. there should have been another one that came through first. No, nope. ah, I got to have a cauldron. Hey, put, put my name on a cauldron. <laughs> So go the other way. There I actually have a little way. cauldron. No, not that. Maybe I'm I, I, I'm just thinking. Oh. There's only one way to go. Um, <laughs> here I can do it this way. Hang on. Um, scroll up. There's a yeah, the turtle. 
Okay, there we go. We got a turtle. So Ooh. that's one of our oh, sun catchers. Colors. Yeah. So, so he cut that out on the scroll saw. I fill it in with resin and top it, like like your your cover minder. So that oh, went in the yeah. category for home decorations, and that got third place. Like in that for miscellaneous decorations, and they had what almost thirty, I think, entries. Yeah. So that was third. So that was like mind blowing. Think. And that's the Christmas. We seen that one. So y'all don't forget Christmas coming up. Uh yes, please. Uh put my name on this one. I I, I want one. Yes, ma'am. So that was it. first in the holiday non-Christmas category. Uh send me a bill. Uh and then I will <laughs> take one, please. Thank you very kindly. That's uh, funny. I actually have another one. Okay, now we need to talk about this. I don't know if you can blow that up or not. Um Hang on. Give me one second. Ah, where'd you go? Out. Where'd you go? Hang on a minute. The, uh, I'm playing here. Yes, I can blow it up, but... There you go. So, Kevin entered this piece in the woodworking category. So, there's two main categories. There's wood constructed, which means you are, are building stuff with the wood and then there's wood carving which is obviously you're you're carving stuff out um so he entered this in the scroll work category and the blue ribbon is for first place within that particular category that yellow ribbon is his best in show for all of the constructed wood categories well you look gorgeous. look look guys look what was okay you can tell flipping amazing uh, <laughs> i can because look at the stems on the flowers, okay? And look at the butterflies, all right? And then look at the flowers. That is three different techniques just right there, okay? Mm -hmm. And then if you look right here at the... Boy, I'm sitting here pointing all this out and y'all can't see it. And me. no, Kokisha, you cannot have it. <laughs> ah! It's spoken for. And there you go. And look, oh my goodness, what a beautiful ribbon. Um... So, wow, Kevin, that's amazing, dude. Thank I have one question, okay? Yeah. And leave it leave it to me to be the idiot that asked the one stupid question. <laughs> Why didn't you stain it or glaze it or something? I let the different woods be their own color. Each of those butterflies has two different types of wood to it. Um, the stems to the... Uh, to the flowers or a different wood than the flowers themselves. And as time goes by, each of those woods will darken or be more bold in the color that they're going to be. Like my pins, because you told me my pins, that, that my ferret pins that I got uh, with the hearts in them that I showed last week, uh, were going to end up getting darker as time went on. Yep. Uh, that makes a lot of sense. Again, leave it to me to ask ask the dumb question. Um, but yep. oh my gosh, congratulations to you guys! Yeah, those are gorgeous. Yeah. No, him, him. <laughs> uh, okay, him. Uh, but anyway, let's see. Do, 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 where are you? Okay, nope, nope, and nope, and <laughs> found you. Okay. Uh, and then, okay, we had the turtle. Uh, there's a turtle. You, oh, you man. You can't see okay. it very well in the picture, but those are oh, swirled colors within the shell, within the whole turtle. The colors are actually swirled. I was fixing to say, I know I was, well, I can see it, but then I'm looking at it on, you know, closer than you guys. And then I can see a little bit in uh, the green, but hello. Okay, I can tell you right now, there are at least six people in this room that just goes, uh, I want one of those. So I hope that you guys have got more made because I know that uh, Sandy Chan, I know that Cindy Walsh, Love and Sparkles, me, uh, and a couple of other people are going to want these, this, okay? So you might as well get busy. Um, don't even bother telling you, you ain't even got to price it. Just send me an invoice, okay? Uh, and call it a day. So, uh, again, uh, the list for uh, their Etsy store 
is there uh now uh i'm gonna i'm gonna do you have anything else you want me to show baby not tonight i just had to brag on him oh i don't blame That's you <laughs> I don't blame you. I, I, I would have been doing some serious bragging myself. Uh, but what I wanted to uh, what I wanted to say though um, is the fact that uh, oh my gosh, guys, Kevin is a woodworker, okay, and Erica is the resins or or a, 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 a epoxy or poly. I don't. She makes resin. Some. Just go with resin. It's fine. Okay. So anyway, they do everything from uh, pictures like what you've seen here to Kevin does chairs and tables and, you know, uh, diamond painting pins, uh, um, anything and everything. If it is wood, okay, and he made me two ferrets. Just it literally took him five seconds. Boop, 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 boop. And he come in and go, you like this? And I'm like okay hello and erica went and poured resin where he had carved out the ferrets not to mention it had four hearts on each side okay that um that had the um uh different colored in there the neon colors and it was like yeah yeah i i was going just uh, i i and it was like again uh just send me an invoice okay i i don't care just send me an invoice so uh but anyway baby you got anything else if not we're gonna move on to knox who is a <laughs> surprise a pleasant surprise as well <laughs> <laughs> so anything else my darling that you want to brag on your fabulous husband and or yourself about nope not tonight all right my darling we're gonna slide out all right knox Oh, they're ready. <laughs> Do you want me to show some? Other, I mean, I can grab some other stuff. I don't know. <laughs> All right. Well, if not, then wait. I, I, there you go. Okay, go ahead. Knox ain't ready. Yell at us. Knox, I don't, I don't have ready. anything else right now. I'm about ready. I just need a second. <laughs> well, I thought we I was ready, ready when I showed up, but I was not. <laughs> There you go. We're gonna we we're gonna sit here and watch Knox get ready. How about that? There we go. And I'm gonna drink my well, now it's cold tea. I mean I can show stuff off from Kevin's. I've got like pen. Yeah, there you go. Uh, I was <laughs> and this I little was cauldron looking. that I love. It's oh. holds on my like my my trash drill. Is that one of the flower ones? Yeah. It's, yeah. I, my camera kind of sucks right now. Sorry. I'm looking at getting a, a webcam. My old computer had a better camera. But yeah, you can see all the little flower petals in here. I love this thing. And it's a cover minder. It's got I, I the can, magnet show, in I, the I, resin. I, I took it out. Okay. <laughs> so there you go. I took, she got mad at me. No, she got mad at me because I had oh. this bubble wrapped in a, a pen holder. I will be and right back. I went to eyeglass and bought a specific eyeglass case to put this in so it wouldn't get damaged or broken. And she yelled at me. For not using it. So there you go. It's in my hand. See? See? This be you. So there you go. Uh, I was looking for my ferrets. And I think my ferrets are on my other table. So I apologize about that. And um, We do love Knox cookies, yeah? You better stop coming at me in chat. Because I can't pay attention to that. <laughs> Ah, uh, yeah, there you go. So, uh, <laughs> anyway, uh, but yeah, you know, you guys are, uh, oh my goodness. And thank you for the surprise uh, pop in on me. Thank you, Knox, for the surprise pop Ooh. in on me. Okay. Uh, are you Hi. ready, darling? Yes, but first I'm going to show off more Kevin stuff because I have okay, a bunch. Okay, we love showing off Kevin stuff. Okay, so my favorite, yeah. this was a custom. I absolutely love mushrooms. Those are like hand-carved little mushrooms in there. I don't know if the camera pick it up. There's like this green mossy stuff in there. Actually, now you know I'm sitting here making a list, right? So I'm going to be calling Kevin going, okay, I want one of these, one of these, one of these, one of these. Those <laughs> mushrooms, knocks. those were done on the lathe. So the same yeah. machine that turns the pens is 
did those mushrooms too and they are like super itty bitty yeah i know i'm just so impressed with like the painting and the, the detail on that so this is my favorite pin but awesome I that was a lot of fun to make like this gear pin that was from yep. one of my events oh, okay now that i like okay that has that biker you know uh, it's the steampunk. Yeah, of... we did steampunk for my punk uh, punked out diamonds event last year. Girl, I would love to come and do all of your. You are always got event yes. going, okay? And <laughs> I, I do. feel so bad because I can't come and do your events, but uh, Daddy Halloween. Bats. Pin. <laughs> I see bats. <laughs> yes, that but, yeah. yeah, that was the cauldron where they were flying up, and then this one. Of Ooh, it, that I don't have a good lighting in here. Let's see if we can get the light on. Let's see if that helps. Oh, that just glares. <laughs> this way, maybe? That nope, that's what, all sucky. That's, that's oyster sucky. shell. <laughs> I call it oyster shell because it's, it looks like the inside of an oyster shell. Well, this one was done to match um, Beautifully Broken. I don't know. Oh, it's one wow. of the Diamond Art Clubs. And uh, it came with a cover reminder. Of course, it had it had to have the the matching cover minder. So you know we don't have we don't we, we don't have. I'm gonna be nice, booty anything. <laughs> so yeah, I have more, but like these are the ones I had easy <laughs> access. <laughs> this is not including the ones I've given away as like prizes for things or to my friends. Like I have so many Kevin's guns. <laughs> Well, okay, thanks do for the sharing. That Nox is, I appreciate that. <laughs> Nox is our, well, honestly, she surprised me and popped in on me, which I am absolutely loving. Uh, I am going to put her lithograph here so everybody can see it. Um, and then you got Erica, Kevin's wife, with her pins that Knox is showing off. <laughs> so uh, we just got this circle going around like where we're just showing everybody here. stuff except our own. <laughs> I was going to try and pull up if my computer will let me. I was going to show off some art, but my computer's not letting me open anything right now. Don't you hate so, that? Man, I cuss mine and threaten to throw it out the back door daily. So what I can do is I like mostly what I've been working on is my art. I do have an event running right now. Um, it's exploring AI art. It's sorry. I hit my mic there. Um, it's an event they're keeping kind of private because there's so many trolls against the AI art right now. And to a degree, I understand because there's a lot of misuse of AI art. Um, like there was a lot of misuse of digital art when it first became popular. In fact, it still is um, like people who were copying other artists, plagiarization, right. um, scamming, things like that. Those things I definitely do not support, but um, AI as a tool for actual art is extremely helpful. And most of my art is a mix. Um, some of it I've drawn myself. Some of it came from the AI generation. Uh, the lithograph you have up there is one of those mixes. Part of that's me, part of that's AI, but even, even AI wasn't me just um, typing in five words and expecting something to come of it. It took a lot of effort. That image oh, yeah. that you're looking at right there took me about four weeks to complete. Now you are uh, at any given day time, whatever you are welcome to send me uh, an, another <laughs> with the gold. See, it's even you know, a gold signature and it's got the little if you contact note me on the back, you any, know, so. anybody can message me, Facebook, Instagram, whatever you can find on my social media. Um, if you have an art piece of mine you like, I can order it as a print, sign it and send it to you. Um, I help be happy to share prices with you. It's, I try to keep it pretty cheap as best I can. Um, All right. Now, I got to admit, I, this was a gift. It yeah. was a surprise <laughs> gift at that. And when I opened it up and seen what it was, no joke, guys, I was like a five-year-old doing a booty happy dance in the middle <laughs> of my kitchen, okay? And it was my husband's going, what is going on? What is it? What is it? I said, it's a Knox. Okay. And he goes, well, you're Nix. Who spelled your name wrong? I said, no, it's a Knox. 
And I said, I have known her since literally you are one of the very first people I met when I come into the diamond painting community. And you and I have always kind of, you know, yeah, I was still pretty itty bitty in there too. <laughs> Yeah, you know, we don't talk a lot, but I mean, we, we always like, hey, how you doing, you know, and, and, and passing and what have you. But uh, it was like when I seen when I got this uh, again, it, I, I don't think somebody could have handed me a 20 karat diamond or a gold bar uh, that would have meant more to me than this right here. And the first thing I did was I gently slid it back into his envelope. I handed it to my husband. I said, go to Hobby Lobby right now. I want it sealed, framed, and I want her note put on the back because the way they seal them, uh, it keeps the air out. They're specifically sealed. And so I wanted to make sure that the note was on the back of it. And I got to admit, along with... Uh, along with my 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 you know my phoenix here uh these are my pride and joys and this is literally hanging on hanging on my wall on my hall well i'm still uh, working on so phoenix art you. for your next event too uh i'm sorry repeat that i'm still working on phoenix art for your next event ah uh, bring it girl i'm i'm so <laughs> excited that and, and again Please accept my utmost and deepest sincere apology for not joining any of your events. But you know that if you ever you need anything from me, I, <laughs> I am barely join my right. events nowadays. <laughs> uh, because she has an event monthly, okay? And it's just that I got into that last year. It was like, oh, okay, I'm going to do this event, this event, this event. I had six diamond paintings open that had this much done on each one. And I, and my OCD was just went, ah, you know. Uh, and I am slowly but surely, you know, finishing them up and what have you. But uh, that is the reason why I have not joined any of your events. Because Well, I got I two, have, two more events this year after the AI art event as well. So there's plenty to join in. Well, I don't was, know. I don't know if I'm doing events next year. I've had a lot going in on my life and I'm kind of tired. So I may take a year off or half a year off. Well, you have, honey, you've done events every month for the past year almost. Yeah, three years. <laughs> so, well, tell us about your event now. I think you can take a up. break. It's, I, I think, I think <laughs> that's fine. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty much always running one. I, uh, right now I'm doing the hashtag exploring AI art DP, which is being held only in the Facebook group. So I can make sure there's no trolls, no one attacking anybody because it's meant for open discourse about the topic. And for people to show off their art or diamond paintings they like that were made with AI art. And um, we're a little behind on it, but I'm co-hosting with Hannah from Iterations Crafts. And we're giving information about how to produce AI art, how to be ethical with it, uh, different tricks and neat things you can do with it, um, showcasing different artists, things like that. And um, it's a place for both people who want to diamond paint, uh, images made with AI art and for the artists themselves to show off the stuff that they're doing and have an open communication with everybody. Uh oh. Um, the next event we're hosting is November through December, um, beginning of November to end of December. It's a hashtag IC Diamond Art, which IC is short for Ivy Dolomore, Chrisabug, and You May Art. Chrisabug. I could not remember who the C was. <laughs> yeah. So, um, and then I'm co-hosting another event for December. So I'll be dual hosting events for a month um, with um, Ashley and Joe. It's hashtag blood, gore, and guts DP. Oh, okay. um, I, I got the purple think, diamond painting for that one. And it's, we're specifically doing that in December for those <laughs> who don't like celebrating Christmas or want to do something gory for Christmas or what have you. Just throw something a little different during the winter time, other than all the- I'm coming to hang with you. Like, you <laughs> I, yeah, I, I'm not a Christmas person. I, I usually- I can't stand Christmas. I'm not Christian for one thing. Um, I do celebrate the uh, the solstice during that time and my kids still get presents. It's basically Christmas, but without all the Christian connotations to it. And I have nothing against, you know, 
people celebrating Christmas. I'm kind of an open celebrate everything with anybody kind of thing. But I get bombarded with too much Christmas stuff. And I also have a lot of bad uh, trauma memories attached to yes, it. That's me. So um, I, I was like, you know, Ashley approached me about co-hosting Blood, Gore, and Guts. And I was like, you know, that sounds that, that sounds fine. Like, I'm not normally a horror person, despite the fact I do have horror art. Oh, I am. Um, well, I am and I'm not. I'm picky about it. But I was like, you know, Blood, Gore, and Guts for December sounds fantastic. Like, that just sounds fantastic. <laughs> I Let's do you, it. Usually for me, um, I get what is called, uh, I got bad depression. On it's, It literally starts November the 1st and does not stop until January the, the 5th. Uh, and I turn off the TV. I, I close the doors. I pretty much try my best to back away from any type of uh, online or electronics as I can, other than what I have to do. Um, and just shut down for those two months because, you know, like you, you know, like you said, there is a uh, uh, hit behind the behind the scenes stuff. Um, but girl, I'm coming to hang with you. I'm glad you're doing this. You know, it's like everybody else is, you know, in that mode, but they don't stop to realize that there are other people that it literally has the reverse effect on them. And yeah. I am one of those people. Um, so anyway, it's, uh, no joke. I, I if I got to open up another Dama painting, I guess what I will, but I'm going to come hang with you in December. <laughs> you know uh but anyway so what else what else you got going on so um what i was gonna say and i got i distracted myself from is um welcome to my world despite the, <laughs> i am doing the event for the ai art but um my mental health is already struggling due to other non-related things pretty heavily um, i'm gonna fully admit i've been in a massive depressive episode and have not been doing very much at all um one of the things I realized that I need to do for my own sake is I, all the trolls and all the fighting over the AI art has caused even more depression and taken that element of my art and made it something that's not fun. It's a struggle now. So I'm taking a break from the AI aspect. That's and what I was going to say. Step back. Just take, I, just take two steps back. Take a breather. Yeah, um, I'm going to focus entirely on pure digital art. And I want people to understand that this is not me saying AI art is bad. Um, I am, I'm not going, hey, I messed up. Nothing like that. All of the art I already have out there is going to be available. There's still some that's um, in the wings waiting to come out. But all my new stuff for, that I'm going to present is going to be purely digital. Actually, someone mentioned in the comments... Um, when I just recently finished, I have it on my Instagram. Let's see if I can figure out how to put it up. I've never done this before. Let's see. Uh, is it on a page? Cause if it's on, it's a page, on my I Instagram. Oh, um, I think I got you on Instagram. Hang on. Okay. I don't know how to use this yet. <laughs> uh, Hey, I'm not, an, I am not an Instagram queen. Okay. So you got to work with me on it. I, I, I can put stuff Actually, up. I, I could also um, message you the images. I have one I just finished and one work in progress. I was trying to go to your profile page. Cause don't yeah. you have them listed on your profile page? Yeah. I'm just going to message you the image. Okay. And then I'll also message you that's one that's a work in progress that I can't seem to pull up. Share screen windows and oh, come back here. There we go. So that's one I just completed last week. I love the colors. I love the neon. Uh, oh, what's the name for it? Oh, uh, um, there's there's a name for this specific type of art, and I'm sorry, it is literally just flew out the ear. Okay. Um, uh, but anyway, this is, I love these colors and these styles. It's got that neon look to it, which uh, for me, I personally love. Now, granted, but I like all your work. I, I Regardless of what the medium is, 
I have always liked all of your art. You caught my attention because it's got this, this, um, I guess, different, um, you know, style to it. It's not the typical that you see. Yeah. I, um, I, I like a lot of contrasty colors and attention grabbing. Like, I, I, I know a lot of people like softer images and more blended tones. I and I, I like it too. I just don't like drawing it as much. <laughs> I, I like the slap you upside the head kind of art, you know. Yeah. Um and and, and honestly this is kind of, uh, look at her lips, okay? If you really just want to pull something out, look at her lips, okay? Look at the details in her lips, look at the color. Um yeah. and I want to point yeah. out I started this as a test, I have never been able to successfully draw a person like with a pencil or painting, but for some reason my brain is wrapping around the digital art really well and the tools in there. It's all self-taught. I haven't taken any classes or anything, but That's I was like, you know, ADHD. I, I'm like, I want to see if I can draw a person. This is my first attempt at drawing a person in digital art. <laughs> You also, my really first good. attempt at doing a city. But for you to lock into the art that you are, that that is an ADHD thing. Because yeah. I believe you mentioned to me one time that you had the ADHD. ADHD and I'm and the autism. Same way. I can sit down at six o'clock in the morning, and the next thing that I know, it's four a.m. the next day, and I'm sitting here playing with art. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um, and and for you to do the same thing, that is because this is this is where your focus is and this yeah. is where you're enjoying it. So well, and the um, combination of the tools available in digital art just suits my mind better. Like so all oh, the yes. things I struggled with with drawing people with pencils and such, I I have better options in digital art that are more suited to me like my brain does not work the way everyone expects it to and I digital draw, art gave me i cannot more draw a stick figure but my grandmother taught me how to oil paint and i can yeah. as long as i can get some type of sketch now back in the day i used to use what you know like we had in high school uh like a projector to mm -hmm. sketch it onto the canvas and once I got it onto the canvas, I could take the oil paintings and just go to town and, and, and have a masterpiece by the time I was done. But I still, to this day, cannot draw a stick figure. So I know where you're at with this. Yeah. And you did absolutely phenomenal. And I am so proud and so impressed of, of your art with this. that it's, it's amazing. And there's a lot of little, um, little tidbits and Easter another? eggs in there. Um, actually, can we go back to the other one first? Sure, sure. I, I was just checking to see if you'd send another. Yeah. So interesting thing, because I've had people on my channel ask me, I, I mentioned that I play a game called Shadowrun. For those who don't know, it's kind of like uh, Dungeons and Dragons, but it's futuristic and uh, more dystopian. Yep. And it still has like magic and everything else, but it's more like corporations have taken over the world right. and it, it takes place in like the 2070s. So uh, people have asked me to talk about my game, but the thing is, is my gaming group is very dark and gritty and a lot of things I don't necessarily need to talk about on YouTube, especially on a crafting yeah. channel. Um, yeah. But what I did is just for a little bit of fun, if you look at her jacket, there's a snake and the math pie symbol on it. Uh, one of my characters is a shaman who deals mostly with snake spirits and yeah. she has a boyfriend who has named the snake Pi. Um, so I put that on there. Uh, the logo on the headphones is actually a logo from one of the companies that I redesigned and drew on there. Uh, the logo on the building to the left is the same thing. It's a, another company in shadow run that I redesigned, um, on the mirror, just inside her hair, you can barely catch it is a poster from another character's band that she has that I drew. Um, I might have that somewhere. Uh, like you, uh, I can gaming send that to you as well. and, and diamond painting is apples and oranges. And I keep all my gaming, you know, uh, off to the, to the left, I guess you could say. I have played a very few mild games uh, that I streamed there for a little while. Uh, but again, I don't know about you, but for me, um, that is where... I go to shut down 
uh, turn off my brain for a little bit. Yeah, it's because, um, definitely you know, my sanity is in yes. gaming. Uh, because there is our people that's got ADHD will stop and realize that our brains never stop. They're they're very loud. They're very noisy. There's there's a hundred yeah. different conversations going on at one time in our brains. So the only time that our brain shut down or or what I would call focus on on one thing is like for Knox with her art or the gaming. Same with me. Art or gaming. It, it, it's like a horse with blinders on. All you mm -hmm. see is what's in front of you. Any other time, day or night, even when you're sleeping, uh, if you've got ADHD, your brain is like a roulette wheel. Yeah, and that little marble doesn't stop. It it never stops. Yeah. And that you'll notice we'll talk a lot or, you know, what have you. So, so yeah. Uh, um, and then one more Easter right next to the poster is a neon sign of a uh, violin. My character plays violin in there. So it's like I put little little hints for my game into the art. It's kind of for my compromise. Of you, um, sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt. For those of you that are not gamers, which a lot of us here uh, in chat are not, what it, an Easter is like a little hidden Easter egg that has a separate meaning to another game or something like that yeah. to it. Uh, and that's what she's done is she stashed all these little Easter eggs in here that have a different representation to it. But to the layman person, to the common person, they wouldn't know it uh, unless they're a gamer. I know that Scott and uh, Katrina are gamers. Uh, I believe Travis is a gamer, if I'm not mistaken. And uh, there's quite a few of us in here. And uh, uh, Kevin is a gamer. So, uh, but then there's a lot of us that are not. Uh, yeah. I wish, knock on wood, I wish I had the time to game. How do you do it, girl? <laughs> How do you do it? Where do you find a time? Well, uh, Shadow Runs Tabletop. Um, I meet with my group every Thursday and Sunday for that. And we game in the evening. And uh, video gaming is hit and miss with me i've had something they think it's neurological staring at the screen is giving me a headache Oof. Uh, so i went from gaming a lot to only being able to game every once in a while as far as video games go and it makes me very sad <laughs> like I, I love my video games but um mostly i just do the shadow run or phone games for right now those ones don't bug me as much I would think the smaller the screen would give you a bigger headache uh because i got i got two huge monitors they think and it's my, something to do with my peripheral so uh, the phone game has me focus inward whereas my big tv has my vision pull into the peripheral right so see um my com I, my computer is uh almost a year old now but it was specifically built for two things gaming and art okay mm -hmm. And you know that any type of art software is humongous and will just suck up a, a computer system, you know, as yeah. far as space and what have you. Um, and then I got the PS5 and then I've got uh, streaming, you know, what have you. But I, I can honestly admit I haven't touched any of my games in uh, nine months, if not longer, because I just didn't have, I don't have time. I've lost the time. And so it's like, um, how, how do you do it? Where do you, you know, do you just stop the world and go, I'm going to do this right this I minute? I kind of let ADHD decide what I'm working on. Honestly. <laughs> I like okay. that that to be, to be completely you know fair, that. if I, if I try to tell myself I'm going to sit and work on my art, my brain will go, no. Yeah. <laughs> it doesn't matter if I was in the mood five minutes ago. As soon as I'm like, this is my designated work on my art time, the answer is no. I so understand you. And it's it's actually part of the disorder. It's, um, what is it called? It's um, demand avoidance. Yes. As, as soon as there is an actual demand on you, your brain will shut off and it will is, refuse to give um, you all the happy chemicals that come with doing something. What is the name of the, uh, It's not, diver, I want to say it was divergent. Uh, it's it's a, similar to that because I remember when they come out with the title or the name for it, it reminded me of the, uh, uh, what was the girl with the, 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 the series of movies. Uh, but it's, I believe it's called, um, uh, divergent or something along those lines. Neurodivergent. 
covers Thank like you. all the Your autism, and ADHD, so on and so forth. There are um, so many titles for this stuff nowadays, girl. You know, uh, look, I just go start at A, go to Z, slap it behind my name, call it a day. You well, know? neurodivergent is good because it's a catch-all for all of them. Yeah. So if well, you don't want to uh, remember you, all the different names, you could just say neurodivergent. For, for I can so relate to what you're saying because uh, bless my husband's heart because if it was not for him... Um, I, I've got two speeds, dead stop, and I have 100 miles an hour and can get a gazillion things done at one time. And then, like you, I, I want to sit down and do this, and my brain goes, yeah, no. There's mm -hmm. no focus. There's yeah. there is no focus whatsoever. It's off, and it's wanting to do this. And also, too, I don't know about you, but I can get more dawn as soon as the sun sets. In between yes. sunset and sunrise, <laughs> honey, I have done a thousand things. But as soon as that sunrise, my brain flies out the window. I'm listening to the dog. The cars mm -hmm. go by. There is every distraction in the world that there is to have. Oh, yeah. I am useless during the day. Like, absolutely useless. Uh, um, hello. Anyway, you I sent you the poster I was talking about that I also drew. Oh I, oh, I like that. And see, your art is so, uh, and I mean this, it is unique. I do not like... Uh, so I don't like something that a thousand other people have got, yeah. okay, because it depreciates it. But when you find that unique, uh, one of a kind style, uh, which is rare, um, you know, for me, that's what catches my attention. That is why your your picture is framed and hanging on my wall is due to the fact of its uniqueness. Okay, and that is not like a thousand other people's, you know, paintings and what have you. Um, so, you know, I commend you. I, I, hey, I, I, I tip my hat to you, baby girl, because you, you, you rock. You know, you got it going on. Um, so again, you know, you ever need anything from me? You know, I got your back. All you got to do is yell at me. Is there um, anything else that you would like for me to show? I know um, that you had... That, um, this one, um, I'm still in progress, obviously. Uh, I decided to try something. Uh, on Instagram, there's a lot of draw this art in your style um, uh, kind of semi-events. And this is what I'm working on. I don't know. I don't think I have the original image up yet. I'll post it when I'm done on Instagram. My mm -hmm. image plus the image that was the other artist to start with. But now, basically you know what I'm going to do with this one, because what she had was um, a girl wearing a star dress kind of in a space background. Um, I'm going to keep that. But in the background, I'm going to add a rainbow Aurora Borealis because I like my, my bright rainbow colors, which um, she's supposed to have white hair. So that rainbow is going to reflect in her hair. Right. I'm going to change this to punk style because it's supposed to be in my style. And I love cyberpunk. That, that's my jam. Mm. So um, once I'm done with the face, which I'm almost done, I've got to do like eyelashes and some shadowing and stuff. I'm going to start throwing in some piercings, like eyebrow piercing like mine. Um, probably a lip stud and a nose ring on the side. And then a bunch in the ear. And uh, I'm not sure I'm going, what software package that you use, but due to the fact I use that, a very basic one. It's just sketchbook on okay. my tablet. Well, what I was gonna what I was gonna tell you is that there is a uh, website. Okay, it is a pay for website mm -hmm. uh, that I pay a monthly fee to, and you can go and download. Um, they are, uh, um, wire, what I would call wire figures and, yeah. um, you can pose them and they are pretty much the stick figure for you. That's already done. Yeah. And, um, it's I have really a mannequin app that does something similar. 
the, the, uh, it's been a huge help for me. Now, yeah. as far as the rest of it, like the coloring and the shading and the clothes and all like that, you do that yourself, but it's kind of yeah. like that jumping off spot. You I've know, seen those. It, I actually, I think I have it. I, I just got Photoshop going. I got a computer that can handle it. That's why I have my new computer with a bad camera. Everything else is good. The camera sucks. <laughs> but memory um, hog I have it. will um you you've got to if you're going to do Adobe or anything like that. Hear me when I say this. You have to have a bulletproof horse of a system. Well, I've already had a. We got a good computer, and then I doubled the memory as soon as we got it. There you go. And, and, so and you might end up, a lot of upgrades space, to it. might end up doubling it again because yeah. the more, uh, see how on a, on the left side of the, uh, the right side of the page, how you've got these each little blocks. Yeah. Okay. Here's what's going to happen. Think of a link in a chain. Okay. Mm -hmm. The more that you add, okay. The more links that you add to this chain, mm -hmm. the slower your computer is going to get. Oh, and it's, yeah, my uh, my partner does has been doing digital art for a long time, so that's why we were already pre prepared there for you go. upgrading so you know the what computer I'm talking and about. things like that. So um, I just um, I haven't had a chance to switch over. I, I like working on my tablet, and I I still have to learn Photoshop, whereas I already know Sketchbook pretty well. So I'm like I'm going to finish this up and probably switch over and see how I do. Why don't you but, just uh, take your tablet and connect it to the system and that um, way, the tablet you do on a tablet. Yeah, the tablet won't run Photoshop. They don't have it set up for it. Uh, well, okay. Uh, you must have, uh, is it Apple? No. Because I was just looking at tablets uh, last week. Me and me and my husband was going through all of that. And it was like, shoot, I'd rather just sit here and do it on my computer. But, um, but again, you know, yeah. with the computer systems, um, uh, if you're doing any kind of art or if you're interested in any kind of art, trust me, Adobe and Photoshop and all of these uh, software packages that you use for art uh, will literally, it's like a game. It's no yeah. different than gaming. It will gobble up the memory and hard well, drive space and all and like that. And that's all I'm really going to use my computer for. I don't actually use my computer much. Yeah, so, and we specifically got this computer for our like a good touch screen. It does the fold into a tablet, so I'll basically just have a large tablet. But yeah, I was gonna cyberpunk that image up a whole bunch. I'm actually the dress was originally on both sleeves. I'm gonna make it one side sleeveless so I can put um, lines for a cyber arm on one side. Now you and know you're gonna, gonna have put, to come back and show us all this. Of when course. You, when, when you <laughs> and get then this I'm gonna done, put like I'm gonna aggravate you to death because I'm gonna go. I wanna see. I wanna see. I wanna see. I wanna see. Well, and I post all my up, uh, updates on Instagram as I'm I'm drawing, so people can see yeah, the progress that I'm here. making. But yeah, that's I can definitely here. pop it and show off when it's done. But yeah, the last thing I was gonna do is put like an ephemeral neon city in the background underneath the uh, aurora borealis. There, um, I, again, uh, there are, if, if oh gosh, I, I'm not quite sure if they still make them or not. I know I'm going, I'm dating myself here. Um, there was books that you could buy that had the CDs in them that literally gave you the line art. Let me just put it this way, mm -hmm. the line art. And you went in and you used Photoshop uh, and, or Adobe or what have you, and you completed it. But it gave you the city and it gave you, and you could move everything. And yeah. it was literally, um, it was a huge learning curve for me. Mm -hmm. um, now, granted, I haven't done this in forever and a day. Um, used to do it long time ago. Uh, Sandy will tell you she's pretty much got everything that I've ever done. But um, it, I, I just got bored. My brain just goes, okay, I'm done with this. I want to go do something else. Well, you want to hear something interesting? Yeah. Um, I have done a lot of photo editing and image editing and stuff like that before in other programs, but uh, this full-on drawing in a sketchbook um i've only been doing for three months <laughs> girl you gotta share you gotta you, you gotta share because 
My problem is I, I, I slowed down and a train outran me. So now um, the software has been upgraded and updated so much that when I went back to it, yeah. it was like I was looking at it going, okay, I remember this much, but they've upgraded it so much that I literally had to buy a book, okay, because yeah. there was such a huge advance in the upgrades and updates of it that I got to relearn how to use it again. And so uh, is there, I've got everything to do it with. It's just, I, I, again, like my gaming, I just haven't had the, the time, you yeah. know. Um, well, and I was but, thinking about, because I took a break on my YouTube channel. Again, the depression I was talking about, it was a little hard to film, but I was thinking of switching tracks for a little bit. Um, actually, someday I believe I was talking with Erica about a little while ago about doing like some small tutorial videos mm -hmm. and the sense I of, um, I don't know what I'm doing. Like I'm literally self-taught. So in a strange way, it, it's not that I think I can do better, but it's like, I, I feel like I could do a video that explains things very simply and easily because you I need it a, to be simple and easy. <laughs> your videos would be a better help than a full-fledged college professor would be because you bring it down to what I call earth level. Yeah. Common people like us, whereas anybody else, they're like on college level and you're going, you said what and do what and mine don't exactly. look like, like I don't. I don't know the names of any of the techniques, so I won't be using that and confusing people. No, you just I'm probably going to be going you like, click right the here. thingy and do the other thingy. Yeah, you just take your mouse <laughs> and you go see, see this little thingy up here in the top right? Yep. Yeah, hello. Yeah. That's me. And I also, I know for a fact, I'm probably not using the tools the way they're meant to be used. And in some ways, I think there's a good value in that, learning you, to do please, things differently. Me. If nothing else, for me, uh, yes, please. I'll, I will. T I will watch every video that you spit out because <laughs> of the fact that, um, again, I'm I'm self-taught as well. You know, and we. Uh, I don't know about you. I've always told everybody play. You know, you can undo and you can fix any. Th there's nothing no. you can break. Okay. Uh, so, you know, just go and play with it and have a good time with it. But, uh, oh my gosh. And I so relate with what you're going through. So again, I got your back. You ever need anything? You ever need anybody to yell at? You ever need anybody to talk to? You ever need anything for your, for your events that you're doing? I am always here for you. Okay. So that. you are not alone. Um, and depression's a bitch. I'm not going to lie. Yeah. All right. Um, I'm actually has, surprised I showed up here today. Like I, I was kind of hold up mode today. I had my coffee. Um, it was just you, like, I would I want to sit here and be alone. <laughs> well, you just sit there. You, you sip your coffee, you hold like this. Okay. And I will talk to you oh. and all you got to do is nod. All right. It must be still in the air oh. <laughs> because my social battery is like, yes, oh, yeah. I spent the day with a birthday party with, with five-year-olds. Oh, no. All no, day. No, no. I'm no, done. I am so I'm sorry. <laughs> I tell you what, I, feel, I have I feel you, Max. for 24 days, and I was sick as a dog. I slept most of the time, got a little bit of dying and panning done, but being unplugged, regardless of being sick, um, that was the, because uh, my husband took over everything, I needed that because, uh, you know, you you get what I call thin skinned and then you start popping off at people and you don't do it on purpose. But it's just the fact that you've done hit that wall. OK, and it's time to take a couple of steps back and a couple of days off uh, and do something that you want to do. And girl, I, I can relate. I hear you. I relate. And again, depression is a bitch. And. The thing about depression is one minute you're fine and you're going along and you're having a good day and you're laughing and you're giggling. And the next thing you know, it is like a two by four between the eyes and it will drop you to your knees in a heartbeat and your yeah. brain is going, what happened and why? Well, and, and what's really hitting me right now is like I have I have severe PTSD, um, a lot of trauma through the course of my life. And uh, mixed with the neurodivergence creates a very interesting PTSD response. Um, 
And yep. I have a lot of PTSD triggers going off right now that I can't control. I can't get away from, I can't separate out. Um, so my depression is probably some of the worst it's been in years. I have literally spent the last couple months just struggling to do the most basic things. Um, and all of that energy I'm putting into taking care of my kids because they're, they're my first priority. Um, but I'm kind of completely out by the time I'm done with that. And I actually, I have things I need to mail to Kokesha. <laughs> I um, still have sitting right here to show off and I feel so bad because I haven't mailed them off yet. Don't, um, don't, can, don't uh, actually that you, you're actually the only reason why I actually came over here looking like a train at me. <laughs> Because that's I about how I my feel. My hair down to try to look less like a train wreck. <laughs> <laughs> I think I wear hats. I only, I actually only came on tonight to tell you how much I appreciate you. I know you've been going through, you know, well, and, and but I, I appreciate you. Know, you. I actually was happy to see everybody here. Like Erica's here, Kokisha's yeah. here. <laughs> like, yeah, I, I appreciate I you. My my event would not be what it is without you. But I have, um, I have the images here. Oh, <laughs> uh, right yeah. See, they, the images played such a intricate uh, part of the event. Look at that. Look at her. I'm getting this you know, diamond painting soon. Mm hmm. Yes. Because um, the collaboration that the three of us put together, you know, just really put the event on a different catalyst. And, you know, that's my girl. That's that my the girl there. Yeah. Yes, that's my favorite. But um, you know, I just came on actually because I really don't feel well. Um, but I just wanted to really show an attitude of gratitude where you're concerned. I know you're going through, you know, we've we've kind of been hitting and missing each other. So I know that you're going through. I don't want you to think that I have nothing that, I have nothing to say about that. <laughs> okay, but um, I've been kind of out of the loop for the last couple of days with uh, the hurricane came yeah. right over my That's house. That's why I didn't end up calling you. I knew you had the hurricane. Yeah, it came right it over crazy. and unexpectedly knocked out power for three days. And Ugh. I had to relocate to a hotel with my mama and, and the song go and the beat goes on and on. But um, I am grateful to be home. And now, of course, you know, the change of weather in and out, cold, hot, hot, cold. So now I'm sick as a dog, <laughs> you know, but, um, and I probably, I, for me, I, swear, I, 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 pro I, I probably would have slept through this live altogether. Yeah. Except for that. I do have grown children <laughs> who came in here like a stampede at about nine o'clock <laughs> with hot soup and orange juice and everything else trying to make me feel better. So I appreciate that. You should but, those kids. you know, I want I want you to know that I get a lot of messages, Knox, okay, throughout this process with the event, right? And that's what I really wanted you to know, because those are messages that come to me that might not come to nobody else, right, as the organizer of the event. And it's been a very interesting ride so far. Yeah. But one of the things that universally is said is that how em how moving the photo the photo the pictures are you know how they can feel the expression in in the pictures that they're looking at you understand and I know that I know that that was the purpose you understand it was its own purpose you know but I have receive such wonderful messages about how healing even that the process of looking at some of the pictures are even though some people find them to be sad and i guess mm -hmm. i can see that too okay well, being sad but, is part of healing you there you go but, feel it before you can move past it and that's what i try to explain to everybody i think that everybody really needs to understand that domestic violence ain't pretty it ain't it, you know it ain't it ain't sunshine and roses you know so you know that's not the type of event that you know this is however just like um the picture that uh nick showed a little while ago with the music note and everything that um, Anita said that I pre-approved into the group, which I had. Um, 
you know, is more happy, is more uplifting. You know what I'm saying? So I, for me, it's it, this is one of those to each their own kind of events, right? Some people need to happy, happy, joy, joy, kind of block out, don't want to revisit there. I'm past that. Mm -hmm. And then there's some of us that just, it, it just is what it is. You can't run from it. So it just is what it is. And then there's people that even still are in the thralls of what their situation is, you know? And so I feel privileged as the host of the event to be able to <laughs> <laughs> get the good, the bad, and the ugly of this, mm -hmm. okay? Um, it's actually real enlightening, you know, but the, the emotion that has been expressed for all three of the photos is uh, is riveting. Excuse uh, me one second. Knox, I'm trying to make a banner for you. Where would you like for the address to go to? Which... Um, um, Probably my Instagram is the most used of my social medias right now. Okay, because uh, I was just, I wasn't sure which you got three or four of them, and I wasn't sure which one you wanted me to use, but I will. Uh, please forgive me for interrupting. Did not mean to. Uh, Either that or the link to my artist profile on uh, Diamond Painting Fanatics. Those I got are my your two Instagram, favorite. Uh, right here. But and... my Instagram has my whole link tree for everything. So Right. So I'm gonna I'm gonna put your Instagram on your banner. I am um making so go ahead. Please ex excuse me. I did not mean to interrupt. I just wanted to get your banner up there. No, I mean it's fine. Um, you know, so I just wanted you to know, like I said from the from the onset, I know you yourself, just like many of us, go through our own stuff, you know. But it's it's I think that it's important that you know how riveting and how moving the work that you do is also you know because oh, it, know, it, it, it's, i'm glad it's been received that way yeah. in your event that's what i was hoping for was I, I i knew it was gonna be hard for some people and too hard for some people and i i respect that understand it but i feel sometimes like despite our attempts to be real we also still hide we do it un unconsciously we don't mean to and sometimes like i like my art to have the full scope of human existence um i i try to put into my art what i see in the world and sometimes what i see in the world is is happy sometimes it's like the image that nix has up there was strength that that for me was an image of i will face anything um yeah. Some of it is relaxing and some of it is sad and some of it is angry and the world is out there with all kinds of people, all kinds of emotions, all kinds of events and settings. And that's why my art is so diverse. A lot of people mention that I don't have much of a genre. And I actually think if you're, if you're really looking at it, I do very much have a genre, a, a space that's mine. It's just broad it's it's open it's it's literally my view of the world um it's actually what you can see behind me is a diamond painting it's my art as well um it's another one of my neon images of a girl in a wheelchair because i'm disabled and i am sometimes in a wheelchair not all the time um but i don't think we see enough disability I actually when i started putting out disability art i started noticing other artists doing it too and that made me so happy. Like, I know some people would be annoyed about being copied, but I'm like, no, I wanted visibility. I wanted people to see the world in its entirety, not just the parts we want to, to swallow. Was and it Hannah that I was talking to earlier this week or last week about, about that, that y'all talk about the disabilities with your art? Mm -hmm. I think it was Hannah I was talking to. Yeah. Um, and she was saying how, you know, that the thing that y'all agree on, you know, is that it's not enough disabilities are not reflected in artwork. Yeah. Okay. Um, I I personally feel on it to have an opportunity to get to know all of them. Uh, I think I've met more artists <laughs> in the last 30 days than I've probably known in my whole, uh, my whole life. 
Um, but it's been an honor to get to know all of you differently and individually and where, you, where you're coming from. Because for me, I was looking to the meaning of each piece. You know, what does it mean? What does it, What did you feel? What did you think? You know, behind it. Yeah. Um, but I just wanted you to know how insightful and how riveting and how moving many people have received it. You know, I, yes, I've also gotten messages about, you know, it, it's, it's too hard and it's, it's too mm -hmm. sad and it's too difficult. And I've gotten that also. Okay. And that's but at good. the same time, you can't please all of the people all of the time. Okay. <laughs> I mean, I have, I have tried to make some concessions here. So during the course of the next seven days and somewhere in there I'll feel like something the cat didn't drag in and um, because we're adding two more uh, pictures to the featured section as soon as I confirm with Cindy that she has them okay um, just to round this out a little bit and accommodate a couple of uh, spaces that I didn't consider um, but you know, paint or hide is not going anywhere. I too ordered it in a seventy by a hundred. So you know, <laughs> wow. you're going, you you're going to send my print anyway. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> you know, so yeah, you know, I love that picture. I love that picture. I mean, um, but they all came out just as beautiful. She came out just as beautiful on the tumblers. Yeah, that's great. Like, you know, so she translated very well as well. Actually, in some ways, she's she, that tumbler is perfect because you can actually see the halves of the face one at a time. Exactly. Exactly. So, I mean, they all translated very well. That's the last thing I've gotten the actual chance to do before I lost power was put them all onto a tumbler and I'll take pictures of it and put it on. But I made sure to um, add the name of each one. I thought that was um, a good touch. Uh, I thought it was a good touch to have the names on the. Oh, uh, thanks. Number. I appreciate that because, girl, I went to war with how to best <laughs> represent this. This was interesting. <laughs> the journals are easier, <laughs> okay? But when you have a surface that's rounded, it is not always the easiest thing yeah. to do. But they all translated well in their colors and and their emotions to me translated just as well into the um into the substrates here as well. So oh, I, I would just, definitely I would recommend those tumblers to anybody who's considering. I, I told Kokisha, um, I have one and I filled it with some ice and water and I drank all the water on my way to a doctor's appointment and I left it in my car. And I was actually out of my car for like two, three hours. And it, it was like a hundred degrees outside. So hot. And I came back thinking, cool, I'll have cold water to drink because that ice would have melted. And it was both a happy and sad moment because I had like a half sip of cold water and it was still just all ice. <laughs> so literally like three hours in my car in a hundred degree weather and that tumbler kept my ice from melting. <laughs> Listen, and I tell you, I, I, I actually tested my own this weekend because it was 96, I think, degrees here after the hurricane was over. And so I, as I said, I had to transport my mom from here to the hotel. So with getting my mom, and my mom is disabled, I'm a little disabled myself, you know what I'm saying? So we don't move around that fast. Yeah. You know, but, um, I left one, and my mother has hers, right? My mother finally actually claimed her own tumbler. And so she had it full of ice and everything, and she left it in the car. And I'm busy trying to move all the bags and everything else. I didn't even notice the tumbler there. And so when I came back out that evening, had to be about you know, five, six hours later, I was like, oh, man, she left her tumbler in the car, you know? But the first thing I did was what? Take a sip because I was just like, what's in it? <laughs> you know, and I was quite delighted to see that it was still hot as well. I mean, it was still cold as well. So, you know, I, I, I stand by my products and I, and I, I do. I appreciate the ability that I've been given to actually, you know, add 
your your uh, artwork to the pieces for the event, you know. Um, so I just wanted to thank you. I just wanted you to know that with everything going on, how much people do appreciate you. People do love the work itself. And you know, I appreciate it. I've, I've, we've had this conversation. Oh, um, but so I just, I, that's the only reason why I really came on is because I just wanted you to kind of hear that out my own mouth. <laughs> I want to and, talk to you uh, about one thing for your event. Um, I can get, I, I'm sending you the prints for the, uh, the raffles like we talked about. Yes, ma'am. Um, but also if um, anyone during your event wants to purchase any, I will do so at a 15% discount. Okay. So I'll send you that in writing so it's not... So you don't have a chance to forget because I know I would forget. <laughs> listen, I'm, I, I'm, I'm actually I, listen. I'm I'm actually blessed because I actually won't forget it, and it's just because I tell people all the time if if you see me moving in an event, especially this one, with it's a million moving parts, it take a team, girl. I don't do this by myself. So as fast as you could say that. There was a note made of it for me to check back on it sometime next week, <laughs> you know. So I, I'm, I'm blessed that I'm not. I don't have to do it all by myself. So, but um, yeah, I, I appreciate I you. Okay. Um, I thought I would do that, like the the fifteen percent off. Yeah, I think day. that I appreciate that. I think that's really cool. A lot of the diamond painting companies, uh, including Fanatics, is offering discounts mm -hmm. for people that's in the event. So, you know, it's going over very well. Um, and I thought the, the prints would be interesting because some people, because the artwork is kind of emotionally evocative and difficult, yes. uh, it can be hard to sit and diamond paint it. Absolutely. So, Absolutely. But some people I thought might still want the image, they just can't sit and work on it. So mm -hmm. I'll, be, I'll be the first to admit Absolutely. that, that yeah. there's a lot of diamond paintings that I see that's like, yeah, no, that's not happening and I will go buy the the lithograph or the print mm -hmm. from the artists themselves and yeah. it's like yeah uh so i can totally understand and relate to that but yeah, yeah so again, i thought that might be a good secondary option because uh it is actually diamond really good and, and, is already offering a discount for the event so the diamond paintings are already discounted right and um and then the prints would also be discounted yeah i think that's actually a wonderful event you'd be surprised as much as you and i have gone back and forth you've kind of set the standard kind of in a lot of ways for how i've been able to deal with the other artists involved as well so it's kind of you know it's kind of like let's let we kind of follow in whatever we start <laughs> i kind of follow through with everybody else and they've all been so so receiving of it you know, so I have uh, I have prints now signed by, uh, uh, of course, by yourself. I have uh, prints signed by all for the all, all for the purposes of raffling it off. Mm -hmm. But I have um, artwork that is signed by Travis. I have uh, artwork that has been signed by Panara. Um, I have uh, artwork that's been signed by a young lady named Cheryl Carpenter. Mm -hmm. uh, another uh, another Cindy that I just put in touch with Cindy. <laughs> you know, so you know, it's 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 allowing different types and different styles, you know, to be presented. Uh, and as much as I like, I love me some Dewey. I do. I am never trying to pronounce that name that she does her artwork under because oh, yeah. I'm not going to be the one to tear it up. <laughs> okay. Uh -huh. I, I had to ask her how she pronounced her real name. It's Dewey. It is Dewey. Dewey like Daisy with a W. Okay. I could go with that, but I, how, how she pronounced the other one? I have no idea. <laughs> now, there but, is a um, question on the floor that yeah. I, I did want to ask real quick because I myself, uh, apparently like this has been asked, but I want to ask it again. That red bubble. Um, so, um, technically, there's... Uh, there are some images on Redbubble, um, which you can find in my link tree through my Instagram. It limits me on the amount of images I can put in. And honestly, it does good for like the shirts, um, the, the notebooks and stuff. On. But I don't I don't like the prints as much. And they're more expensive. If you contact me what, directly. What print can, is that? Are you find like the, just the, the, the digital yeah. print? Okay. Yeah, like you guys have. Um, if you contact me directly and let me know which art piece you like, um, 
I can print anything that I have put out there. If you see it on any of the diamond painting sites or on my Instagram, um, just let me know and I'll get you some pricing for it. Unfortunately, I don't have a website right now. I'm not big enough yet. <laughs> I'm, I'm getting there. I'm actually, I've made a lot of progress in the last year with my art. Um, and I feel like I'm getting to a point where I do need my own website soon, but I'm not there yet. Um, so yeah, if you reach out to me on Instagram or Facebook, we'll work it out and I can get you prints either signed or unsigned and uh, a number of sizes. And uh, I, I do have going a different- straight to the horse. You know, if you go the horse and you go, hey, horse, how you doing? And I would like this and this and this. Uh, that's better than chasing around everywhere. Uh, and again, her main is on Instagram, but she does have a Facebook group uh, that you can get her through. If you are a Facebook person, a lot of us uh, are still having Instagram issues. Let me put it that way. Yeah. If you search um, arts and crafts on Facebook, you'll find my group there. There you go. So, uh, again, um, you know, I, I apologize. I wasn't trying to interrupt uh, between you and Keisha. It's just there was a question on the floor, mm -hmm. which was a good question that a lot of us uh, did not know uh, of where. And, uh, again, my apologies yeah. for interrupting you. I was about to interrupt for the same thing anyway. I saw the same so, question. Right. I uh, um, we encourage questions here, regardless if they're asked once or if they're asked a hundred times, because I don't know about mm -hmm. you, but my ADHD, I am notorious about asking the same question a thousand times until it finally sinks in. Well, and to um, be fair, it's only been recently that people have actually wanted prints of my art. Mm -hmm. So I am still setting myself up. <laughs> I've, I've I found agree. a place to order them through that is cost effective mm -hmm. uh, for both myself and for then I pass that price reduction down from Redbubble mm -hmm. onto the, the total price. I There's didn't... another place that you're on uh, that I don't think it's Redbubble. Uh, when I Googled you, it come up, it had diamond paintings on it. Um, uh oh, we lost I have, I have um, uh, diamond paintings with the one with the diamond arts with diamond painting fanatics. And I have I one image with, um, with the Nabler's outpost. Uh, no, this one, I just Googled it and it was the first one that come up, but, uh oh, we lost. Am I Googleable? <laughs> I've never uh, actually Googled myself. She'll, she'll hit us back up here or, uh, maybe she lost the internet. I'm not sure. Sometimes that happens. Hopefully she'll come back in a little while. Uh, we are sorry to hear that Kokisha mm -hmm. is not feeling well. Uh, and we do hope that she gets to feeling better soon and hopefully she'll come back to us because she just kind of yeah. disappeared. Um, so yeah, but, the first thing that pops is not uh, my Instagram and the one with the diamond art. Um, <laughs> me. I, again, when I ch I have a hard time, um, you know, ch I just Google everybody, I Google everybody. Not <laughs> I, that, and I have it's Anita and Travis, and <laughs> you know, whatever I can't find, them two will, will literally find it in two seconds flat. So, uh mm. But, um, you know, I want to uh, take a moment and, you know, you brought this up and I'm going to touch on this because there's a lot of us here that, uh, and, and again, tonight is literally a fly by the seat of our pants because <laughs> I was here by myself. I was not expecting Erica. Thank you. I definitely was not expecting Knox. Thank you. Knox wasn't expecting um, Knox. No, <laughs> come play next and it's like thank you uh you know <laughs> here would you like me to send the uh rolls royce of uh limousines to come get you um so anyway uh thank you for surprising me and thank you for showing up um because honestly i thought i was doing the night by myself uh so uh but with that said the point that that i kind of want to go back and touch on because i think that we all kind of go through this and um this is depression now a lot of us diamond paint because of depression and uh i have heard some people say that their therapist has even recommended it their you know for them to diamond paint because it helps yeah um and again 
I know that, um, and my husband sitting behind me, I, I, my emotions uh, are, are like a TV channel. Okay. They, you know, g- give it a couple of minutes and it's done change or something else. Um, so hello, Cindy, Michelle. Uh, TV, um, so hello, my beautiful friend again. Um, you know, uh, all these lovely, lovely surprises tonight. I've been trying to get a hold of Cindy all week uh, because of last week's uh, 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 issues. But I love you. I love you. Don't I worry. love you too, baby. Uh, but anyway. Uh, I like all my favorite you know, people here today. <laughs> oh, what am I? Chop liver? You're here, aren't you? <laughs> You are you are present and accounted for. I was including you in the okay, people who are you. here. <laughs> um, but no, um, again, there are a lot of us here um, that fight and or live with and or have certain times of the years that trigger um domestic violence is one of them uh but then at the same time you don't have to have domestic violence in your background Mm -hmm. to have depression okay um that is one of the triggers the ptsd when my doctor told me i had that i looked at him and i said i'm not military why are you describing me with that i'm not military and he had to explain it to me and it was like okay that makes sense but my husband is a marine Okay, so to me, you know, the PTSD thing was uh, for military and, you know, it it had this long thing. There's an interesting um, thing with PTSD. It's actually separated out into two main categories. You have PTSD, which is usually caused by traumatic events such as um, combat and military, being in massive car crashes or... Mine was um, family shootings bombings or even smaller versions but that same thing then you have cptsd complex post-traumatic stress disorder which is is mostly headled with like childhood trauma uh violent partners uh (laughs) neglect things like that more what happens domestic your domestic violence or things like that and so actually the um go ahead the art that uh, I just showed off that's part of Kokesha's event is actually, um, I I have arts that are focused on invisible illnesses. I do them in little mini episodes. I had um, chronic pain and then those were for my CPTSD. Um, I'm actually also gonna be working on PTSD as a separate category. There are, there are so many people that you look at them and they're bubbly and they're happy and you know whether if you see them in word form or you see them in video form they are always upbeat and going but behind closed doors that is the part that we don't see and that is the part Mm -hmm. to where um if you look at somebody, not only a happy person, but if you see somebody that's what we would equate to as a troll, okay? If you look deeper behind that person, there is a reason for those actions. And nine times out of 10, it has something to do with some type of depression or some type of issue in their life that has caused them to be the way that they are. Um, mine, uh, uh, um, I don't know if this is a good or a bad, I've, I've, I've never really been in a car wreck, but mine was family. Mine was, uh, growing up, mine was, uh, just, you know, bad history, what have you, bad blood. But, um, again, there is no bodies that is greater than or less than. They are literally, doesn't matter what side of the fence it's from they are literally the same painful the same issues you go through the same processes the same steps the same recoveries um that you go through so it literally um when somebody goes i can relate that means that they can they literally under it doesn't matter what the cause was it means that they understand the fight that you go through on a daily basis just to get out of bed okay and 
There's, you know, it's like I told my husband because, you know, I've got Nix's notions and sometimes it's a handful. And, you know, he goes, well, we need to slow it down. And it's like, no, we don't. Because this, what you don't realize is this is what keeps me, gets me out of the bed. Okay. Yeah. Uh, is it crazy at times? Yes, it is. But I would prefer to have the crazy and have a reason to get out of the bed than to go into a deep depression and end up staying in bed because uh, there was no, um, I call it obligations sometimes, you know, uh, because orders to fill and what have you, you know, people are looking at you going, hey, where's my stuff? Where's my stuff? Those are obligations. Uh, so with that, I kind of kind of made it make sense in my head that I have to get out of this bed, okay? I don't have the luxury of being depressed today. But this is how I, uh, me personally, let me make this very clear, me personally kind of somewhat tricked myself into... Um, because I've seen a thousand shrinks and a, th a thousand shrinks are only as good as the information you provide them with. But throughout the years, I have picked up what is called little roadblocks here and there. And I don't know about you, but I can feel when depression's coming and mm -hmm. I will start putting up these little roadblocks. Now there are times that they work and there are times that it, they just bulldoze over them and it's just full blown. Mm -hmm. Um, and like last year, uh, if it was not for Kokesha last year, uh, and I've told everybody this more than once, uh, I would have committed suicide and I would not be here today. That is flat out fact. I will look you down the eye, me looking at you and telling you flat out fact. It started in July. It was a Christmas. You know how they have Christmas in July. It started then. And it got it grew and grew and grew and grew until by the time November and December got here, it was so bad that I did not even want to breathe anymore, much less be on this planet. And Kokisha was there for me, and um, we talked, and she was the the help, the crutch, the whatever title you want to put on it. Uh, to help get me through it. And if you are in that situation, um, that's why I always tell everybody, I'm here for you, okay? Uh, I can relate. And uh, I am only a shout away. And you're not alone. There is so, so, so many of us that are walking this same path that go through this same story. So uh, anyway, you know, I just wanted to toss that out there since this topic kind of come up. Uh, but we're going to shift a little bit and we're going to go back to Knox, who decided to surprise me tonight. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, and if you have any extra little goodies laying around that you'd like to sign with your gold pen and send my way, uh, I am not going to turn them down. OK, they are treasure gifts on my wall. Well, you know, um, if there's anything you want, just message me. We can go through my art and I'll. Uh, I don't have the money to do freebies right now, but I can give you this Oh, no, 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 baby. Don't mistake me sitting here saying, going, I want freebies. Uh, all you got to do is go, hey, I thought you'd like this and send me a freaking receipt. Okay. You ask anybody, uh, Kevin's wife, Cindy, uh, everybody else that I buy from, I just look at them and go, I'm worse than a five year old. Okay. Because I will go, I want that. Bye. Yeah. I want yeah. that. Bye. <laughs> I, that, look at her. She agree with me. I want that. Bye. And honestly, uh, here's something else. What did y'all buy today on Diamond Art Club? Because guess who screwed up? They had to buy one, get one, 50% off, right? Okay. I go. I get my two because I'm dead asleep. I set four alarm clocks to get up at 11.45 to come in here and get the email, order what I want, and go back to bed. I did not see the buy one, get one 50% off. Ended up buying the wrong one. 
got the wrong price and had to turn around and buy the other one at full price. So talk about a faux pas today. Man, I made a big old one. And it's like, okay, well, I got a diamond painting that I could literally care less for that. Well, if nothing else, I can turn around and sell it. And I come out with two that I really like. However, I kind of shafted my own self on the money part of it. But then that's me. I like my, do I stop with <laughs> feed? No. Is that well, ADHD? Yes. Because but I won't crazy. point out that I have well over a hundred images to choose from. <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah. And that's why I was saying, you guys, um, you know, now for me, forgive me, baby. Uh, again, I post on Instagram, but I'm still trying to figure out how, because mm -hmm. I'm just not a big Instagram person. Um, but I swing through your Facebook group and your personal page, and I see all your goodies there. And I tell you what, guys, um, Knox literally has, there is nobody else that is um, quite like uh, Knox. She is a standalone. You see a lot of people that have diamond paintings or, or have images or graphics or lithographs or whatever title you want to put on it that are so similar. It looks like it came out of the same book. Which, by the way, hello, Tanya Coletto. I've been trying to say hello to you for an hour. Um, but anyway, uh, Knox is, is kind of like Travis. Okay, I'm going to use Travis as an example. They are so apples and oranges and so different that um, you can't look at a piece of Knox's artwork and then go surf something else. And then five minutes later, find one that's kind of similar, or, you know, close to. Um, and that's the thing about me. I don't want something that's close to or something that a thousand other people have got. I like the unique stuff. The the one of the kind stuff. I said Kevin and and Erica. Um, Kevin blew my mind last week. You know when he did his little doodling and come out and go, was this what you was talking about? And I'm like, dude, you were gone like what? Oh, five minutes. And it was like my jaw was like, okay, are you kidding me, really, dude? And not to mention it was hand drawn. Okay, which I would kill to be able to do. Um, and so I don't blame Erica for being proud of Kevin. Okay. Now, if, if I'm proud of both of them. That's why I have so much of their stuff. They come up with like the coolest thing. I better have a cauldron within next Saturday <laughs> night. That's all I got to say, I, because, uh, I, I am going to be showing off a cauldron uh, from uh, Kevin's creations next Saturday night. Hint. hint, hint. <laughs> come on. I'm not even gonna be here next Saturday night, so <laughs> I don't care. I, <laughs> are you? But are you talking about the window, like the sun catcher? Or are you talking about the cover minder? I didn't know you had a cover minder, but I'll take one of those too. Yeah, Knox has the cover minder. Uh I'll I'll take a cover minder, but I was talking about what I was showing everybody earlier, and well, you got the ribbons on. And and if you've only got one, guess what? I no, want no, the no, one no, that no. you got the ribbon on. <laughs> no, I. That's that one's a little bit special. So yeah, no, I can't have that you. one. And you know I love you. Here's the thing, though: when we do the window art, there's there's always two because he makes he has to make because he's using the scroll saw. And for time, he makes it thicker. So then it's thicker. I fill it and then he cuts it in half. So nine times out of 10, there's always two. So I do have the matching one here at the house. The other one, the other one I can't pick up yet. It has to stay at the fair. What, see me doing a happy dance in my chair over here. Well, it okay. looks like you got to pee, but sure. <laughs> I really do got to pee. I, that's why uh, I don't so Anyway. Um, no, guys, really. Uh, first, again, let me stop and 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 because people that have ADHD know that one, we talk a lot. Two, if we don't spit it out when it goes to the brain, we forget it. Okay, this is why I walk around with uh, posty notes in my hand all the time. 
uh re it's stuffed in my bra with a pen it's it's literally everywhere because when i have a thought or a notion i write it down right then because if you give me two seconds it's gone and i'll be done forgot it but i want to stop for a second um i'm sorry that all of my mods are sick or have have issues and we're not allowed uh, able to be here tonight we do hope that you guys get to feeling better i oh want to say a huge thank you to uh erica and knox who and cindy who surprised me and go knocked on my door and said hey can i come play and thank you from the bottom of my heart i mean oh my gosh i'm blown away okay so um because you guys were the i you know i send out you show great and fine but, you know, I didn't send out because I didn't know if y'all were coming or not. And uh, for you guys to show up, on, you know, um, it is such a blessing. And I feel so privileged and I feel so um, appreciative of all of you guys that I want to make sure that you know that, you know, what you've done tonight, uh, Knox and, and, and Erica and Cindy, that, um, you know, this isn't going unnoticed. And I love you guys to death. And that all of you, um, thank you for, you know, because I thought I was doing a one of tonight, you know, me, myself and I and just zooming through the night. But uh, I love having you guys and I love surprises. So, uh, Knox, you are definitely a surprise. So, yes. And Erica and yes. yes. Jazz Hands. Um, so, you know, uh, and then granted, all of our people that are in chat, uh, thank you, thank you, thank you. Please don't forget the thumbs up. All of the people that done uh, donations tonight through YouTube, much, much love. Thank you for the support. All of the Patreon people, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, I'm trying to get this out of here before I forget, okay? And honestly, that's why I kind of stuffed this. Is it the wrong place to put this? Yes, it is, 1,000%. <laughs> However, it crossed the brain, so it's coming out the mouth. Um, so, you know, and Kokisha, who did what I call a drive-by tonight, who, bless her heart, <laughs> Uh, is sick and I did not know because honestly I was sleeping. I, I went to bed at I think seven o'clock last night and my husband did not wake me up until 6 30 this evening, handed me a uh my second cup of hot tea and goes, uh you got live in less than an hour. So I threw on his hat I wear this hat for a reason. See, y'all complain about your hair, but this is the trick. This oh, is I was saying my hair actually looked good today. <laughs> ah, I think it looks great. Uh, but this is my trick. You know, I, I'm lucky I run a brush through it. Um, also, too. That's not all I do, too. I, I was going to tell you, have you ever heard of beautiful disasters? I think I am one. <laughs> uh, agreed. However... <laughs> Hear me when I say this. There's I, I don't know that there's. A, I don't know if I want to confirm or deny that. My goodness, I am one hundred percent a beautiful disaster, and there is a company that has been around for a pretty good chunk of time. It is beautiful disasters. It's called BDRocks.com. The company, if you do the research on the company and you read why the company got started and what the company stands for it is by women run by women and for women of domestic uh anything okay and pretty much everything that you have seen me wear every saturday night for the past year okay has been from this company i support them that much because of what they stand for and um i'm not one for you know big flashy t-shirts and you know what have you but and are they cheap no let me tell you in advance hello they are two diamond paintings uh worth the clothes okay let me just put it to you that way 
um, that way that all y'all can relate. It's two diamond paintings for what I'm wearing right this minute. <laughs> so uh, anyway, but it's what the company stands for. Okay. And that they stand for and back and they're not just, they're not just about money. They're not just about flapping their gums. They literally stand up and are part of the community. Okay. And are, um, there is direct lines that you can call and talk to people. They're, they're called the tribe. Okay. It's how they, they, the ladies uh, discuss it. And I want to say that they've been in business for eight to almost maybe 10 years now. Um, and, uh, but anyway, check them out. It's bdrocks.com. And if you look at some of the sayings that they have on their clothing, um, uh, it, it just hit home. It means a lot. Um, and I guess what caught my attention was they had a, a phoenix, okay? And uh, y'all know me and my phoenixes. That's what caught my attention. But after I got to doing the research on the company, and they don't, this is, I, I'm not paid by them. They don't even know me, okay? They don't even know I'm doing this other than I bought a crap ton of clothes from them. Um, but talk about advocates for domestic abuse it doesn't get any bigger than them. Okay. And so I was just going to pass that info along to you and, and let you, you know, check them out. And it's bdrocks.com. And the name of the company is beautiful disasters. Um, and they have Facebook, Instagram, they got all that stuff. So, uh, but they are a very, very, I don't throw my hat in a ring for a lot of people or a lot of, let me rephrase that. I don't throw my hat in a ring for a lot of companies, corporations, you know, big stuff. Uh, because I support the little guys. I'm all about supporting the little guys. And uh, when I found this company and I read more and more about this company and how it got started and how she started in the garage with the one t-shirt and the stuff like this. And the fact that that it was run by women and for women of domestic violence and domestic abuse and um, any type of mental um, issues that they had, um, that is uh, where I, you know, stepped in and go, wow, man, it, it literally uh, caught my attention. So I wanted to share that with you guys. And so I'm going to shut shut up now. Uh, but I didn't know if you knew about them. So anyway, we have addressed everybody this evening. Knox, you got anything else? Well, I just sent you a link to my e-folio, which has a large sampling of some of my art. Okay, where would you like me to go? It's it's message to you. It's I figured I'd torture you with uh, more please art. Do. I love being tortured. Really, I love being tortured. <laughs> Me. So yeah, I messaged okay. you the link. It's um, I didn't fill out the whole e-folio. I just put in images. Um, it was this free place to dump a bunch of images. I mostly did it for Kokisha. Actually, she wanted to see what I had. Oh my good, there my girl. There's my Harley. Ah, uh, I am I am crazy like Harley Quinn. No joke. But the first uh, three images on there are actually from my chronic pain portion of my Invisible Illness series. Oh my goodness. Okay. And you got poison ivy and the Joker and Catwoman. Are you gonna, are you gonna open it on the screen so we all can see? Oh looky here. <laughs> I was so distracted her. I knew it was gonna happen. Uh hello, yes, yes, and uh oh my goodness. Okay, this is called dark art. Okay, a lot of people don't get this, a lot of people don't understand it. Um, they look at this and go, oh my God, what do you want to do diamond paint something like that for? Or they don't get it. Um, if you look past the image and I don't know how else to explain this. Um, if you look past the image and you look at the message, the artist was trying to convey, there is an entire novel 
uh, in that one image of uh, how a person was feeling when they was painting this. And believe it or not, there is a huge, a huge, huge, huge industry uh, about dark art. And uh, this has nothing to do with Satan or don't even go there on any of that. Dark art, um, not correct me if I'm wrong, but dark arts is art that is not fluffy bunnies and, 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 you know, cats and kittens and all like this. It is literally, um, blood, guts, and gore. Okay. Uh, like a, like a horror movie. Um, that's an event. You know, horror movies, you still got those different genres. I think it, it's really anything that causes, um, a dissonance in your emotions. There something you that makes you pause and stop. And uh, assess like where it's not just like oh that's pretty it's more of like is this is this a dangerous thing Do, am i okay anything like are that? you a member of the facebook group dark side of the moon no girl you need to check that group out i'll look for it no joke you talk about some gorgeous art um it, it is there uh dark uh, dark side of the moon uh is in uh, one it come from one of his um, friends, believe it or not, uh, that has no, I don't even think he has that much art in his little finger, but I, I, he shared this group and I was like, wow, coming from you, dude, Redneck USA. Um, and, but when I started looking at it and I started going through it, it was just like, two by four between the eyes. The artwork was just drop dead gorgeous. So uh, you might want to check that out. And it's called Dark Side of the Moon, uh, okay. which yes, that's Pink Floyd, but at the same time, apparently they got away with using that as a group name. And, uh, but, oh my gosh. Uh, all of these, yeah, see like, this is all, oh girl, hello. Is it art or is this, Diamond painting? Painting? This is just my art. I mean, some of it is available as diamond painting. Right, I was going to say, oh. share your screen so that everybody could see what you're looking at. <laughs> my apologies, Knox. Why didn't you tell me I wasn't sharing my screen? I don't know. <laughs> I'm sitting here going down the line looking at this, and I'm. I don't know. Maybe I, I was entertained by your facial expressions, honestly. <laughs> Uh, Knox, yo, mods, okay, hello, somebody throw a rock, slap me, going, hello. You now, know. that first one, what's the name of the first one, did not? Um, wow, my brain just died. I, I, I'm terrible at naming things, so once I name it, I'm like, I'm done, I'm good, I don't have to think about this anymore. <laughs> I'm like, I, I made the art, why do I have to name it? Let me look it up. There you go. Um, you know, but I, I, gosh, I am so sorry, guys. My apologies, duh, me. Okay, I'm sitting here talking about all this art and y'all ain't seeing nothing but my face. Um, <laughs> my apologies, but uh, the dark art that I was talking about just a minute ago was stuff Where like this it? here and um, these, these images here, you know, like these two here. I absolutely love this. Um, it reminded yeah. me of what you were talking about earlier for that piece that you're doing, you know, with the, the brocades off of her shoulder, uh, mm -hmm. the work in progress that you've got. Um, so yeah, but, uh, my apologies, everybody. I'm sitting here talking about stuff and not showing y'all nothing. Uh, so anyway, we've got, and all of this is Knox's work. Okay. Now again, I believe I asked a question. Is this lithographs, diamond paintings, and or just That's art? That's just examples of my art. So like if you want to use this, um, look at it and then contact me with one that you like. Um, I also have more than this. It just it takes a while to load it all on there. So these are kind of like the main ones I have. Uh, some of these are available as diamond arts. Uh, some of them aren't. Um, I, I know you can take take any of these and turn them into a lithograph and, and okay. sign them. That, that All right, that work. first one is called The Battle Within. I had to look it up. I'm sorry. This I, one I, was just looking, I was just looking for it, too. The reason why I was looking for that picture also is because I uh, Nick Knox and I have worked out that is actually a very riveting picture for me. 
I fell in love with it the moment that I saw it. And it is also a piece of her art that will be carried by Butterfly Kisses Custom. It is. And this one I made, um, like I said, it's it's from the Chronic Pain. Um, this one I was trying to give that that sense of even sitting there looking like you feel numb. There's just this yes. rage of pain that both both fire and ice, like things are numb and tingling and things are burning and things are aching. And all you can you, do is just sit there and you and get can't such do anything. a ball of energy, a ball of fire in your gut to the point to where on the inside you're running a gazillion mile an hour marathon, but on the outside, you look very calm, very still. And this is called the numbness of it because yeah. everybody looks at you because you are literally numb. Yeah, I have trouble when I go to like emergency rooms and they ask me how much pain I'm in. I can literally tell them nine or 10 in this voice, maybe a little more strained, but not much. And they're right. like, there's no way you are at a 10. I'm like, this is literally the worst pain I've ever felt, which is what 10 is supposed to be. They're like, well, how are you calm? I'm like, because I am always at an eight. Yep. This is only two points higher than what I'm at right now. I'm actually chilling at a nine. My back started flaring during this live. Oh, well, by the and way, a lot of people would be feel like you are obligated to I'm stay. actually, I would be, I'd be in this pain whether I was here or not. <laughs> it's not because I am here but my point being is like I can still sit and converse and be generally upbeat in this amount of pain because I'm always in this amount of pain right. and if I if your body and brain adjust but at the same time adjusting doesn't mean you're okay You've it learned just how to means manage. you can function and even then I can't always function and Correct. so this, this was just kind of that moment of I've I've had a wall and I'm feeling all these things and I'm just, my expression doesn't show the pain that I'm feeling. That's what I was trying to put into here. And this picture, this image, uh, especially with the red and the blue, um, honestly, when I first looked at it, it's like, oh yeah, I know exactly what's going on here. You know, because um, I'll, I'll look at him and it's like, I am in a two things, fight or flight. Mm -hmm. I'm either fixing to get in my car, drive to California for no reason, or I'm fixing to fight. And I mean, because you get this energy that's just built up into your system. And, you know, it's just like you don't know how to um you try to be calm you try to squash it down you try all these little tricks and sometimes they work and sometimes they don't yeah i have three um, images in this series covering similar things like yes. that one was more the isolation that i that occurs when you have chronic pain you're sitting there broken and hurting and alone because you can't go do things with your friends you can't stay and hang out with your family you, you let me slowly ask, let me start ask. losing parts of your life and you it's hard to not be alone like i've i've learned tricks uh, the the internet is my friend and the fact that i've met people all over in in a um, in a way that i can handle it's it's on my computer or my phone um i can answer that's back when I'm I was up to it. it that's it what is, i was going to ask you about and again yeah. i apologize for interrupting um because I have no real life friends. I don't know the neighbors. I don't know nobody. I don't go to lunch with people. I don't, I have no real life friends. Sandy Chan, who lives three hours away from me, is the only real life friend that I've got and have had for the past 25, almost 30 years. But as far as real life friends, I don't, I am a self imposed hermit. Yeah. Okay. And now online, I'm a social butterfly. Pick a pick a social network and platform because I assure you, I'm there somewhere. Yeah, and um, for the diamond painting community, I didn't have anyone other than the like one or two friends I had in real life that would come to me. But even then, it's like I'd see them once or twice a week. Yeah, what do I do the rest of the time? It's I was so alone for a long time. Um, and that was almost worse than the pain. And that's um, what I was putting in this art. 
I can see that's what I'm saying. The loneliness of it. How do you express to somebody that has a million friends on the internet that you're lonely? You yeah. know, or is it uh, they? There's this old saying that you could be in a room full of people and and yeah. you're the loneliest person on the planet. That's what I was about to get to as well. Is like when people don't know what you're going through. It right. doesn't matter. Even when they're trying to be there for you, when they're trying to help. It's not the same. Like, no, even people who do know, you can be sitting there miserable together, but your misery is still yours. Correct. And there is no escaping it. There's no taking a break from it. Nope. It is just always there. And it's got to it run so its course. Yeah. And because it's so consuming, sometimes it's just, there's nothing you can do that makes you feel like you're with another person. I call it, I, I use the terminology a lot uh, called a light switch. Okay, the light switch is on, the light switch is off. Uh, I have no gray area. I don't know about you or a lot of other a lot of other people that have ADHD. They'll say they don't have a gray area either. It's either this way or this way. There's no middle of the road, no gray area. Um, and so, you know, when you are in these depressive states or these numb states or, you know, uh, like this, there. It, ha it literally, you can try to do certain methods that these psychologists and these therapists have tried to teach you how to do. But at the end of the day, they're no silver bullet. They're, sometimes they work, sometimes they don't. It has to run its course. And, well, and for me, there's no course. It will always be there. I agree. Mine is not like, because chronic can mean just six months or longer. Uh, so some people, it, it will go away or it will ebb and flow. And I do have some ebb and flow, but my good days are at a pain level of seven. I do not have the pain. Mine is mental. I've got it Mine all. Mine is the <laughs> ebb and flow. I am a mess, of, dude. Seriously. That's what I always um, tell people. <laughs> I, I, I knock on wood, uh, when I got COVID uh, and was sick for 24 days, that is the first time in 20 plus years I've, I have had a sniffle, a cough, a sneeze or anything. I am healthy as an ox. I'm 60 years old and I can outrun most 20 year olds. OK, so, uh, you know, I don't have knock on wood. Uh, I have to admit I'm blessed. I don't have any type of pain issues. Mine is mental. Mine is mental. I and have um, I have fibromyalgia, uh, which has also induced neuropathy. It's not diabetic neuropathy. A lot of people assume you have to be diabetic for it. You don't, um, which no. is pain and tingling in hands, feet. Um, I have arthritis in multiple locations. I was born with a wonky hip. I actually had surgery when I was six, but um, it's thrown my whole spine out of whack. I have spurs, herniated discs, all kinds of problems. And it's uh, one of the herniated discs is in the very base of my spine. It literally will disable 99% of the people who get that disc herniated. So um, you've lived with pain uh, pretty much all of your entire life. Yeah, I mean, I was I was more functional through my pain up until about 10 years ago. And then the fibromyalgia kicked in real hard because I had a hormone imbalance. I actually have um, a lot of, well, I should say had at this point, a lot of problems with, with my reproductive system. PCOS, uh, fibroids, things like that. I've had multiple surgeries because of it. Um, but when you have a hormone imbalance, it actually can trigger fibromyalgia. If you've already got it, it can flare it a, a thousand times over. And it doesn't come back down very much once that happens. You're kind of saddled with it. And um, these paintings here is that expression that you're yeah, trying this to... This is the chronic pain series. So these three images are for chronic pain specifically. And that that's what I, that is what I'm sorry, I call it going around grandma's bush here. Um, that is what this conversation and going around grandma's bush was trying to get at and get the point across of that. That is what you are kind of looking at, that if you look at Knox, Knox looks very calm. She looks very relaxed. She looks very laid back. But if you look past the outside of the personification what i say you're you're standing on the outside of the house and you're looking through the window to the inside okay? yeah and that's why you're these not, art pieces are so important um i wanted i wanted people to see 
Like, and I, I'm very vocal about what goes on with me. There's not much I hide um, because I feel like these are topics that should be talked about, but not everyone is capable of doing so. And I would not suggest anybody do it if they're not comfortable with it. Agreed. But I am, I'm very comfortable with it. Therefore, I want to be extra, extra vocal about it to cover those who can't or, or won't or aren't safe enough to do so. So I talk about my PTSD. I talk about my autism and my depressions and my chronic pain. It's like, I have one video where I was talking about how my anxiety and depression is affecting my autism. I have fluctuating mutism. So sometimes I do lose the ability to talk. It's not that I don't know how anymore, but um, there are chemicals in your brain that are responsible for your willpower. And sometimes my brain doesn't produce those chemicals. And one of the things that I struggle with is speaking when that happens. My brain does not produce enough willpower to put the words in my head to my mouth. And I was discussing in that video how um, a lot of times when we talk about masking with neurodivergence, where you're pretending to be something you're not actually normally going to be, it's always received in a negative context. And for the most part, it is. The forcing someone to mask is so draining, it's so anxiety inducing, but there are some benefits to it in the sense of when I'm masking, I put my brain in a specific mindset. In that moment, when I'm masking, I can talk. I can talk and talk and talk. The ADHD takes over and shutting me up is the problem. Yep. <laughs> um, as you can tell, as I've talked through most Girl, of if you time, and I have a video chat, we better just, we're gonna to spend the whole day I've just- shown up, I just will not shut up. But there I can tell you right now, if I turn the mask off, and I did this in a video, recorded it, posted it and everything, if I take the mask off, which you see my, my facial expressions drop, I still feel all the emotions, but I'm actually having to force them onto my face so that yep. you can see how I'm feeling. If I let that drop, I also lose the mentality that keeps that mutism in check. Keisha always and told I, me that my face won't lie, okay, because <laughs> she can see when uh, if something's going on in chat or something happens yeah. in chat, she sees, she literally my, says my face won't lie. My face will lie. I'm and, actually... I can go deadpan. I used to play poker all the time and I would turn the masking off and no one could tell. Oh, well, uh, now if you talk about something like that, okay. I um, live in two different worlds. Okay. So, yeah. No joke. Um, <laughs> but, uh, I can, you know, I can be what I need to be uh -huh. and who I need to be and whatever circumstance I'm, I'm in. So that's masking. Okay. But then when, I am by myself. It's kind of like shedding your clothes as you're walking yes. through the door. That's, you know? what, that's exactly what masking is. Most oh, people are neurodivergent have masking. Um, oh, yeah. So, and I mean, is, I, I can. What I did in that video is I, I dropped the mask for the facial expression. And all of a sudden I lost the ability to speak in my own video. <laughs> and I went ahead and posted that. I'm like, you guys should see what that's like. Because it wasn't just like, of course. I don't just stop speaking. It's like I start by forgetting the correct word, um, forgetting that I've stopped speaking. Basis. Like I will literally pause in a sentence and zone out somewhere, and I actually don't realize I've stopped speaking. You know what? And, I love um, you because was, I am so happy to know that I'm not the only one in the world that's got this, okay? Because I talk so much, and or I will literally stop talking in mid-sentence and just you know just the brain just flies out out, out, out the window and um as far as thinking about what i'm talking about oh are you serious it comes out first and then i think about it yeah and i mean i'm gonna be honest sitting here also it's like i've had times when i'm talking i can focus because i have to like i'm paying attention to what's going on someone else talks and as much as i want to listen i will t full out say yeah. there are moments i've completely missed in this life um, oh yeah i i have oh, yeah. zoned out and i didn't even realize i was doing it until i zoned back in and that is you, very and it's like you're listening but you don't hear yes and i've done you know, and that's, that's, with people i like i thought i was listening to you i swore I was paying very invested attention to you. And now I just realized I don't even know what we're talking about. <laughs> I have to, there, there's been times that I've been talking to Keisha and I've literally stopped and go, okay, 
I am staring dead at you. You have my 100% undivided attention and I am not going to move, budge, think about nothing until you're finished. And I have really got to work mm -hmm. at focusing and hearing the point that she is trying to make because there's a lot of times you you're listening, you're hearing, but you're not paying attention. Yeah. And, um, Oh honey, I've gone through that since, since I was like, you know, two years old. Um, but, but yeah, like, I always so relate about to what you're saying. And, and I, I am, so, do you know how good I feel right this minute? And I hate to say this, and this is going to sound like shit, but I am so, happy right this minute that I am not the only person walking the face of this earth that has these, these problems because mm -hmm. I felt like I was the only one. And see, that's and why I talk about it and why I put it in my art. Well, I don't. Uh, okay. As far as Saturday night lives. All right. For me, one, I keep my personal business to myself. Am I hiding anything? No. However, I have the firm uh, comment of saying, that if you are woman enough to ask the question, you better be woman enough to handle the answer because I'm not going to lie to you. Okay. Yeah. I don't lie. Now, do I go around, you know, telling everybody everything? No. But if somebody comes to me and ask a question, all I got to say is you better be woman enough to handle the answer because uh, you're going to get a balls to the wall answer straight up. Yeah, I've gotten in no trouble. Sure. Like, I've worked in service industries, and people are like, the, the the typical, hi, how are you doing? And people are like, good, how are you? And the first words out of my mouth is, I'm actually pretty tired and in pain today. <laughs> and nobody wants to hear that. No. <laughs> and but I'm like, well, I mean, don't ask me if you don't want to know. <laughs> there you go. I am the same way. Now, again, uh, on my lobs, you know, uh, I, I am trying everybody's got a story. Everybody's got a problem. Everybody's got an issue of some kind somewhere. Okay. It is just the nature of the beast. And that's just what everybody's got. However, you know, a lot of people don't want to hear about it all the time. Or this is, you know, with me and Saturday night lives. So unless it comes up in conversation or unless somebody mentions it or what have you, I pretty much put that mask on. Okay. Mm -hmm. And when this turns off, it's like, you know, and I take the hat, I set the hat up here on the side on the hat rack, you know, and I literally turn off the lights and then I'm back to me again. Yeah. This dog and pony show right here um, is literally, I'm not faking it. It's just the fact that I'm not sitting here, uh, you know, discussing all of the uh, my negative crap that I live with on a daily basis. You know, well, I guess right to some people like masking is a great term, but it's also at times a misnomer and that a mask implies that this is not me. It's something artificial on my face. And there are times I do exactly that. There is something artificial on my face in order to get by a specific situation. But for the most part, masking for me is more of um it's like having multiple personas they're all me but they're pieces of me that function better in different environments agreed what you're getting from me right now is still me it is still an authentic me but it may not be the same me you'd get having a private conversation in my own agreed. home or if i'm sitting watching tv or if i'm having a breakdown like agreed so i'm not lying i'm not pretending it's just this is this is how I function in this environment. I I can so relate. And, you know, granted, uh, again, um, it, you know, uh, I mean, it's just why, you know, um, a lot of people are, uh, you know, I, I just try to keep one foot in front of the other and try to do the best that I can in a situation that I'm in. And uh, for four hours, I figure I can keep things upbeat, happy, and, you know, talk to everybody and pretty much shut up and let y'all talk. Tonight, I've done a lot of talking, but it's all Knox's fault, okay? Because when you put two ADHD people in a room, boy, are you in trouble. Uh, so anyway, um, 
this is Knox's art. I'm not sure where she'd be bopped off to. Um, and this was the piece that I was talking about on the dark arts part. Um, and, you know, her art. So you can get this in diamond paintings and lithographs. Again, if you see something of hers that you like, uh, reach out and contact yeah. her. Knox and has never not been available for me. And in okay. all honesty, if if you find an art you like and you want it as a diamond painting and it's not available now, let me know because I'll send it to Cindy because Cindy loves putting up my art. There you go. You know, uh, when I found out that Cindy's, you know, had Knox's art, man, I was I was doing the happy dance in my chair, which apparently everybody thinks is the pee pee dance. Okay, um, but it's like this right here. This is like so cool to me, and and I. Uh, my husband fell in love with this. Oh, hell yes. My husband fell, and so did I. <laughs> I heard him. And the only thing is, it, I, to me, my version is, it looks like a black widow. Yeah, that was the intent. <laughs> then I got it. Because it looked like a black widow. And he fell in love with it. And it's like, I have got to reach out to Knox. And if nothing else, get this in a lithograph. Okay, or something. Okay, because a signed lithograph, Knox. My that, husband. If you're willing Knox, to pay for it, then I will get it to you. <laughs> well, send me an invoice, honey. That's all I can tell you. Okay, yep. next dark sky at gmail.com. And don't get any simpler. Um, but my husband would like this uh, uh, hand sign, please. And again, just send me a, um, uh, an invoice. But, you know, uh, this here is. Um, yeah, my partner loves Mothman, so I have a couple Mothman. Agreed. Matter of fact, maybe I should ask you, how much do you charge for your lithographs, by the way? Um, it depends on the size and whether you want it signed or not. So it, um, it's easier for me to know, let you know by image because some of my images are square, some are uh, longer landscapes. So I, I actually have to look up the cost it would get me to produce them and get them well, sent to me. Well, I'm going to tell you like this. Uh, but the, uh, roughly for the average size, like I, the size here, um, I think it was an eight by 10 you sent me that I've got framed. Yeah. In um, I believe I have to double check my, my listings cause I don't remember anything. I believe it was $35 for a signed one and that includes shipping. Uh, yes, please. I'll take <laughs> the black widow, uh, and just send me, uh, uh message me after we're done or tomorrow like or message me because he wants the black widow okay. i fell in love with this one cindy has this oh one as a diamond God. painting uh this reminded me of that movie blade runner yeah and it also reminded me of the movie mel gibson was in uh way mad max mad max yeah. and the thunderdome and, way, um, way 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 back in the day i was actually doing a um basically a punk version of um the greek pantheon this one's orion um oh my gosh you know and their girl your art is just uh absolutely amazing i am a skull person i i don't do sugar skulls okay I, i'm sorry i don't um this is before i say anything let me uh put a disclaimer in here this is my opinion okay I don't do sugar skulls because I think it's disrespectful to the, um, and I know I'm going to screw up the name on this. So I, I, I don't know the ethnicity of this other than the Mexican population, because that is uh, November 1st is what they use to represent and celebrate. Yeah. The okay. This I'm, is from, I'm from New Mexico. Um, I actually am my gen my ancestors are partly hispanic uh my my father is hispanic, a blend, thank you my father's a blend of apache and hispanic and thank you. um i do and, sugar and, skulls specifically because it is part of my culture well for you and it being part of your culture i agree with okay because you this is part of your culture this is part of your heritage and what have you yeah. but for everybody else they have turned this into this halloween uh decoration yeah. and it's not it is that is so far away from what it was 
intended for yeah, and what and all it of, represents. All of that, that is literally built on the traditions of Dia de los Muertos. Like, there you go. I, I don't do this as a Halloween thing. I don't do it to be kitschy or cute. It is literally right. an expression of my environment, like I was saying. And These are the things I see. You understand exactly what I'm trying to say. Now, if you give me a skull like this, I am a big time skull. You ask Keisha, she's got a tumbler that's, that's got a raven with the skull on it and it's sitting on a book. I, I am all things skull and Grim Reaper and uh, stuff like that. But the sugar skulls, there are so many people go, oh, I love sugar skulls and all the colors and blah, blah, blah. I said, do you know what that means? Do you know what a sugar skull represents? And they'll go, well, it's for Halloween. And I'm like, no. Yeah, my art is about celebrating the memory of people. There you the go. people that and, you've lost. And, these, are, these are for loved ones. These are for friends. These are for people who have moved on and need to be remembered. Agreed. Agreed. And so, you know, um, these that's are my, the uh, Wonderland reason. art. Uh, I, again, that, you know, uh, my opinion, y'all want to get mad, y'all yell at me. Okay. Uh, because this is my opinion, but now what, what everybody else does as y'all's doing and y'all do your thing. Um, but These are more you of know, my Pantheon series. Except not the tree. Not That's the tree of that. life. Uh, Where Cindy has that one too. I seen that one somewhere. Oh, Cindy there's your, actually there's the your owner of my, uh, Pantheon series. It's not all not. available yet, but it's getting there. See, I've here given the, Cindy so much art, there's no way she can put it all up right now. <laughs> can I ask you a question? Yeah. Can I, okay. I will never forget a piece of art or an image that I've seen. But if somebody tells me something and wants me to remember it, I'm lucky I can remember it two seconds later. But I never, ever, ever, I'm one of these visual people. And I never miss a piece of art. It's like I've seen it and I know where I've seen it and I know where it's at and blah, 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 blah. And I can literally name it off like that. But to remember a comment or a sentence or, mm -hmm. or something like that, yeah, that ain't happening. <laughs> I still can't remember my husband's phone number and I've got it written down and have to carry it around with me because I can't remember his phone number. And he's only had it for seven years. So, you know, it's it's like, but oh my gosh, the colors. I love that and, one. And all of these are absolutely just amazing. And oh, look how, I just, I love this. I love this right here. Um, that one's I ours. am a big proponent of the LGBTQ plus community. Uh, I got that from Chris. If I'm wrong about that, somebody you know, give me the correct terminology. LGBTQIA+. Okay. I have ADHD. Y'all keep adding letters, okay? <laughs> nope, those letters have been there for a long time. <laughs> anyway, look, look, okay, look. That right there says it all. I don't need to say anything. There is a, a doggone thing on my hat. So, um, but... Yeah, it's lesbian, gay, I'm, bisexual, trans, intersex, asexual. Thank you. Uh, I am a big proponent of, I don't care if, you know, what you do with your life and your personal self, because that is your prerogative. Uh, as long as you don't drag me into the middle of your business, I, dude, you are welcome to do whatever you want to do and be whoever you want to be. It is none of my business, but you know, um, and that's the way I, I think about it. And But then I was raised in New Orleans, too. So uh, I am happy to admit that I was raised with an open mind. And my my family, you know, uh, especially my dad uh, and my grandmother, raised me with such an open mind that I don't see color. And I don't see, um, you know, the uh, whatever somebody's sexual partner is or whatever they do, that is none of my business. You know, uh, you like the, oh, I just listened to something the other day that said, I think it was Matthew McConaughey to be truthful about it. They said, I like the person for the person's attitude and the way that they person their 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 personality okay i don't like a person because they're this 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 or this i like the person because of their um who they are okay because you got good people and bad people 
And, uh, it, uh, you know, a person can be a bad person regardless of what color. A good person can be a good person regardless of what color and or sex or whatever. Um, so when I seen these, which I seen these first uh, before I seen your others, I absolutely fell in love with them. And, you know, if if somebody doesn't agree with, you know, the topic of conversation tonight, uh, there's the door and I'll see you all next week. So, you know, um, and yours, you kill me with your opening monologue. Oh, Girl, yeah. that is when you caught my attention. And it was like, I didn't even know you. And I said, I like that girl uh, because of your opening monologue on every video that you got. And it was like, that is about as open-minded as a person can be. Well, and when I started my YouTube channel, my first and utmost goal was to create a safe space. If you were going to bring the kind of energy that would make the people in my circles feel unsafe, then you can pretty much go the hell away. <laughs> That's the reason why the hat and, the, you know, now the hat's my skull and to cover up the gray hair. Uh, but also the reason for the button is because this is a safe, this says it's a safe space. I don't know if y'all can see that or not, but, um, and it is, I will go down fighting. Okay. Mm -hmm. And I mean, fist fighting to the gravel, uh, for somebody's right to be whoever they want to be. Yeah. And my, um, I, my channel, it grew slower than the people who started at the same time I did, but I'm like, I don't have the drama there. I don't no. have it. And I'm like, I would rather the smaller group that respects yep. each other, that takes care of each other. I've, I've actually had more people message me um, asking for advice about dealing with depression or neurodivergence or they're trans and trying to apply for a job or things yep. like that because they're like, you are open and you are safe. So they message me and I'm like, that's what I wanted. Um, yes, it's a crafting channel, but the crafting was a way to share a space with people. It wasn't all that it was about. Agreed. And, um, uh, you know, that's why I say here, leave the drama and the BS at the door. I don't want to hear it. Nobody else wants to hear it. I could care less if you're fighting Karen uh, or this one or that one or whatever or what have you. You got something that we need to talk about. OK, it can be talked about and discussed. You know, uh, if you want my one on one undivided attention, mm -hmm. message me. Yeah. Don't sit here and give me a life story in the middle of live on chat, because guess what? I'm lucky I catch one or two sentences in live. So hello to all the people that I've missed that come in and gone out. Um, oh, yeah. I even had someone try to do that. Like I put up a video showing off a bunch of my art that was available as diamond paintings and where they could buy it at. And immediately I get the, I don't buy AI art. I'm like, you're not going to attack me on my channel. I'm not going to attack you either. But basically my response was, there's the I don't have to, yeah, I don't have to agree with you, which I don't, but I can respect your opinion. So Agreed. my suggestion to you is don't purchase my art. Agreed. That's you, know, you don't like, you don't like it, don't buy it. Don't buy, don't buy it. Honestly, I don't want my art in a household with somebody who's going to hate it anyways. That's Agreed. not the point of my art. So if you don't like it or how I made it or anything like that, do not purchase it. But you do not need to be bringing negativity to my channel. Like, um, you know, again, we don't talk about diamond painting trays here. I always tell everybody if you, you know, if you have purchased a Nix's Notions item and if you are not satisfied or if you're not, are you love it and whatever, uh, come to me in private message. Do not mm -hmm. hijack my chat and you know go on and on and on about uh well this broke or i don't like this or i don't like that because i'm going to put you out the door and then i'm going to tell you to message me privately and then we're going to discuss about it this chat right here and all the people that are in this chat is to have a good time to enjoy themselves on saturday night yeah i equate this to a girl's night out sitting at a bar the only thing is i'm drinking tea instead of you know tequila um 
But, you know, it's like Saturday night. This is my decompression time. This is my hangout with my friends time. And, you know, it started out with me, myself, and I. Um, and then my buds show up, like you, and like, you know, Erica, and then Michelle, and Cindy. Uh, sorry, Cindy. Um, and it was like something that started out with everybody going, I'm sick and nobody's here, to the point of, it being as fabulous as it is right this minute, and I have all you fabulous, beautiful people here. Uh, I am just Ivory the Moon beside myself, you know. Not to mention, I'm showing all your fabulous art that's out, which on I appreciate. <laughs> you know, these are the diamond paintings, are and and uh, tumblers that Kokesha is uh, has at her um, has at Butterfly Kisses Customs dot com uh on instagram and this was the picture that she was talking about that was on the tumblr it and was a little hard to see on the tumblr but if you can see how it split down the middle the way it fits on that tumblr it is just dead um perfect um so and I, these are and also available as diamond paintings at diamond painting fanatics there you go. Well, I was trying to get that out because we're not forgetting Michelle, uh, Cindy. We're not forgetting Cindy at all. No, no. Uh, I just ain't drug her in here yet uh, because honestly, she she I don't think she's got ADHD. Just and, stay for the and, party. And, that's all. That. <laughs> so, but anyway, um, we have reached back to where we started uh so you know it's like oh my gosh guys uh now i got keisha okay she's finally moving all right so i i, I there she is um so anyway uh the last three photos that you've seen are the ones that cindy michelle has uh, along with a lot of knox's other stuff uh in diamond paintings and if you want a tumbler or a notebook or something like that those are at butterfly kisses custom on etsy under kokisha's um hit us up for the link matter of fact travis and anita have been doing all of the links and what have you um and i'm pretty sure that you know uh you know kevin and 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 erica and all of us can get together i know that uh i am buying black widow okay from knox uh my husband wants it uh which my husband never asked for anything um and it will be signed I will take it to Hobby Lobby. It will be uh, framed and mounted and sealed, just like the other one, and it will hang on my hall. Um, and if you don't, uh, girl, I'm going to have to drive to your house if you don't sign that sucker, because my husband's going to be upset. <laughs> I actually specifically have, where is it? I have a gold pen just for signing art pieces. The way that, it, it, believe it or not, it's got like little blobbies, which I thought yeah. was so cool. And it was like, okay, I knew exactly what pen you were using. And the way that the blobs and where they're at was perfect. Okay. And I was, it was a little like, worried about it when it first came out, but I'm like, well, you no. know, no one can claim that I didn't actually sign it. There, it I mean, that is pen. dead on perfect. I wouldn't change. I would go buy five more pens just like it because usually people use Sharpie markers. Okay. And you can tell the difference with that. So, um, but anyway, uh, Knox's diamond paintings are at Sin at uh, 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 Cindy Michelle's diamondpaintingfanatics.com. Also, Travis's diamond paintings are there as well. Let's not forget Travis gets creative. He has artwork there as well that are in diamond paintings. Uh, and Kokisha Warren of ButterflyKisses.com has uh, um, Knox's uh, work as well, and especially the um, uh, 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 October event. The Break the Silence. Event. Thank you. <gasps> you could tell I was arguing. That one, it did not work well. Hello. Cool. Brain fart. Uh, and I tell you, brain fog is a thing if you have COVID, okay? 
Uh, you think ADHD is bad, throw, it's throw COVID in there and the brain fog that comes with that. And it's like, the, I, I was lucky I could talk at all uh, because I couldn't remember nada. Um, so anyway, what else? Okay, the only person we have not put in a spotlight is <laughs> you knew I was coming after you. I did. So what have you got going on, darling? And I and please accept my deepest, utmost, sincere apologies <laughs> about last Saturday night. I could have crawled under this desk. I was so embarrassed and I, I I didn't know what to say. I didn't know what to do. And it was like, I didn't know how to fix it. And it just, it was like, I was stuck and I'm sorry. And because it was not your fault. It was not your fault. It was the manufacturer's fault. And, and I'm not worried about it being fixed or anything, but it was like, I it is being fixed. It's on its way. Well, well, I got news for you, honey. When the when the fixed one comes in, it's gonna be like shown big bright, <laughs> and, and because um, I had opened it and looked at it, but I didn't I didn't realize that half of the cat in the hat was, you know, missing, and 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 the other one had. But me and Keisha fixed the other one, so. Uh, which, by the way, Keisha, while you are listening, you are packed up. You are ready to go, and you will be in the mail at 9 a.m. on Tuesday morning. Everything, including the diamond painting, uh, will be in the mail 9 a.m. Tuesday morning. So you are done, done and dusted, as they call it. Um, so anyway, what have you got new, Cindy? Have you got anything new? Not yet. Why not? Because I'm waiting for deliveries. Mm -hmm. Ah, Travis, get your honey and gear and come out with some new stuff. I've got, I've got your um, neck out on. Oh, my favorite. <laughs> my baby. I am waiting for my last. I have one diamond painting that's in the wind. Uh, yeah. uh, uh, Travis is uh, witch. And as soon as it comes in, I'm ordering and Travis the spirits. And Gabriel. Yeah, and Gabriel. Mm -hmm. Gabriel was supposed to be a surprise, so I was trying to actually <laughs> uh, not say anything. But hey, she she blew the surprise. But <laughs> Gabriel's my man. Oh, Gabriel gives my gives me butterflies. He's just too sexy for school. Oh, so. I have the devil guy that would go with Gabriel. <laughs> Oh, do you really? Yeah, Cindy you, has one. It's named Fallen. Simi, oh my gosh. Simi, Simi, both. Normally, Heaven and hell. I, <laughs> normally, I don't do angels. I'm not a big angel person. Uh, like you, I'm more on, on the other side of the fence. And, but you have got to send me that picture. Oh, I'm sending you the link right now. I just got to Thank you. Up. Uh, because of the fact that, but see, Gabriel, Gabriel's naked and Gabriel's got a flower that's in a specific spot. And it was like, and he's blonde headed and curly and got muscles and, and a, a six pack going on. And it was like, uh, he, he is, uh, if he's an angel, um, he is a Chippendales angel. Let's just say that. Okay. <laughs> Um, See, so I, my phone's usually too bright, but there's a quick sneak peek. Oh, I, I've, I've seen that. I've seen that. Where did Cindy yeah. Michelle got that? Isn't that on? Yeah. Isn't that? Yeah, I'm gonna send you the link right now. Yep, yep. Uh, because I was fixing <laughs> to say I've seen that, but Travis, okay, Travis is my bud. All right. And Travis made me, um, well, I, I got Travis's Renegade. I got Travis's um, uh, witch, okay, that's holding the, the ball. Um, and he specifically done for me the two ferrets in a basket because I own four ferrets. And so as soon as the witch comes in, I, I got to get my ferrets and, and do my ferrets. And so those are my babies right there. 
Um, and those are uh, kind of a, along the lines of what is called a black-footed ferret, a wild ferret, and because of the colors on her face, but that's so cute. So as soon as my witch comes in, I, I, I got to go buy Travis's, Travis's ferret because if I don't, he'll, he'll kill me. He'll, he'll crawl through the computer system and kill me uh, because he goes, yo, woman, I painted that just for you. So um, anyway, and then uh, yeah, I made gnomes I, just for Cindy. <laughs> gnomes scare me. It was like, I'm still going to do this for you. <laughs> Way to conquer that fear. I love it. There you go. I know, right? Anything for my friends. Uh, ask me. Man, you know, uh, uh, ride or die for your friends, you know, and, and it's like, take it to the mat for your friends. Uh, now, if somebody's sitting there picking on me, more part to you, have fun with that, you know, because trust me, I am not paying the first lick of attention to you. But you mess with my friends, hello, it is on, and I will climb you like a spider monkey beating all the way up and beating all the way down on the other side. That is such a so, weird image in my head. Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> it's like a Korean uh, horror film. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> But anyway, um, so Sandy, you don't got nothing this week, baby. Goodness. Not till Monday. Not till Monday. Okay. Well, then that means you've got to come back next Saturday and bring something. Uh, oh, Travis, thank you. Banners. Yes. Uh, Travis is sitting here telling me that banner, 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 banners, uh, banners, and... Da, 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 da. Where is she at? Because uh, my mods are, are banner watchers, okay? Because I forget the banners. And now I'm trying to... Uh, 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 your banner is here. I know it is. Um, ah, show, show. There we go. Okay, because seriously, I forget about these stupid banners. And so my, my mods are like, you know, throw rocks at me and, you know, banner for this person, banner for that person. And I'm sorry, Erica, I forgot to put your banner up. No, you didn't. Oh, man, I'm pretty pleased. Is it that time? Oh, it's only one o'clock in the morning. No, no, I had it only. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. So. Right, well, ahead. Knox is holding it hostage right this minute, but it will be on its way. Whatever what am I it holding takes, hostage? Uh, where's she at? She's right there. Oh, there you are. Uh, yeah, no. Uh, get it get it in motion. You have to bend down a little bit so she can see you. Uh, <laughs> there you are. <laughs> put it in motion there. Yeah, no holes. <laughs> Love you, baby. Love you, too. Ah, that's my glue. That's my rock right there, man. Um, not to mention the best nurse doctor you ever seen in your life. Because when uh, I have never, uh, other than the fact of when I had food poisoning, um, I got extremely dehydrated. I was fine. And other than the fact that it felt like I had the flu. Uh, and they called it COVID. Uh, however, I forgot to drink. And got extremely dehydrated. My fever shot up to 104. And the next thing you know, everybody's going, you're going to the hospital. You're going to the hospital. And it's like, wow. Well, you could die. Yeah, dramatic much? You know, just give me some freaking fluids. So after that, I lived on watermelon for two weeks. No joke. Talk about fluids. There's your fluids. Watermelon. You it's good for you. And I hate water. So, anyway, Cindy Michelle's front and center, and she's got. Does she talk? No. She waves a lot. I don't know what you want me to chat about. Can That's we talk okay. About where um, a day before Halloween went. Oh, there's a day before Halloween. I still don't see it. You're killing me. No, I've still not done it. <laughs> <laughs> I even wrote it down, I think. That would be a good reason. Hey, I have to admit, Nix's Notions is caught up. Okay, all that crap is finally on Nix's Notions. There you go. Have fun with it, all right? The only thing that, okay, I guess it's my turn. All right, I'm going to shift out. I was going to say, what do you me. have new? All right. I have. Oh, I'm just let me. The party. I don't have any show and tells. 
Okay, here's my show and tells. There is Fairy Lane Putty, okay, that is, uh, where's the camera? There's the camera. Uh, Fairy Lane Putty that will be coming out. Um, I have Candy Corn that is fixing to be coming out. I have Cloud Dancer that is fixing to be coming out that goes with the trays. Goes with the trays. Goes with the trays. And I have pumpkin pie. And I have witch's breath. I need a name for the witch's hats. What do y'all suggest? Everybody give me a name for the witch's hats. This here is uh, Kokesha's Butterflies. Matter of fact, I think it's called Butterfly Kisses. Uh, it's unscented. It's for people that have uh, allergies and uh, cannot have anything with scents. But the the how the witches' hats, I don't know what to call them. So I need suggestions, okay? Because what's the um, color? Huh? What's the color of the witch hat ones? They're black. No. What what is it? <laughs> what 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 is it? For that matter. Oh, I haven't decided to scent. You mean the putty? <laughs> oh, what color is the putty? Um. Well, here's the thing. I can't go black. Black doesn't sell. Thank you, baby. I've got uh, I've got one of the uh, uh, the crown jewels, and it's done in red and black. And I think it's uh, flame or uh, flames desire. I don't know. It's one of my brain's dead right this minute. Anyway, um, it's black and red. Uh, it don't sell. So anyway, I love these little witches hats. They are so me, and I bought a truckload of them. Um, and the only thing about them is the color is most probably going to be kind of, and okay, all you witches out there, don't hate me for this, okay? Uh, but it's going to be like a, a little bit of a green, okay? I know all of us hate green, all right, because of stereotype. But, you know, I'm sorry. Give me suggestions. I'm open. Yep. I'm kind of with Bessie. She said purple and orange. I was thinking purple and green. Yes. Oh, Ah, thank you. Uh, I was thinking about a purple too. I think a purple would do good. Or an orange. I think or purple and orange. Green, like a like a cauldron. Right. Like the witch's cauldron. Yes. Uh but because yeah, I that's do why I was suggesting color. Eye of Newt is a name. Like something Ooh. they're brewing. Eye of Newt. Are you talking about the one with the little witch's hats? Yeah. Oh, perfect. Okay. Wait. Posty note. <laughs> Eye of Newt. Thank you. That works. Eye of Newt. Anybody says anything about that? Uh, I can tell them to go fight with Knox. <laughs> now, Knox, let me ask you a question. Hmm. Can you tell me what Eye of Newt really is? Nope. Uh, it's... I did know at one point, but I've forgotten. <laughs> Bad you. I know. I told you, I have no memory. <laughs> uh, I don't either. Uh, I do have it wrote down. I'd have to go look it back up. This is, uh, but Eye of Nude is not a nude, guys, okay? And it's not eyeballs either. It's a plant. Yeah, um, that I remembered, but... Uh, yeah. Anyway, and this here is going to be uh, pumpkin pie. Okay. I think um, I can smell that in my house. Smell? Oh my God, it smells so good. <laughs> uh, this is Cloud Dancer. Okay. Cloud Dancer goes with the trays that that uh, I have. And I am trying to get the putties to match the trays. So I have Cloud Dancer. These are brand, brand, brand spanking new. And they're called candy corn. And it's going to smell like candy corn. And the pumpkin pie is going to smell like pumpkin pie. And the um, this here is Fairy Lane. And Fairy Lane has the trays, has uh, the confetti carousel, has everything. The only thing Fairy Lane is missing is the mac and putty that I have in my hand. And that I will be doing next. Um, the Halloween... Um, orange and black pyros 
with the matching um, with the tops and the plugs are up there as well. Um, the only other thing I got going on is the typical. I got my oxalotls and my gummy bears. Uh, I call these gummy bears. They're um, they're gummy bears. Um, and then I have um, my oxalotl and dragon's breath. So, um, but yeah. So anyway, uh, that is the only new stuff that I've got for me this week. And I will be in putty hell for the next three weeks. Uh, as far as Mr. E, he is working on some Halloween, uh, or what I'm going to call Halloween colored uh, trays due to the fact that I just bought another uh, 3D printer. So that gives me seven now. Um, no, I got eight. Wait, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, yeah that'll give me that's seven. That's and that gives me three left to buy, and then I'm good. Uh, anyway, uh, but it has this thing that sits on top of it, and it will print three different colors at one time and do all this this funky extra stuff so uh don't ask me how it's done i don't know the brains of the family just went that way uh he is the sane one he is the rock uh that he is the one that keeps the adhd kite that is me uh that flitters and flutters everywhere he is the one that keeps me grounded and keeps me going forward uh, and, uh, when I have my bad, uh, depression days, he is the one, uh, that does his damnedest to, uh, keep me out of the bottom of the closet and, um, no shit keeps me from blowing my head off. So, uh, him, between him and Keisha last year, they did a great job. Uh, and I'm not going to lie about that. I'm not going to hide that. And it is a true thing and it is a fact and I'm not the only one that has this. So, uh, anybody ever need to talk, anybody ever needs, uh, any help, we are all here. And trust me, if I can't answer something, give me five minutes because I will round up the Marines on, on when it comes to people needing help. If I can't help, if I can't answer, trust me, I can go find somebody that can and that is with anything and that has been my motto and my saying since the day i have my first business i am not the smartest cookie in this box i am in the box and if i can't understand something if i can't fix something give me five minutes i'll go find the cookie that can so uh there you go but anyway uh don't forget miss debbie day and her fabulous wolf uh, diamond painting. Sorry, Knox. I got to throw in Debbie Day. Okay. And her amazing wolf. Um, um, and I don't know why this little sucker don't want to focus. I hate you, camera. <laughs> uh, but anyway, that. And we have uh, Kevin's creations with my amazing Phoenix. Now, look at there. Oh, I love it focuses. That. It'll focus on Kevin. Why it won't focus on Debbie? I think it's because Debbie's background is blue. But that is Erica uh, from Kevin's Creations right there. Uh, Miss Knox River did not send me a business card when she sent me her. Uh, I don't have any yet. I'm actually getting some printed. Ah, uh, well, it'd be great. They appreciate it if I, I, I could have one. The only ones I had were when I used to have a truffle business. That doesn't apply anymore. A truffle, a truffle business? business? Yeah, yeah, I used to make truffles. Like really? truffles? Like chocolate truffles. truffles. Oh, we is a huge business. <laughs> I, couldn't, I couldn't keep up with it because of the disabilities. It was just too much. Yeah. Uh, truffles is, is is a big thing here. Maybe in over the wintertime when, you know, things don't melt. <laughs> you should um, talk to Lindsay. She may still have some in her freezer. Ah, there you go. Uh, also, I her a too, bunch. we don't want to forget about Nana's Crafty Gems. Um, hang on. Uh, I found her. I don't have the little one, but I got the big one. We got Butterfly Kisses by Miss Caucasia Warren. 
usually I like to kind of take everybody in. And we got uh, Diamond Pen Pals, which Renee, I forgot where Renee's at. Um, She's sick. Renee is not feeling good, and that is why she is not here. Uh, Kevin's Creations, Debbie Day. Um, who else am I forgetting? Um, I am out of whack. Okay, guys, when you're sick for 24 days and your husband is taking over and literally running everything, it takes a month to put everything back where it was. At least. <laughs> Because I can't find nothing right this minute. Every time I get sick, everything kind of collapses around the house, even when people try to help me out. And it's still, it takes like twice as long to put it all back together. I know. I'm sitting here looking like, okay, my little basket is supposed to have all my business cards right here at the end of my, you know, at my fingertips. Uh, are they in here? No, not the first one. And he's done gone to bed. That's what he did was he handed me a Dr. Pepper. And uh, said, I'm going to bed. And I'm like, okay. Uh, and he's got a long way, uh, a long, um, or what we call a mini vacay because uh, he doesn't have to work on Monday. So he went to bed early. And uh, Actually, I if I'm not that giving that you a shit. I'm going to night to Scott. <laughs> so I'll be right back. Okay. Uh, if I am not giving somebody a shout out, uh, throw a rock at me. Uh, Travis Gis Creative is on, um, uh, Cindy Michelle, uh, Cindy, when you send me something, how about put a business card in it, darling? It'd be greatly appreciated. Um, so anyway, I am a business card fanatic. And, uh, so that is what is going on with me. I was working on Josephine Wall. I've literally got this much left to go, and Josephine Wall will be finished, and she will be taken to Hobby Lobby, and she will be framed, and she will be draw mounted, and she will be all these things. Um. So anyway, got that going. Little monkey. I love uh, Dreamers Design came out with the cutest little monkey today. And I'm going to swing by and go pick him up. Uh, and boy, did I screw myself today on Diamond, uh, on, uh, Diamond Art Club. Man, I was half asleep. Don't shop, especially when you're running sales. Um, I ended up with a diamond painting that I didn't want. Uh, paid too much money and ain't no way to fix that. But I could turn around and sell the diamond painting that I don't want and get my money back that way but you know the buy one get the second one for 50 percent off yeah i totally screwed that up and it's like okay whatever i was half asleep in that bed felt so good because in all honesty and this is no lie since i got out of the bed uh thursday okay when i had covid for 24 days thursday i got out of the bed i come here and i sit and I kind of piddled. I didn't do much because I had zero energy. <laughs> That's one thing about COVID. Uh, it will zap your energy. You crawl down the hall to the potty, okay? Because you ain't walking. That ain't happening. So I sit here and it was like, okay. And I got to feeling better and better and better. Now I'm back to running my, ther my marathons, okay? Uh, the problem with me running my marathons is I don't sleep. Uh, not to mention I spent 24 days sleeping, so I'm really not sleeping right now. So anyhow, I, uh, this week, uh, from last Sunday, I woke up at 10 p.m. Sunday night and until last night, I had 12 hours sleep for the entire week. So when seven o'clock hit me, I was doing this number and my head hit the desk and it was like, okay, when my head hits this desk, that is, I'm done. You are baked and it is time to go to bed. Uh, so anyhow, I looked at my husband. I said, I love you very much, but I'm going to bed. Good night. And uh, so I went to bed and I, I want to say it was like seven. Keisha, I'm sorry I missed your phone call. 
Um, and I did not wake up until 1130 due to all the clocks set in the house for Diamond Art Club. And then after I screwed up with that and bought a crap ton that I didn't need, uh, I went back to bed and didn't get up till 630. So let's just say I played catch up for the 12 hours sleep that I got in this chair. So that was my week. How was y'all's? And I'm in putty hell. I will be making putty for the next 14 days. You don't know what putty is? You ever played with Play-Doh? Okay. That's what making putty is like, is playing with Play-Doh. Miss Kokesha, have we touched with you tonight? Do you have anything that you would like to address? Say, wait, where are you at? There you are. Uh, I'm sorry that you're not feeling well. That's very unfortunate. <laughs> oh, why are you still awake? I feel really bad for you. I know. Why you're awake, um, I, going to bed? I am. As I said, I only came this, you know, to address not and the um um to let her know what was said um about the artwork that was uh, provided for the event. Um. In regards to me, I am um, hoping to feel better um, in the next day or so. Um, I am super excited personally myself. Um, the collaborations that um, are going on with Butterfly Kisses right now are insane. <laughs> um, and a lot to keep up with, especially with the event going as well. Um, they are diamond, uh, diamond painting fanatics has graciously offered 15% off of all purchases from the event. Um, so many people have, uh, been taking advantage of that. Um, we have other, we have several other diamond art, um, diamond painting groups that are affiliated with the event itself, which are all offering um, discounts. And now also we have not offering a uh, discount for the prints. So it's a lot of things going on at the same time. Um, and honestly, right now, I don't know how much of it I can actually keep up and quote with. <laughs> Um, but as far as diamond painting companies for those that are looking for um, painting still that qualify for the event, uh, they can be purchased from Diamond Painting Fanatics. We have uh, such a Touch the Soul Arts is also discount uh, provided a discount code for the group. Um, or not even a code. They just decide, um, provided a discount period. Uh, well, Goddess, uh, Flystone Goddess has also provided uh, a discount. Captured by Radiance is a sponsor of the event also. They have graciously donated six paintings to the event and six very large paintings at that um so that has arrived also uh i was making joke with her because uh i'm not sure two of them have the uh will have the opportunity to leave but um you know she's donated some very beautiful diamond paintings i think the smallest one is 60 by 80. um touch the soul arts has also donated a picture rhinestone goddess has also donated a picture uh, several of the artists, I, I'm, I'm feeling quite honored that there are several artists within the group as well. So they're able to actually interact with the, uh, with the group about a, um, about the work that they have, uh, submitted. So that's kind of cool. And I think everybody's enjoying that. So they're getting to talk to the artist that created the work that they uh, ordered, um, especially from Diamond Painting Fanatics, because we have a number, a number of them. We have Travis in the group, Panara's in the group. 
I think um, Knox said it's pronounced D D D Wu. Dewi. D Dewi. Dewi, like Daisy, but with a W instead of an S. Shalayari. Shalaharius. That is the name under the um <laughs> under which she uh, submits her art, and I'm never going to try to pronounce that. Um, but these same artists that are in the group have also graciously don donated prints. So I get to see prints of pictures that have been released and those that have not yet been released um, just for the event. Um, Cindy, um, did you receive a, a picture from Panara and from... Uh, Um, she said, pronounce it like Daisy, Daisy, yeah. Um, for the event as well. Nope. What do y'all click to turn off your picture? It's a camera button on the bottom of uh, where your um, where your stream yard is at. It should have a camera on the bottom of it. <laughs> Never, thank you, but okay, go ahead, continue. Um, uh, so I will get with them and, and make sure that they send you those two pictures before I release them. Because that, that was the stipulation in which I uh, agreed to release them as part of the event. One of the things that came up was about the artwork that was submitted for the event. Because I think that ultimately the way that I'm going to... Um, explain it is, is that at, at the end of the day everybody wanted some type of representation of themselves okay um so um two more pictures will be added um as featured pictures they will also both be carried by diamond paint and fanatics as soon as i finish that coordination in the next day or so um but um the prints oh my god oh my god i mean Travis did, uh, I think he signed, I want to say four. I think Travis actually has the most, and I think his is four. Um, but I have four for Fenera. I have four from... Daily. Daily. Ooh, I'm going to get it. I'm here um, for it. <laughs> thank you, darling. I appreciate it because I am done. Um... Um, da, 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 and Fanara did the um, the gnome, right? Yeah. Okay, and people are absolutely loving this gnome. Um, so I'm I'm trying to keep up with that. <laughs> um, uh, there's a uh, I think two other artists that also submitted print. Um. Da, 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 da. So, you know, everything is growing by leaps and bounds and in regards to Diamond um, Butterfly Kisses itself outside of the event. Uh, we are pleased to announce that just like with Knox's pictures, uh, we are being licensed to carry a number of artists' uh, work on, on our material as well. So that is something that will be released this week as well. Um, as I begin to feel better, at least. Um, I have to put all of that work um, on the site as well. Um, uh, there is a featured t-shirt that was designed for Break the Silence that will be uh, added to the group and to the site this week as well. Um, so we have the Breaking the Silence t-shirt. Am I forgetting anything else? Um, uh, I don't think so. I mean, <laughs> we're just adding, I think there'll be a, um, if I counted them right tonight, it's a hundred new, um, items that will be added to the website in the next seven days. Um, and the entire site is on sale right this moment for 10% off. 
Um, so that information was added to the group as well tonight. Um, that is 10% off of everything that's in the shop. Uh, the code for that is in the shop. Um, and I think that's a, yeah, a hundred new designs, I think is more than adequate. <laughs> So? But um, you know, we added. Uh, I, I I specifically added several uh, awareness ribbons because although the event covers for the purple, there are different awareness ribbons that represent different things. So several of them have already been added to the site. Um, Night matter. Um. So, yeah, with 100 new designs coming, it's going to be a busy week. <laughs> and I definitely need to feel better. Um, our sponsors list. Everybody's been asking for the sponsors list. Uh, basically, at the end of the day, the sponsors haven't been listed. And there is multiple reasons why the sponsors have not been issued, um, have not been released yet. Um, but they will begin the process of being featured um, because I want each of them to have to be really featured in the group as well. Um, I think that uh, too many events don't spend enough time actually acknowledging the sponsors that really provide so much of themselves. Um, so um, that's my plan for the sponsors, but there will be an album that's added um, so that the raffle tickets will become available um, for the items. We have some amazing items that have been submitted for the raffle. Uh, we have two J walls since Nick was talking about uh, J walls. Nick's Notions is absolutely a sponsor of the event. So that's the package that Nick spoke to about uh, coming being sent out this week on Tuesday. It didn't help that you know, it didn't help that I went and placed two orders of my own and thoroughly messed up everything with them. She got a big box. So yeah, I, she might end up with two boxes because I don't know if we can get everything in one box. Yeah. So. Um, but we have a uh, pens that have been designed for the event as the queen of pens. We will be giving out pens, pens, and more pens. And then some more pens. Okay. So, uh, and, and in that case, we have Diamond Pen Pals that is participating. We have Kevin's Creations, of course, that are participating. We have uh, Donna Bass has participated. Uh, Pashi Pins has participated. We have Lathan Mysteries that has participated. So the list goes on and on. We have several casters, including Cocoon Blanks, that has donated graciously donated blanks to the event. Um, it's just people have really been showing up and showing out. We have different individuals that, and I think they even amaze me more than even just the companies, even though I've seen the two specialty pens that are coming out, or I've seen enough of them. I haven't seen the finished product yet. However, uh, the featured pens that'll be released are from Kevin's Creations and Diamond Pen Pal. Diamond Pen Pals take it even a step further because they have the featured artwork from the paint I hide that is actually going to be featured within their pen. So, you know, there's a lot of amazing things that are going on, and I'm truly appreciative of that. Um, but the sponsors list will be coming. Um, there will be the album created for the raffle ticket. And I just have to sit down and start the album. Um, the way that I'm going to do the album is basically that as I receive the items, they will be added to the album, <laughs> okay? Because I learned a long time ago, quite honestly, if I if I don't have it, it don't count. 
<laughs> okay, so as I receive them, I will actually photograph them myself and put them in the album. Um, the raffle tickets will sell between three and five dollars. Um, and that will be open basically from the time the album is open until either the middle of the event or the end of the event. We're not sure yet exactly when we're going to close um, the raffles. So I, um, I stay open to suggestions where that's concerned. <laughs> um, but we are also sponsoring several events that are going on right this moment as well. Um, Nox, I'll tell you, like just like Nick, you know, if you need anything for your events, you just let me know. Um, I know that we did the uh, we did the skull tumble up before. Yeah. Okay, so if you need anything, just let me know. Um, you know, but I'm just super excited personally. I have such so I, I've been <laughs> I've been running around like a chicken with my head cut off. Uh for the release of these uh, art pieces to be added to the Butterfly Kisses as a licensed uh, company to carry all these uh, items, which I'm super excited about. Uh, they are individualized, so it's not just that the artist has authorized all of their work, but we've picked out very specific pieces um, to be featured within the art, several uh, inside the shop, rather, several of Knox's you've seen because you have the featured pictures, and then you have what'd you just say the name of that picture is? I don't know why I want to call it Fire and Ice so bad. I think that's why I always forget what it's called because you keep calling it Fire and Ice. The battle within. Yes. The battle within. Thank you. Because I don't know why. I just want to call that picture fire and ice. Okay. Um, but um, those are the ones from Knox that are being featured in the group. Um, um, da, 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 da. So it's a lot of things like that going on. Um, there's the, the Facebook group for me is really honestly the best place to get any information. For Butterfly Kisses Customs um, because there are a lot of focus groups for, for lack of another way to put it that occur in that group um, that control that shop. So the things that I need to find out if you guys want to see you things you like, you don't like they go into that group. Who said what? I said goodnight, Gammy. Oh, Oh, good night, Gammy. Um, so, you know, that's it, and that's all for me. It's just about, just pray I get better. <laughs> all right, I was like, man, crawl in the bed, unplug. Oh, that's what I'm doing. I, I, actually, I actually arrived home just about 6 o'clock this morning. Um, and once I climbed in the bed, that was the rest of that day. I didn't okay. wake up. <clears throat> I didn't wake except for very specific times and it usually was surrounded by my children or my granddaughter walking in the door. Um, I was fixing to say, you, you know, you can try to work while you're sick, but uh, you ain't going to get much done. So the best thing to do is call your butt in the bed and go to sleep. Sleep. Yeah, today was a sleep day. I just stay, I just stayed medicated and just lay down and relaxed. I'm really not sure. I think it was more the temperature changes, the extreme temperature changes, going outside and it's 99 degrees of hell, and then going in the hotel room and it's cool. You know, I think that just the two extremes was a little bit more than I could take. Yeah, temperature but, um, extremes like that will get to me too. Yeah, and I mean, my allergies don't help that this is allergy season, so now I'm jumping around in and out the car, and it's the allergy season is also here. You know, I think it was just a combination of things. I don't feel, I can't tell nobody I really feel sick per se, as much as I have all of the sinus headaches and um, 
Have you tested for COVID? I always test for COVID. I have more. I think I have more COVID tests in my store than the pharmacy, in my house than the pharmacy. But um, I I am I'm negative for COVID, and uh, I'm just tired. <laughs> you know, more than anything else. Huh? I said you've been running yourself ragged. You've been yeah. having a lot on your plate. That's I do. That doesn't help. I do. When the power went out, it actually was quite shocking. And since I run two businesses from my house, you know, and I have a smart house, my joke for the week has been, do you, I know what happens when you have a, when you're running a smart I'm house and all it. the power goes off, I'm you know what to have? A dumb house. You have a dumb ass house. That's what you have. Okay. So. Um, yeah, I'd say, I say nothing. Say hey, you have a very dumb house, okay? Very uh, dumb. Say the, the locks don't want to let you out. You know, the thermostat can't be controlled. You know, it's it's, 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 it's a lot, huh? I said it's the worst escape room ever. It really I is. Know. Okay, I mean it really is. But you know, that's why I just got to a point between you know how I was feeling and watching over my mom and my family and my siblings going off because my mother's in the house and there's no power. I just was like, you know what? It ain't worth all of this. <laughs> and so literally I ran and stayed in a hotel 10 minutes from my house. I was like, wow, a whole 10 minutes, you know? So, you know, but what, what can you do? What can you do? You ain't got no, you know, you have no control over mother nature. And the truth of the matter is that the hurricane was scheduled to hit more into Florida than it was here. So we weren't expecting it to be as bad as it was. But as soon as the eye of the storm basically came over us, all of the, all of the country just lost, lost power. Like a thousand houses here lost power for more than 48 hours. So it was a lot of fun. You know, I, say, but, I say a lot of Southern things being raised in New Orleans and everybody looks at me like I'm crazy. Okay. Like I've got money buried in a Mason jar in a backyard. Okay. And people look at me like I'm crazy. They look at me like I'm stupid. Well, when you live in hurricane country, okay. And you live in a smart house or all your money's in a bank. Okay. And the power goes out. Uh, and then you've got you've got gouging going on for a bottle of water or a hotel room or gasoline if you can get it. And the fact that uh, your debit card or your any kind of card don't work. Uh, what do you do then? So being raised in New Orleans where we went through at least four, five, six, seven hurricanes a year. All right. You learn these little tricks. And I have cash literally in a mason jar buried in my backyard because in New Orleans, you flood. Okay. So when it's flooded and all the power's out, um, usually it stays flooded about 24 hours and the water goes down. You go to the backyard, you dig up your money, you can go buy your gas, you can go buy your food, you can go buy your water, you can do what you need to do because you got cash in hand. People that don't realize this, I've got a debit card and all of your quick stops and all of you people are going to sit there and go, we're sorry, we can't take your debit card. And so then what do you do? Uh, so, yeah, there's a lot of things. Even by the, And now I live in a heart. I live in the middle. Throw a dart, hit the middle of Kentucky. No man, nothing happens here. Land. Okay. We get no hurricanes. We get nothing. Um, we get a little bit of rain, a little bit of thunder. Uh, that's it. But I still have my emergency kit, uh, ice chest in the, in the closet by the front door due to the fact that if the power goes out, it's got everything in there that it's needed. If we have anything that happens whatsoever, there is everything, and see, this is what they teach you when you live in New Orleans. You've got this ice chest, and you've always, always, always got an axe in the attic because as the water rises, you go up, and once you get to the attic, where are you going to go? 
So there was an ax in the attic, always. And my grandma taught me that. That goes back over years. Nobody looks at me like I'm crazy. And that was the first thing I thought about Keisha with her smart house and going to the hotel room was, um, I wonder if she had any cash on her because how are you supposed to pay for all this stuff with no Well, um, because my the town that I live in is split, it's literally split between two electric companies. Okay. Oh, well, that's if, a good if, thing. If you live in the country, all the power was out. And those that were under Georgia power in the city, the entire city was fine. So when I went down 10 minutes from then, it didn't matter. Everything was working like everything was normal. <laughs> well, and there you go. That was great. So, that's yeah, that, that, all, that all worked out. Yeah, that all worked out fine. And um, so we were comfortable. Listen, and that's all that matters to me at the end of the day. Anybody that knows me knows that if my mother's okay, I'm okay. You know, <laughs> so my mom was okay and had a good time actually staying in the hotel and just relaxing. I so, say consider it a mini vacay. Just yeah. back, watch TV, you know, just don't think about nothing. Rest, sleep, play vacation. Go hang yeah. out at the pool. Um, but yeah, no, I take that back. The only thing we had here was we had an ice storm when we first time we lived here and it had like five inches of ice on everything. Uh, and other than that, that's it. So, but yeah, we live in no man's land, but I still got the old habits. So wow. all of you, it's like, okay, I don't know where y'all live. A lot of y'all live where you get a lot of snow. There are certain things that y'all have for like snow, you know, when you get like 25 foot of snow overnight, you know, uh, I wouldn't know what to do. I would, I would not even have a clue where to go with that other than. You don't uh, get all the fixes for French toast. Uh, I would just be standing at the door screaming like a banshee going, somebody help me, okay? Because, and, and I have no clue where to go, what to do or anything else. I am a beach bunny. I am not a snow bunny. Nope. Well, with snow, you don't do anything. I mean, snow at least don't necessarily knock out your power. So you're just home. I don't know. Cold. <laughs> you know. We don't knock out the power here because we don't get much. They're not prepared for it. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, and that's here. We don't yeah. get any snow. We're just not prepared for it either. It's happened. We get play we snow. Ready for we it. get it. We for get what? About snow? Much, and we get enough to make a See? snow angel or a small. You Maybe know. not where you are. Georgia is a huge state. Okay, a lot bigger than I ever would have thought before I moved here. So literally, like from the middle of Georgia up the, to the northern parts of Georgia. Oh, they get snow like it's nothing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we have areas um, in Mexico that get tons of snow, but where I'm at is in a desert. Right. See, so for anything from the middle of Georgia down, and I'm in the southeast uh, Georgia, so I'm I'm just literally, it takes me a shorter period of time to get to Jacksonville, Florida, mm -hmm. than it does to go to Atlanta. In, uh, Atlanta. Yeah, they get snow. And when that last snowstorm come through, it literally uh, shut down the interstates for almost a week. And everybody was stranded in their cars. No joke. This is no lie. Everybody was stranded in their cars until they finally gave up and or run out of gas or walked out. Okay. Because the cars were literally left on the interstate. Well, when the snow finally melted off, they started towing everybody's cars. And the city made a small fortune because they made everybody pay to get their cars back off of the interstate. So, yeah, that was a big uh, cluster F, let me put it that way. Uh, but they were not prepared for it. Uh, and it was at least, I'm going to say three to four foot of snow and Atlanta was shut down. Uh, interstates was just, there was no in, there was no out and you are stuck in your car. And I'm like, okay, what do you do if you got to pee? You know, <laughs> that's the first thing that crossed my mind. You're sitting in your car. What do you do if you got to pee? Hope you, you know? have a water and, bottle. Yeah, there you go. Uh, yeah, well, yeah you get a water bottle because you can recycle it. 
So, um, you know, but it was like, okay, you could listen to the radio for a little while till you run out of gas. Uh, and then people were cranking their car, heating up the car, turning off the car, you know, what have you. Uh, now, when I lived in Minnesota, there's all these little tricks. I had no clue that your face could freeze off or your lungs could freeze and you could die. And all this crazy wild stuff that you walk outside and your fingers get freezer burnt or, or not freezer burnt but and then you go and like within a minute and then you go back inside and your fingers turn black and they fall off i mean they gave me every horror story in minnesota that there was to have I, for a year and a half, did not leave my house, okay, because <laughs> I was scared to death to go outside because I was scared that if you take a deep breath, your lungs freeze and you die. So, you know, it's like, yeah. So I was like, I, I, I look at You know that a lot, a lot of stories come with a lot of myths, right? Oh, I know. But I looked at my husband and said, uh, a year and a half, I looked at him and I said, uh, when you own a black car and it snows and you can't find the black car, uh, we don't need to be here. And we're from the South on top of it. We are totally out of our element. I am fixing to point this little bad boy South and I'm not going to slow down till I hit heat, uh, which was Atlanta, Georgia is where we ended up at and it was like oh no more i will you see the ohio kentucky state line i will never ever ever cross that state line ever again i will go visit ohio because that's where the renaissance festival's at that's where all the good concerts are at okay but uh my little butt will never live past the uh the just take a line just draw it across the united states okay from one end to the other i will never cross that kentucky state line again it is just too cold and yeah no 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 i was raised in the south in new orleans louisiana where it don't get no hotter than that you walk out the door and it feels like you're in a sauna i can't leave Wow. I, at, when, I mean, Knox is in the middle of a desert, so um, I don't know about not getting out of it. Though, don't you, or you got humidity there? What you got? Uh, we don't get much humidity. I mean, sometimes we do, but uh, especially not this summer. We are actually pretty heavy in a drought. We, we can't even get our monsoon season that we're supposed to get. Um, oh, my gosh. So most of the things we have to worry about here, weather-wise, is intense heat, uh dehydration and drought and dust storms i heard something now i don't know if this is fake or not but i heard something about a, a sandstorm or a dust storm or something that was supposed to be coming off of the ocean and uh, like hitting florida or something like this now i have no clue if this, this was on facebook reels okay take it for what it's worth um but i was like how a sandstorm across the ocean you would think that it would settle on the ocean but no it was like the sahara mm -hmm. desert and this big like what you'd see in the mummy you know the big sandstorm yeah. well it captures the uh the air eddies that are above sea level so the water doesn't mean anything at that point i'm learning something new uh because you know especially and then they go well it's gonna hit florida and i'm like okay i lived there for 33 years in the south and we never had none of that okay um it would snow once every 10 years about that much Mm -hmm. And honey, we, we thought we just died gone to heaven because it was a snow day and we never seen snow. My kid who lives in Texas, when they got snow, what was it, two, three years ago they got snow? Oh, Lord, look, they, they threw a party. You know, it was a snow day party. Well, and so, people like underestimate the sandstorms, the dust storms, because they're like, well, that's just dust. And I'm like, well, one, it gets in everything. The last one we had, my entire diamond painting table even though I, it was inside, all the dust came in through the events and everything. I was picking dust out of the glue on my diamond paintings. It was coating oh, everything. I had no. grills. 
all of it. Everything was covered in dust, and that's inside. Outside, it, it's messing with your car. It's messing with oh, visibility. Like, uh, if you're same. standing outside in it, it's like being like in in just one big sandpaper trap. Like I it was just pulls say, the skin pure, off of yeah. you. Yeah, it gets in your eyes. You can choke to death on it if you're not careful. Um, we don't get them that bad very often, but when we do, it's like you you know to get inside. And if you can't get inside, put some like wet cloth over your face and hope it doesn't turn mud. How did you get it all out of your house? Um, I mean, it was bad enough to affect your diamond painting. I mean, it had to have coated everything. It coated everything. Um, basically, it's. It's a long, tedious process of wet cloths. Just trying That's to get our everything house on off. a regular basis. Yeah, I never, even when we don't have dust storms, there's dust everywhere. Always dust. Well, you can, I got you can admit, dust I got once a week here. and it won't mean anything. I, I've got, I, I can sit there and go through this house with, uh, and dust everything. And within 24 hours, I've got another inch of dust on everything. Yeah, and I don't know if you can see it, but it's like, if I... Oh yeah, you can't really see it. Although the dust like flew off, it's on my finger, <laughs> a little bit there. I believe this you. has been sitting out for, I don't know, a week and a half. <laughs> oh my goodness! And it's coated. It's so. I mean, and I, we haven't I had think... any dust storms. That's just life. <laughs> well, the the only if I have to say we get <laughs> anything here, I live on top of what I call a baby mountain. Okay. Uh, because we're surrounded by big, huge mountains. So I live on the top of a baby mountain, and we get uh, what is straight line wind, or we'll get 30, 40 mile an hour winds on a daily basis. So mm -hmm. I don't have nothing in the front yard. I don't have nothing in the backyard. Uh, I do have a little bistro set, but it's literally chained to the garage, okay, to keep the wind from blowing it across the street in the neighbor's yard. Uh, we have specific things, tie downs for when it's garbage day, um, that we put the garbage can on so the wind don't knock it down and string the garbage all over the place. So, uh, but that's the only thing that we've got here. And the only thing is me being as, as short and skinny as I am. If I go outside to go check something, I got to make Sure, it don't blow me across the yard. So, which it has done, um, because it just catch you out of nowhere. We just lost the the front screen door because the wind caught it, and I'm surprised it didn't break the glass. And it slammed it all the way on the other side, and it hit the house and just snapped right off. And I was like, okay, well, we need a new door. Whoops. So that was that. Uh, yeah, but no, I, I, I will never cross the Kentucky state line again. It's just too doggone cold for me. Uh, <laughs> right this minute, I, I am sitting here in three pairs of socks. Uh, I got, I got leggings on. I got yoga pants on. I got a long sleeve shirt on and I got a hoodie on. Okay. And my, my husband is running around and you know, uh, his birthday suit. So, you know, uh, especially right this minute because it's sleeping, but I, I stay cold. I do. I, I guess it's because I was raised in, in the South so much, but yes, okay. anyway, guys, uh, we have been live for six hours and five minutes. So I think that, uh, unless y'all got something out, we done gone to talking to the weather. Okay. So we've done run out of stuff <laughs> to talk about here. Um, unless y'all got something else good that y'all need to say, Miss Kokisha, you got anything that you see need to say, darling, before you say goodnight, Gracie? No, ma'am, I've said it all. All right, I love you. You go, get, go, go Let's take some meds. Better. You better get some rest. Mwah. I love you, baby. Later. All right, goodbye, my darling. And Miss Cindy Michelle, hello, my darling. I will be video chatting you later this week. Answer the video chat. Yes, uh, So anyway, <laughs> uh, I don't know what day it'll be, but I will be video chatting you someday this week because that way I, I got to talk to you. I've been trying to get to you, but between being sick and between everything else, and again, my deepest, deepest, sincere apologies for last week because... Don't need to keep apologizing. It's cool. Well, it, it put a negative light or I personally feel like it put a negative light and 
I no, feel what we showed is that it happens and we deal with it. There we you go. Know. And you are, you literally dealt with it like right then and there, buddy, at three o'clock yeah. in the morning. <laughs> so uh, it was like, works for and me. What better example of service than that? There you go. Yeah. I mean, again, agreed. Uh, but I felt so bad that I, I, I was, you ever feel boxed in and I, I didn't know how to get I, I didn't know how to spin it to make it look good because everything that I kept pointing at was like, I'm sorry. <laughs> I just need to shut up, roll it up, put it away. Um, but anyway, I am I just felt like I owed you an apology like that because I never uh want anyone's business to have any kind of bad light shined on it. But like Erica said, that showed a quality of um uh, uh how'd you put it again erica of uh, uh, better uh, display of service there you go a superior display of service which you did asap baby girl so i love you to death and you got anything else you need to say before you before you say good night gracie bye. i love you <laughs> bye my darling bye <laughs> all right miss erica how about you what you got going on this week anything exciting anything we need to know uh, no it's, and thank it's you for staying quiet up for week. i've got some uh, we have some stuff coming up this weekend that is going to take the majority of my personal focus we'll be working in the shop but uh there's not going to be a whole lot of exciting stuff until after this weekend Okay, well, you better share in, in, any goodies with me because, you know me, I get first dibs because uh, I'm just that person. Uh, so anyway, and I, I, there's a cauldron that you have that, that's got my name <laughs> on it, you know. Uh, you uh, yeah, you're not going to get away from that one. I know where you live. I, I, I got a Miata. I will drive to your house. I will, I, I will, I will throw the, the roof down and I will get back some Aussie and I'll be there in a couple hours. So, and I can even hand pick it up. Yes, you can. You're welcome to. Be Door's like, always open. She'll be like, girl, get the world, get the hell out of my house. What are you doing? <laughs> I'm liable to put you to work. Yeah, that that now that would be me. Come to my house, I'm gonna put you to work. But I had this I had to stop saying this because my husband. You, know, you can't threaten me, me with a good time. It sounds like fun. <laughs> I agree to die. <laughs> I mean, I have this gator blade, and it is literally a gator blade. My dad gave me when we lived in New Orleans, and whenever we'd go to the swamp, it's this big knife that you see like what's on TV. I'd slap that sucker down on this table and then say anybody show up at my house, especially with the unboxings that I do, everybody sees my address. I don't care. Don't be stupid enough to show up at my house because I'm going to gut you like a fish and leave you flopping on my front driveway while I call him Popo. Okay. Well, my husband goes, you really need to stop saying that. And I'm like, why is the truth? And he goes, well, Nowadays, in this cancel culture, and everybody's being so PC, somebody could call the law on you and use that as a threat, a terroristic threat. Dude, I'm from the South. I am Southern, okay? I don't know how to act any other way. And if I've got a strange man or a strange person show up at my house that I have no clue who they are because they seen me on the internet, you damn skippy, I'm going to gut them from one end to the other and leave them flopping like a fish until the popo show up, okay? And uh, he just looked at me and goes, you have no hope. <laughs> I said, nope, I'm just me. So anyway, Miss Erica, you got any and, and y'all do know what goodnight Gracie means, right? Remember George Barnes and his wife Gracie from a long time ago? Uh they had a sitcom and go go YouTube it. Okay, it's old, like old, old. And the he would always say the last thing he would say because she was kind of ditzy. He would always say, say goodnight, Gracie. 
and her name was Gracie. And she would go, good night, Gracie. And so that's where I got that from. So I'm sorry, I'm showing my age. So anyway, Miss okay. Erica, uh, do you have anything that you need to say, show, or anything else before good night, Gracie? No, I'm good. Thank you so much. We love you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for I'm coming. I'm doing and donuts. Out otherwise, I give hearts. There you go. <laughs> uh, you have been so greatly appreciated. This was not expected. And thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I love you so much. I will see you and talk to you later. All righty. Bye. Bye bye, my darling. <laughs> And Miss Knox River, who really, really, really surprised the hell out of me, because uh, I was royally not expecting this. However, it had crossed my mind that I needed to hit you up to go, hey, I need her to come hang with me. Yeah, I, I heard from people that you kept mentioning that you needed me to show back up. <laughs> I know, man. It was like, you know, I need to go hit up Knox. I ain't talked to Knox in a while, you know. <laughs> and uh, so thank you. And again, my door is always open. And that is for you. That is for everybody. Um, and thank you, my darling. I mean, you literally, literally surprised me tonight. And, um, if it was ever needed, it was tonight because all everybody that normally hangs out was all sick and everybody was gone and it was me, yeah. myself and I. So, uh, one, I love you. Thank you for being here too. Thank you for helping because you really did help a lot. And three, oh my God. I you can always count on me to talk too much and take up hours. <laughs> uh, girl, it wouldn't pay for me and you to video chat because we would not get nothing done for the entire <laughs> day. We would talk about everything from the cat and the dog to the weather and everything in between. Okay. Who's doing what to whom and everything else. And I'd be like, you know, uh, well, I, you know, I got this craziness and I got this craziness and we, by the time it was done, we'd be able to write our own medical journal book. Okay. <laughs> um, but I, I love you to death, baby. And honestly, no joke. You one, thank you for being who you are and in being as open as you are and for open mindedness as you are. And you literally make me feel like I'm not alone uh, because there are a lot of times there are a lot of things that kind of now again mine is not pain mine is mine is in the kibasa here um, but there's a lot of things that I go through and a lot of crazy thoughts that go through my head and and what have you and I always felt like I was the only one because I've dealt like with this since I was a kid yeah. and their way of fixing me was to put me in an empty room with my desk pointing towards a corner yeah. and put a book and a pencil in my hand and go here. Um, that yeah, was, I went through that too. Yeah. And it did not and help. <laughs> I, I think we all went through this and now uh, Keisha calls it doing your homework. Um, and please, dear goodness gracious guys, do not try to buy a book, okay? Because there's only like a million trillion out there, and a book is only as good as a person that wrote it, uh, and that is their opinion of one subject. Um, because you know, you get uh, listen to everybody, pick out what fits you and what does not fit you you know, take and set it to the side mm -hmm. um, because you are the only one that's going to be able to diagnose you and fix you in the end because right this minute with ADHD and all the OCD and uh, uh, dyslexia and 99 yards other garbage that I've got that is all mental, um, they're going to do two things, okay? The first thing they're going to do is go, you need to go see a psychiatrist, or uh, uh, I don't need a psychologist because I've got an internet full of psychologists, okay? Mm -hmm. A psychiatrist, there is a totally different story. Uh, however, again, they are only as good as the information that you provide them with. And then they want to give you a pill or a drug of this or that. 
I have been on that medical emotional roller coaster. I slit both my wrists because they thought that this medication was good for me. And it was try this for 60 days and let's see if it works. Okay, that didn't work. So let's try this for 60 days. So one minute I'm up, mm -hmm. the next minute I'm down. And the next minute I'm standing in the bathroom slitting on both of my wrists. Now I'm the biggest chicken of pain you have ever seen in your life. Okay, I am petrified to death of needles, fight or flight, and I don't do pain. But here I am in the bathroom just going, okay, and it wouldn't bleed. And I'm going, and it wouldn't bleed. And granted, I was 21. This was a long time ago. Mm -hmm. And But I have the same thing now that I had at 21. I just learned how to handle it and deal with it. I've learned. I've, I've done my homework. And... Um, you know, I called out to the cosmic universe and it's like, yo, dudes, uh, I don't know why y'all still want me here, but apparently uh, y'all want me here for something. Don't know what it is, but somebody better be talking to me and gave, give me some kind of sign or something. Um, but over the years, and no joke, I'm 60 years old and I have been fighting with this my entire life. My... Um, and you learn little roadblocks um, and, and what have you. So if anybody ever feels like they're alone, you're not. I'm here. I'm pretty sure Knox will tell you the same thing. You know, um, you're not alone. We're here. Yeah. There's a lot of people that are, are going through the same thing. But I personally, yeah, sorry. This, this was actually a, a banner year for me in this regard. Um, when I was in my early 20s, uh, I told myself I didn't want to live past 40. I could not imagine life being worth living past the age of 40 because there was so much pain, so much yeah. stress. And I couldn't imagine enjoying much more than that. I turned 40 this year and I feel like my life just started five years ago, like really just started to the point where it wasn't just surviving anymore. It was my life. I was living, living. It, it. And now that I'm 40, I'm like, I, I would love more. I, and that means so much. I spent so much of my life just waiting for it to end. And now I'm at a place where I'm enjoying myself, even through the if bad I parts. If I may add something, um, there was, I don't even know where I heard this saying, and it stuck with me for years. Um, there it is called existing Okay, you're literally, you're not living, but you're just existing. You get up every day, you wash the dishes, you wash your clothes, you do what you got to do. You're literally existing. You're not living. Yeah. And with you doing your art and all these other outlets that you are now finally doing, like you said, this year, you just now started feeling like you're kind of opening up a little bit and you're a little happier and what have you. Baby, now you're living. Yeah. Okay? You're no longer existing. You're living. Um, and it just shows the amount of progress that's been made in my life that I could go from don't want to live past 40 to be fair i didn't even want to live till 40 but 40 was like my limit yeah um, that it, it was just and, stuck in the brain yeah. and now i'm i'm happy to be 40 and i'm happy to to get to 50 and 60 and so on like i'm i'm in pain i have a lot of ptsd a lot of neurodivergent issues i have a lot of problems and i still want to live i'm still i'm still loving life even when i'm hating it at the same time i can because I'm and feeling I don't, I don't, it, like I'm feeling it and participating in it, opposed to being beaten down by it. I, 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 I agree. I, I hear you, and that's where I was. Mm -hmm. I don't know what changed that TV channel, but it started in July of last year. Got really bad November and December. And honestly, if I'm being one hundred percent truthful, okay, with myself. Um, it's not over. Yeah. It's not over. And I have spoken to my husband about this, who is literally the rock. Um, and it's like, okay, what's the purpose? You know, wh why? 
Um, and the only thing that I am hanging on to, like hanging on to the side of the cliff, is literally Nix's notions because it's a business. You've got to run it like a business. And it is the purpose that is getting me up and out of the bed every day. It is the purpose that keeps me from taking my own. Well, I don't, I don't know what you can say on YouTube and what you can't, but you know, there you go. Actually, can Um, I, can I share something somewhat controversial? Yes. So I, open, you know, I was heavily, heavily, and this is coming with trigger warnings ahead of time. Trigger warnings. I was heavily suicidal, probably starting about 10 years old, all the way to almost my mid twenties. Um, I made a couple, I will admit half-hearted attempts, but um, the way I finally gave myself the ability to start healing from it, and I, I can't say I'm over that kind of depression. I don't, um, think, I don't think I ever you. will be, but mm-hmm. the way that I started, the footing I got to, to keep moving someplace a little healthier was I, I thought about my life like being in a locked room. If you're in a room with a shut door and it's locked, the first thing you want to do is frantically try to get out. Yes. You're trapped. You're going to try to break down the door. You're going to do everything you can to leave that room. Now, if you're put in a room with a door that opens whenever you want, that gives your brain a lot more likelihood to explore the room. Where am I? Why am I here? What can I do here? As long as you know you can leave at any point. That so makes strange, so much sense. As strange as it sounds, the thing that saved my life, that kept me from actually taking my own life, was giving myself permission to take it whenever I was ready. When that... I was done, when I could not handle any more, I was allowed without guilt or shame to leave this life. And the moment I gave myself that permission, I stopped wanting to get out. Well, it's not that I want to. It's just... I call, okay, um, some people, everybody's got a name for the stuff that they go through, okay? Mm -hmm. I call them crazy thoughts, okay? Uh, I have have severe, extremely bad nightmares. This is Mm -hmm. why I don't sleep. My doctor literally looked me down now and he goes, you're scared to sleep. And I'm like, yeah. I did not even know that they made medication to um, alter your dreams. I didn't even know nothing about it until one day I, that I go, yo, dude, I got extremely like very bad. Uh, kick my husband out of bed, wake up screaming in the middle of the night, running down the hall. I have, and it's been this way since I was a kid. Yeah. I said, uh, do they make anything for that? Mm-hmm. And they go, he looked at me and he goes, yeah. So he gave me I this. I tried one um, and it was, I had a bad reaction to it. Okay, it was a blood pressure medication, believe it or not. Uh, And this is what they give to the soldiers that come home with PTSD. Mm -hmm. Well, I had a bad reaction to that. And he goes, "Okay, well, we're going to change you to a different kind. Let's see if this one works. Now, again, I don't play with medication. Been there, done that. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um, So he gave me this. It ain't even as big as the end of my finger. And girlfriend, I'm going to tell you right now that I don't even, I can't even remember the name of it, but that little sucker is like a silver bullet. It is like a magic bullet because all the crazy dreams, because I have severe separation anxiety. Mm-hmm. I have, I, I got severe anxiety period. Um, and most of my dreams were, um somebody died i was going around town looking for everybody i i couldn't find my husband there was some kind of disaster there was always it was always uh insecurity okay it had all of my dreams always had something to do with insecurity and he gave me these about eight months ago and i i i started taking them and believe it or not um the sleep is magical okay it's like last night i slept for a long time and that bed was feeling so good and i was sleeping so good that you know it was like oh my gosh i finally found i'm finally for the first time 
not because I'm such a control freak during a day. I, I'm like a, 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 a coiled snake. OK, it's the mm -hmm. only way to put it, because I keep myself so buttoned down. OK, and watch my attitude and because I'm a street fighter. First thing I go to is anger. OK, second thing I go to is fighting. All right. Yeah. That is that is the way I was raised. That's just it. I, that is me. I don't know how to do that. However, after doing my homework through all the years, OK, and being and my roadblocks and this and that and everything, I think first before I react. OK, it used to be react first, then think. Yeah. And that actually takes now, a lot of effort to get to. Right. Do your homework. I am very proactive now instead of reactive now. Mm -hmm. Okay. I always, before I take an action, uh, I stop and think what the repercussion or the reaction to that is going to be. That takes a lot, especially when my brain is going a gazillion miles an hour. Okay. Yeah. The only control place that I have no control over is when I'm sleeping. So I'm so controlled during the day that when I would sleep and when I would fall asleep, it's when it all come out. That's yeah. when everything come out. That's when everything just flooded like, like a dam broke. Okay. Yeah. I spent a lot of years learning lucid dreaming to get control of my night terrors. Yes. But if you want me to, I will message you. I will get, get the bottle and I'll message you what it is. Sure, and you're um, to do the research, uh, please do not take anything. Uh, uh, this is a disclaimer. Do research, talk yeah. to your doctor before you do anything. Uh, uh, because I'm on so many medications, me, I'm used to it. <laughs> right. What works for me might not work for you. It might have some kind of a side effect come, uh, that goes with uh, 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 or has an effect with what you're already taking. Um, however, this magic bullet that I didn't even know they made, uh, because I am so anti drug, I am a vitamin junkie. Uh, I live on vitamins. Uh, even when I got COVID, uh, I did not go to the hospital. I did not want to, I did not need to, I took care of me. The only reason why I ended up in a hospital for eight hours was due to the fact that I forgot to drink water. I don't like water. I was extremely dehydrated and that's what got me in the hospital. Yeah. It wasn't a symptoms or anything else. So uh, anyway, and again, I'm extremely healthy and I'm blessed this way. I know I'm blessed this way. However, I am six ways to Sunday screwed up in my brain. Okay. <laughs> Uh, when I tell you I got squirrels chasing nuts up there going on, I am not freaking lying. Okay. Uh, ADHD big time. So I'm constantly like this coiled snake trying to, you know, sit on my hands and not be the old me that would react and, and think later, you know, um, and there's still those triggers there, but, uh, you know, I don't know if it's age. I don't know if I've learned certain little tricks. Um, you know, now right this minute, am I having a hard fight like today, yesterday, tomorrow? Yes. Why? I don't know. I don't know. I can't figure it out. However, I am going to say this. You have been more of a help in a few hours than the past six months of my life because i feel like you and i kind of relate to each other we can understand each other we know where each other is coming from and you being able to understand me makes me feel like i am not alone I'm not just telling somebody something that has yeah. not had this and has no clue what's going on. That's they the can, big problem I've had is most of the therapists and psychiatrists and psychologists, they, are, they don't have these issues. Mm -hmm. I actually think neurodivergence should be counseled by other neurodivergents. Um, I've, um, actually, yeah. I've spent a lot of time learning 
how to understand different neurodivergence and communicate appropriately in helpful ways. Because I have, at one point I did want to be a psychologist uh, yeah. before my disabilities kicked in, but I didn't want to be a clinical, like heavy clinical psychologist. Right. I wanted to actually help people, not just walk them through a textbook issue. Like nobody is textbook. Coach. No, yeah. And while I couldn't go to, I couldn't go to the schooling and go through with my original plan, life got in the way. It's like, I still want to be there to help people. And life coach. That, yeah. That's literally what they're called is a life coach. So um, I, I believe that you can uh, take care of that online because we've got umpteen trillion of them. That's <laughs> the reason why I say, look, if I need a psych uh, a psychologist, okay, um, there is a full internet full of them. They're called life coaches. You know, throw a rock and you, you will have one. However, the same thing goes for a life coach or a psychologist as it does for a psychiatrist. They're only as good as the information you provide them with. Yeah. Also, too, if they have not walked in your shoes, mm -hmm. they can say, I understand. They cannot say, I relate. They yeah. don't relate. They have not been through it. And that's and, why I think neurodivergence need neurodivergent counselors. Correct. Uh, and I 100% agree with you. And I have to admit, I feel really good right this minute. And it's because of you. And I'm not going to lie to you. And I'm not blowing smoke up your ass. I'm being 100% honest. Um, you know, you have helped me more in a couple of hours especially with this here and all the crazy crap that's been going through my head uh, in the past couple of months. Uh, and again, I am being extremely open right this minute on a public uh, platform that I don't do. Mm -hmm. Okay. Normally I keep my crap to myself and, you know, now you ask, that's a different story, but normally I don't make it a public record un unless I'm speaking to somebody or somebody asks me. But, um, you know, for me and what we're talking about right this minute, this is so out of character for me. And it's not that I'm trying to hide anything. Mm -hmm. I'm not. It's just that, you know, um, I just, who are you going to talk to? You know, you don't yeah. know who's got what and, and what have you. And you are so open and so such a breath of fresh air um, that I personally, from the bottom of my heart, want to say thank you. Okay. Because of the fact that you just as, you know, even us just BSing about, you know, art or whatever, it was like, I mean, that person's walking in my shoes. You know, that person is walking the walk. She's not just talking the talk. And there's a, you know, a lot of people that, you know, can talk it, but very rarely do you find the people that are walking it. And so thank you. Thank you for surprising me tonight. Thank you for honoring me and coming on here. You're and welcome. Please, I'm glad I could be helpful. Don't. Please don't make me drive to your house for that paint for that <laughs> that look. My husband will aggravate me to death until I get it. Just send me an invoice. I don't care how much it is. I'll pay by you the money uh, and <laughs> and call it a day. I'll message uh, you tomorrow about it. I, whenever, whenever, uh, because it's literally going to come out of the mailbox. It's going to go to Hobby Lobby. It's going to be framed, and then it'll be on the wall by the end of the night. Uh, that's exactly the way that's going to work. But. Um, Thank you. Thank you, really, uh, for giving up your time. I know how busy you are. Um, thank you for being so open. Uh, please don't ever change. Please don't ever change unless it's been better. It. <laughs> um, growing, it, it, the growing kind of change, maybe. Uh. The growing kind of change. That's exactly what I mean. Okay. Uh, uh, to address because, what Kokisha just wrote, I'm not necessarily saying all counseling has to be handled by somebody who's been exactly through what you've been through. But neurodivergence is a specific way your brain is wired. And it, yes. it, it's about how, how you reach certain thoughts and how you communicate with people, which is well, why I strongly think that neurodivergence do better uh, counseling other neurodivergence because they can communicate more in the pathways that they can comprehend and 
people who are neurotypical have a, a bit harder time doing that. So it's now not about, have... it's not like saying you need someone with PTSD to talk to someone with PTSD. That's not what I'm saying at all. This is more about driving the car on the same side of the road, so to speak. You can drive different cars, um, but you need someone who's on the same side of the road. Now you have to realize too, and I have to admit this, neurodivergent, the title or the uh, name is fairly new, okay? So this definition, okay, or this title, let me put it that way, is not, uh, um, you know, it's, it's a fairly new description of an issue or a problem. So not a lot of people have hired, matter of fact, you, you know, you're the one that finished. I, I kept remembering the movie because it reminds me of the yeah, uh, Divergent. There you go. Um, and so, again, uh, I'm not going to lie. I just heard of this terminology myself about four weeks ago. Okay. Mm -hmm. So it was about four or five weeks ago. I remember it was right before I got sick. And it was like, okay, what is that? And click, you know, movie. And I'm like, I need to research that. I need to do my homework on that because, okay, um, one thing with me being 60 years old and living with this all my life, uh, there has been so many titles. It's the same stuff. It's just every year they gave it a different name. They gave it a different title. Uh, and, you know, at the end of the day, it's still the same issue, just a new name on it. So uh, with the with the neurodivergence, like I said, that's kind of a new title and everybody's still kind of trying to figure out, you know, what it is. Um, and so, I, you know, I had to toss that in there as well. Um, again, the, I, I, here's a disclaimer for everybody. Okay, I have to toss this in because if not, I don't know what YouTube's going to do. Hopefully they don't shut me down. If they do, oh well. Um, but... You know, the disclaimer is, guys, we are holding an adult conversation for adults. My channel is for adults, okay? However, if you feel like you need somebody to talk to, there is, uh, I'm here, there are hotlines, there are a lot of things. Mm -hmm. um, I reach out to a few people that go, hey, I'm having this problem right now, right this minute, and I need 10 minutes to get through it, okay? Uh, and they will stop what they're doing to literally help me get through that 10 minutes. Because, again, ADHD, think of a roulette wheel, okay? You know, the little thing that spins around and the little ball? Our brain is that little white ball. The thing that spins around is our thoughts in our head that never stops. And we have got 20 to 50 to 100 thoughts and conversations and all of this going on at the same time. And we are this little white ball while mm. all these other things are going around us at 100 miles an hour. Yeah. And a lot of people don't get it. A lot of, I got a lot of people that hate me. Okay. Did I, and in the beginning, when I meet somebody, I tell them, you're going to love me or you're going to really, really hate me. And a lot of people go, I can't deal with you because you talk too much, you know, or you talk too long. I got people to go, I won't talk to you on video chat because you take up too much of my time. You talk too long. You talk too much. Mm hmm and did that hurt my feelings in the beginning? Yes, it did. Do I understand what they meant? Yes, I do. But did it still hurt my feelings, you? Yeah. But yeah, and there have been so much better ways to handle that. It's like if if I had if I had to go, for example, and we're still in the middle of chatting, my my statement. Hey, Nick, I gotta go. Yeah, I've gotta go. But I'm very interested in what you have to say. Could you write me an email? There you go. Or, you know, I give everybody permission in the beginning of a video chat. Yo, dude, you know, that was like Erica. Okay. When Erica and I talked, we ended up talking for like five hours. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, yo, let me tell you something in advance before we even start talking. If you have to go, you just look at me and go, Nick's, I got to go. Okay. 
plain, simple, direct to the point. Next, I gotta go. Yeah. Okay. That registers with me. <coughs> and but I have, you would not believe the amount of people um that have come out and uh and or either about uh live. It started out, how do you go seven, eight, nine? I've done 24 hour lives. How do you do 24 hour lives? How do you talk so much? You never shut up. And how can anybody get a word in edgewise with you because you never shut up? Well, one, I thought it was because I'm from the South. Okay. Us Southern people have a tendency, especially from Louisiana, we have a tendency to talk a lot. Okay. But the more and more and more homework that I did, and I'm calling it homework on purpose, uh, I realized that it had more to do with my ADHD than it did with me being Southern. The Southern was kind of like the icing on top of the cake, okay? The cake being the ADHD. Um, and there is, you know, uh, bless my husband's heart, you know, uh, and I just, I lost my best friend of 20 plus years. Her and I would talk every day, all day. And we would turn on video chat and she would wash the clothes and she would do the dishes and she would sweep and mop the floor and I would do the same thing. However, she was there. I was here. The video was on. Okay. And this is how we were connected, but then we were not in the same room. Well, not last year, the year before, uh, she come on my live on a Saturday night and for the first time ever. And she stayed for about 30 minutes. She goes, I'm tired. I'm going to go lay down. She had a massive heart attack and died in her sleep. I dove into work. That was my way of, that was my way of getting past it. Cause I don't do grief. Okay. Uh, and that was my way of getting past it. So, uh, anyway, I dove into work. Well, you can only work so much until you just run out of juice. Okay. Yeah. And the body hits the wall. Well, when the body hit the wall was when the depression kicked in and when the uh, suicidal thoughts kicked in and nobody called EMS or any damn body else. Okay. I'm not going nowhere. So don't get stupid on me. Um, but that's where these thoughts come from. Uh, and it was like, okay, I need help. I'm smart enough to know, and I've done enough homework to know that I need help and I need to speak to someone to get me past this five or 10 minutes of what I call crazy thought. Mm -hmm. And this is where you come in. And tonight, one, you were surprised. Thank you for this lovely, lovely surprise. I always, I always do best when I'm a surprise. <laughs> That I, to, I had no intentions of us having this kind of conversation. So thank you. Thank you. Um, and three, you have been such a breath of fresh air. And you have helped me more than you could ever, ever imagine. Because of the fact that you have and are walking in the same shoes that I am mm -hmm. and you get what I'm saying. And that is like, somebody finally understands what I'm saying. Because in my mind, when I talk to people, I feel like Charlie Brown going wah, 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 wah. And yeah. nobody understands me. Yeah, so, that's, that's pretty rough. You. Like I have, I am lucky enough. I have a lot of people in my life. I'm surrounded by other neurodivergents. So I have a lot more people to talk to that do understand, but that also helps in the sense of they can help me work out my thoughts and my approaches. And so it's easier for me to communicate like on my YouTube channel or uh, with new friends that I make, things like that, um, because I've, I've decluttered ahead of time. But I know not everybody has that opportunity, and it, it's it's rough when you're when you're stuck in an environment where just no one gets what's going on. It makes you feel small, and I'm like, I am yes. not a person that feels small. I I take up space. I'm a loud yeah. person. I'm I'm a large person, and I don't just mean physically large. I mean like I am a large personality, but I can still feel small, and I hate feeling small. 
Yes. And my, my husband, bless his heart, he, he will sit and he will listen to me for hours and not move, not blink, not say a word. He will literally sit there, focus 100% on me and listen to every word I've got to say. But I feel like I'm going wah, 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 wah. And he's not understanding nothing. And it's not his fault. I yeah. can't blame him for this. And I feel like I'm this big. Because I'm. it's like the smaller you feel, the more you try to explain yourself. Yeah. Okay. And um, the small thing I got over by saying to myself, which might be wrong. And if it is, I apologize in advance. Well, you don't get me. You don't matter. Why should I listen to what you've got to say? Because you don't get me anyway. So why should I care? Okay. Um, because again, the smaller you feel, the more you fight to defend yourself to the fact of the point you wore out. And as long as I have somebody who's trying to have a healthy conversation with me, even if they don't understand me, I've gotten by with just understanding that we are having a miscommunication. Like, yeah, I don't understand you. You don't understand me. That doesn't mean either of us are wrong. It just my means we don't understand. Is, we agree to disagree. That yeah, is my or, answer. Or we just speak different languages. Just because yeah. someone doesn't understand English and I don't understand Spanish doesn't mean either one of us are wrong. We just don't understand each other. Correct. Correct. And uh, again, um, I know I'm being repetitive, which is an ADHD thing. People, yes, it really is. Um, and that's something else that everybody goes, I've already heard this a hundred times. I'm tired of hearing it. You've done said it a thousand times. I'm tired of hearing it. We do this because we, we smell, we feel small and we, we feel like we're not, we're wah, 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 and we're not getting our point across. So we say it again and again and again. And or it is something that is stuck. I don't Spinning. know about you. Yeah. On replay. Okay. Yeah. So if it's stuck on replay, I cannot stop this. It will not stop. And the other problem I have is I don't remember who I said it to. That, yeah. <laughs> So I'm but like, I'm then, sorry if I've told you 10 times because I thought I told 10 different people. <laughs> uh, agreed. Uh, now, the only thing is I, I, uh, I, have, I have four parents and a husband, okay? My son and my grandkids are in Texas, okay? Um, so I literally have no personal people, uh, reality people in my life anymore. My husband works 60 hours a week, Ooh. okay? So he's gone most of the time. And so that leaves me here with four ferrets. And my best friend, who used to be in this little box every day, all day, that I don't care if we were mopping the floor or washing the dishes, we were still talking to each other, okay? Like she was in the room with me. Well, now she's gone. And I'm so lonely, but then I'm surrounded by, oh God, if I had to title up the people that I've got in friends on different platforms, yeah. I've got almost a billion, if not two. <laughs> okay. Because I've been on this monster since the day it was invented. Mm -hmm. No joke. I mean, literally we helped invent what we're playing on today, me and my husband, mm -hmm. because this is what we did for a living. And so, you know, I'm surrounded by people in a box and I can go and I can talk to somebody, but then I've got nobody here and my bubble is very, very small. Yeah. My bubble is very protected. My bubble is, I see the mailman more than I see anybody else. Okay. Yeah. And that's because that man knocks on my door and hands me my packages. Other than that, there ain't nobody. I sit here every day, all day. I talk to four ferrets. And, I, and God, please, no sympathy. I am not talking about that. Don't want that. Don't need that. I'm cool. Okay. Explaining your environment. I'm explaining my environment. Thank you. Uh, but it's self-imposed. It is mm -hmm. self-imposed this way for a reason. Because when you know the next door neighbor, okay, pick a direction. Nine times out of ten, that next door neighbor's got drama. 
And a net next door neighbor is going to bring that drama to your house, plop it in the middle of the living room, drag you into the middle of it. And you're sitting there asking yourself, how the hell did I get here? And how do I get out? Okay. And you can't because they live next door. <laughs> uh, well, if you don't know them in the first place, exactly. then guess what? They I can't drag it to your house. I don't now, make friends with my neighbors. I, I know a lot of people here. say you should, but I don't. Um, I have no need to know, know mine either. Uh, because, see, these people here, I have said from the get-go, have two buttons on their ass. They have an off button and a delete button. I can either turn you off or I can erase you. Mm -hmm. One or the other. Okay? And so, you know, this is fixable. This around me is what you've got to be careful of. Yeah. Because, you know, uh, if you surround yourself with negative people, then that literally is going in to affect your life. Now, yeah. I've got too much negative that I'm fighting with personally on my own that I don't need anybody's help adding to it. Yeah. Okay. Um, so again, and, and I know I've talked a lot and I apologize and thank you at the same time, but I feel like you're the only person that I have spoken to in the past two years that I don't feel like I'm going wah wah to, and I don't feel small. And for that, thank you, because it really has helped me a lot. Well, and we I don't get a video chat anyway. more. Like, so, I'm, I'm, I'm up you. for video chatting. Uh, the only reason why I haven't is because you are so busy. And, um, you know, I, I feel like I'm taking it because, uh, you know, uh, we talk a lot. Mm -hmm. We talk a lot. For hours and again when you've got people saying well i don't want to video chat with you or you'll be talking to them for a couple of minutes and then they'll go oh i gotta go i gotta go take this phone call or oh i gotta go i gotta go do this and yeah. and you're like i just you, got started <laughs> you you get it you, you know it's like um uh, you know okay i'm talking too much or i'm saying the wrong mm -hmm. things or you take it inwardly yeah. Okay. Instead of what, uh, you know, um, but again, Jesus, you've been more of a psychiatrist and a psychologist <laughs> and a life coach and a everything else. And thank you for not, for the first time in two years, not making me feel small because I always feel small. I am very happy to be that for you. And I, I'm, I like when I can communicate with people in a very open way and i am always here for you if you i don't care if it's three o'clock in the morning and i'm a night owl okay i am not gonna lie to you i don't sleep i'm a night owl um you know daytime nighttime anytime you ever need anybody to talk to i am a video chat a message an email a phone call whatever away mm -hmm. and i am not hard to find my info is literally everywhere just mm -hmm. pick a spot that's how uh, I feel. Like I'm pretty easy to find. Yeah. Uh, so, but you, you know, again, I'm going to, I think I said an hour ago, we was going to say good night. You know, an hour and a half. Yeah. <laughs> Could you said five and a half it's hours. It's been me here for an hour. hour. <laughs> you know, uh, so yeah, you know, sorry, apologize. Yeah. We still got 13 people here. Uh, well, so, apparently they like know, our I, yammering. Uh, but anyway, Thank you, darling. And I'm going to stop talking about me and us and our disability. I don't, do you call it a disability? I, it's neuro, it? My autism and ADHD to me is neurodivergence. It's a different way of existing in the world. It's a different way my brain is wired. My PTSD, anxiety, depression, those are disabilities to me. They, they mess up my life. Now I know other people view it differently and for other people, like ADHD and autism can be disabling. Um, and in some ways, I feel I feel like I need assistance, but I am not fully disabled by mine. But that does not mean it is not a disability. It just means for me, I I am 
In some I ways, I have decided. better abilities, and in some ways, I need help more than the average I, person does. I have not decided if it's a disability for me or not because um, I pretty much, uh, I mean, I'm like a horse at at, at, a, at a, a racetrack, and and I'm just just dancing, waiting for somebody to open the door because I am go 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 until I hit that wall, and this is always the way I've been. Uh, you see me slow, then there's an issue. Uh, you see me not talking. That's a major problem. If I stop talking to you, mm -hmm. that means that me, we have major issues. Yeah. And that means that I have taken five steps back because I am, con I don't show, I talk in my sleep. Okay. Um, because I, I, you know, but if, and that's just the way I am because, you know, again, homework, you know, you don't fight no more. Um, but I uh, shut down. I stopped talking to people. I, I, I just walk away. I just, you know, just step back and mm -hmm. I stopped talking. So for me, when I stop talking, that's the, that's the, that flashing neon sign, you know, warning lights that we got a problem. Yeah. And, um, you know, so, uh, but I don't know if I call that a, a disability or not. Um, now I do have, uh, one of my ferrets is considered a, uh, um, you know, a, an assistant pet. Let me put it that way. Um, and it's not this monster right here, uh, cause he won't sit still long enough, but it's Sid cause Sid, I can hold for hours and, and he won't move. He'll just sit there for hours. Um, but you know, I have a ferret art piece. Do you have a ferret art piece? Oh, uh, it's a Halloween ferret on the one with the diamond art. You'll have to show me. I don't know you have that. I, really, I, I will buy it. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it's been out. It was like one of the first pieces they put up of mine, actually. I'm sorry. Is it on Cindy Michelle's? No, it's on the one with the diamond art. Although I do oh, have okay. Halloween art on both sites. Okay. I, I will totally go check that out. But again, um, sorry to interrupt. I, 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 I mean, this this is it, you know, and I don't know if I, I call it a, a, a disability or not. I know that I have a problem. I know that yeah. I have an issue, um, whether if it's a disability or not. Now, my anxiety attacks, I can be sitting here perfectly still, um, you know, talking to somebody, uh, uh, not talking to somebody, but working on something. Um and all of a sudden, it's like I get extremely anxious. I feel that ball of energy the size of Mount Rushmore in my gut. And then it goes from, it, it's like it just works its way all out to the tips of my fingers to the point to where I'm doing this, trying to shake it out, yeah. you know. Um, and that's when I get fidgety and that's when I get, cause I, I, I you see, I talk with my hands a lot. Mm -hmm. okay. I'm sitting here rolling um, a pin around right now. <laughs> yeah. Well, uh, when I did work a job, my bosses told me that due to the fact that, and they called it a Southern thing. Okay. Now as Southern people, we do talk with our hands, but apparently uh i scared the hell out of a couple of people and they thought that me talk with my hands was being aggressive and my Ooh. boss told me that when i talk to people the best thing that could i could do is put my hands in my pockets Ugh. so when i go out which is extremely rare nowadays again yeah. self-imposed hermit um I, when you, when I talk to somebody, you'll see me put my hands in my pocket mm. and it become a, uh, because people were nowadays in this culture and me being a good 20 years older than you. Okay. Uh, the world has done a 360 as, as far as changing on what's politically correct and what's not, what's considered aggressive and what's not. Um, if I was still in the South, okay, I would fit in perfect and I would just be typically normal. Mm -hmm. When I was in Minnesota and now that I'm in Kentucky, okay, uh, even when I was in Atlanta, 
you know, it was like, you know, it, me talking with my hands come across as aggressive. Because again, we're big people, we're bold people, we're look at me people, we're loud people. Yeah, because, everyone talks with their hands where I'm at, so. Yeah. And my husband, you know, has, has told me, you know, uh, you're loud tonight, honey. Did you know that? Because I give him permission to, if I'm loud or if I'm, I'm extremely anxious or I'm running, blowing and going and like, get out of my way, get out of my way and not being respectful or courteous because we get that away mm -hmm. to where it's like, I'm busy. I, I get out. Of, you're, you're in the way. I'm busy. Move, you know, move. Um, he has full permission to call me on this and I cannot get mad at him. Yeah. And, you know, so he'll go, you're talking really loud tonight. Did something happen? Are you upset? You know what? And it's like, no, I'm just, it's that octave or I'm yeah. talking really fast. Energy and, and volume control are frequently issues with neurodivergent people. When you said that we were big, loud, um, you know, uh, it was like that nailed it right yeah. there. Hello. You know, uh, and I did. I've got people that go, I don't like you. I don't like your personality. You are uh, loud. You think you're a know-it-all. Um, and you know, then I've got the opposite side of the fence. I've got people that go, well, I, I don't want to talk to you because you talk too much and, or they'll talk for, you know, 15, 20, 30 minutes. And I go, uh, you know, I, well, I got to go wash the dishes or I got to go, you know, make this phone call or I got to go and do this. And I'm like, okay, I get it. I get it. You know, um, so, no, but, uh, anyway. If I tell you I got to go because I got to do something, it means I actually had to go do the thing. I'm very little. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah. No, I, I get I, it. I, I don't make a lot of excuses. I mean, I, no, I sometimes I will either. literally be like, I'm I'm out of energy. I'm tired. So I'm going to go. I don't yeah. do the I've got to go do dishes. I'm, I'm no, just like, no, I mean, I'm this legitimately, is this is how I feel. But I, I hate when my problem is with excuses is, is I can't tell if you're telling the truth or not. I can't tell if I'm a problem or if you actually had to go do dishes. And well, it makes it's me the anxious. instant part of it because you're in the middle of a sentence yeah. and they come out with that and you can tell. Okay. Yeah. Um, but like you said, you know, sometimes you can't tell if it's a real thing or if it's, you know, uh, but if you're in the middle of a sentence and they come out with that, then that's usually like, okay, I'm talking yeah. too much or they are not interested in what I've got to say or whatever. And it's literally the OCD thing and, and the ADHD thing. Okay. Because of the fact that the two combinations are just, you know, uh, and I feel like Charlie Brown, like with the wah, wah you know, and, yeah. and, um, you know, and when you go, I feel small, that was something else that hit home, mm -hmm. you know, because um, I feel small a lot. And when you feel small, then you repeat yourself trying to prove your point, trying to, you know, get past the wah wah and yeah. get people to understand what you're saying. And you think the more you say it and the different ways that you say it, they're going to understand you. But at the same time, you're just digging a hole. Yeah. You know, and it's just making it worse. So I have kept you tied up long enough. I am so sorry. We <laughs> oh, said it's we no problem. I told, I told you I'm a night owl. It's only like one at one eleven here. I'm two hours behind you. <laughs> I'm cool. Uh, I'm not going nowhere anytime soon. So, and I, I, I oh, we're down to eight people. So, honestly, it's kind of you and me sitting there holding our own conversation. So, I probably should um, take my, my evening meds soon, but it's not like an emergency. I have to run now. <laughs> yeah, but uh, but no, I mean, you know, I'm gonna say this once again, and I really do need to shut because we are seven oh five forty nine, and eight hours uh, Facebook shuts you down at eight hours youtube shuts you down at 12 hours twitch doesn't turn off at all so um i have to watch the hours because yeah. uh facebook because i'm running three platforms at one time yeah uh that's why i said if you're on facebook come over to youtube so i can see what you're you know saying yeah. um but anyway thank you yeah. um thank you for the lovely surprise 
thank you for being my friend and thank you for being such a breath of fresh air and and um, thank you for thinking i am <laughs> you are you are you are i don't know about everybody else okay y'all might like her you don't like her that that you that's you up to y'all and y'all's business but to me she is a breath of fresh air and somebody that I don't feel small around and somebody that I uh, don't feel like I'm speaking Japanese or Charlie Brown with a wah wah. I feel like you are hearing me and you are literally understanding what I'm saying because we're both kind of in the same shoes. Yeah. Um, and I'm repeating myself. Good Lord. I don't know how many times I've repeated that. Um, so I think sometimes we repeat ourselves also because it takes that time to sink into our own heads. Like we need to hear it out loud a lot for the thought to process correctly. I kind of agree with you because after I hang up with somebody, it's like, oh, crud, I forgot to say this and I forgot to say that. Or <laughs> did I say this or did I say that? And I don't know about you, but I walk around with some type of something to write on in my hand. Mm -hmm. Because I have these what I call Zoom thoughts, you know. Oh, pads galore. <laughs> yeah. I have these Zoom thoughts that come through. Oh, that's such a great idea. Or that's a great name. And, um, you know, uh, you know, all of this. And it, I, if I don't write it down right then and there, it's gone. It's gone. Uh, uh, Nix has a new friend. Baby, Knox and I have been friends for ever in a day. This, you know, uh, now granted, I have to admit this is the first time we've ever sat here and talked as long as we have, but we've always been friends since the day I first come into the community. So, uh, but yeah. Uh, anyway, good night, everybody that's leaving. And you know what? I am fixing to cut you loose, my darling. I am going to zip it up. Okay, and um, because you're gonna go take your nighty night meds, and uh, because I have got to the point where I'm going and uh, and uh, and uh, and I'm repeating myself, <laughs> so I am listening, I am going to shut up, say thank you once again, and please know you're always welcome if I haven't run you off. You have not run me off. <laughs> And I love your art and thank you for helping Keisha with her domestic violence um, uh, event. And thank you for submitting the art to her that you have. That does mean a lot uh, that you are helping her as much as you are. Um, you yeah, know, that, that's very personal for me. And I, I wanted to help. Honestly, I, I thought at one point about doing an event like that. And I just wasn't sure I had the strength to host it. I agree. But um, the fact that she's hosting it, I was like, I could help. That, that's where just, I could step in. Uh, I, I agree. I don't know where she's getting the strength because for me, this one night has drained me. You know, just sitting here talking about our issues and our stuff like that. Yeah. Um, I feel like I've run a marathon. I don't know about you, but, you know, I feel like I've run a marathon. Um <laughs> But anyway, you know, uh, thank you for helping Keisha with that, especially with the art. The art is amazing. It rocks. It's beautiful. Um, and it really helps out her and the cause. Um, and, and granted, it's her event, but there is a humongous cause behind it. Mm -hmm. And that's one thing about it. Um, all of us. And I don't think that there is a person on this planet that can say that they did not have some type of something go on in their in their history, you know, in their background. Um, it just depends on how you look at it. Some are, are a lot worse than others. OK. Yeah. Um, I mean, I, I you know, again, I could make the hair stand up on the back of people's heads if I got into all of that. But then I mm -hmm. could sit here and write three, you know, three, not many novels. I could sit here and write three novels about my life. Oh, yeah. And it would take many, many lives to go through all the things I've been through. There you go. Uh, what was it? I think Keisha says that she was asking around about me when her and I first met and, and she was saying, you know, hey, do you know Nick Dark Sky? And everybody goes, yeah, I know Nick Dark Sky. Well, what do you know about her? Nothing. 
and because I, you know, always was so buttoned down. And again, tonight, this is rare. This mm -hmm. is extremely rare. Um, and I'd have to say this is the second time and since I started this channel that I've been doing this. Um, because again, I, I as as my great grandma taught me in the South, you don't air your dirty laundry in the yard. You know, uh, remember how they used to put their laundry on the, the on the clothesline? Yeah, that's what that meant. Uh, so I was raised that you know uh, you you kept your um, personal business to yourself. Now, I as far as you. crazy cousins, and that got nephews, me in a lot of trouble in the long run. Yeah, you do. I did a um, lot better. I mean, there are things I have not shared. There are a lot of things about me that nobody's. Nobody on the internet knows. They don't um, need to know. But the gist of it, like, I, I you don't need to know the details of everything I've been through. But to know that I have gone through something, that I'm willing to share. And that's, like, like that's been week. very helpful for me, not just everybody else, but for me to be able to talk about it, admit it, and not be ashamed of it. We, honestly, if you think about what we've talked about tonight, we have not uh, divulged any personal information mm -hmm. uh it's not that we have not on purpose it's just that we have talked about a topic yeah um not and we have shared a little bit of personal information but not this big whole you know well step a and this a you know blah 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 mm -hmm. blah, blah um you know that will never come out of me well, reliving uh, because, all the details isn't something I need to do a lot. Well, admitting I that I've like, been through trauma is helpful. Admitting what that trauma is only needs to happen in specific situations. Correct. Uh, also, too, with the way that the internet is and the mm -hmm. way that the internet rolls, let me put it that way, uh, and just change the art to something else. Um, you are literally giving people, the more you talk about yourself and the more you open up about yourself, you are literally just giving people ammunition to shoot yeah. yourself with. Yeah. Okay. And I say this all the time. Okay. And, and that's another reason why I really don't get extremely deep with, you know, uh, me and what have you. Now, am I in depression? Yes, I am. Do I have thoughts? Yes, I do. Am I going to lie about that? Hell no. Uh, it come up. I can't lie. Ain't going to lie. Don't care enough about it to lie. Yeah. Um, but at the same time, you know, I, I don't need EMS showing up at the door trying to drag me off, you know. Um, that's not happening. So, you know, but it, it was like, there's things that you said that just, it was just, it, you blew my mind, girl. You blew my mind because it was like, damn, she really gets it, you know? So thank you. You're welcome. So, would you like to discuss any of your art or anything before you say goodnight? Um, I, mean, I guess the only thing left is what I slightly touched on. I, I have some new Halloween art that's come out and both one with the diamond art and I'm painting fanatics. Um, I've got more of the, the cutesy version over at the one with the diamond art, uh, cute little witches and cats and haunted houses. Uh, more of the darker stuff is at uh, Diamond Painting Fanatics. Okay, uh, uh, yeah, I'm looking for, where did she go? Uh, I, me and these banners, man, across the bottom, so I always, there you go. There's no, there you are. Uh, again, <laughs> I think all I think all my mom's done gone to bed. Poor Travis, oh, yeah. he hangs in here as long as he, he tried. can. Like, you know, bless his little heart. After a while, he goes, "Next, I'm dead. I gotta go." <laughs> um, but I do. I forget the banner, so I apologize. But anyway, guys, there is where you can find Knox. Um, hit her up. Uh, go check out her uh, art, and which is absolutely amazing. I love the fact that you do dark art. I am so over fluffy bunnies and cats and you know all this is, I guess you could say out there. Um, it you know the I, I think a lot of people didn't realize how um, how much dark art was like. 
you know what I'm getting and because you know somebody uh especially like Diamond Art Club and and a couple other uh places that sell you know diamond paintings mm -hmm. when they come out with a couple of pieces it literally just has like this little smidge of dark art to it and it's gobbled up yep. I think that they're starting to realize that you know there's this big huge industry for this yeah um you and, know so and, and thank I, you I have that. a mix of it because it's like again what i said I, I i i make what i see and there's a lot of light and beautiful things in my life and there's a lot of dark things in my life and i like representing all of it hey i'm from the 80s everything was neon in the 80s okay yeah. so you had me at neon so uh, I am Generation X through and through, and honey, we eat, sleep, and breathe neon in Generation X. So uh, it was like, yep, that works for me. But I, I have to, um, the next diamond painting that I get, I, I, I have to buy Travis's ferrets, and then, I, then I'm going to start working on you because I have a list. Oh, okay? definitely, definitely get those ferrets from Travis. Those are adorable. <laughs> I have to. If I don't, he's going to beat me. <laughs> yeah, not to mention he's one of my best parts. Him and him and uh, Anita, man, yeah, they, yeah. They, they they can throw out some links now. I swear. Um, but so those are those are my my two rock stars. Uh, you know, not to not to say any of my other mods are bad, but usually uh, Anita and Travis are the ones that are throwing them throwing them links like crazy. Yeah, every time uh, I've been a mod, I'm like, uh, because my own neurodivergence, I'm wanting to put a link every few seconds, and I'm like, I'm going to spam, I'm going to spam the chat, so I don't, like, what interval do I put links at? Uh, honestly, every 10 minutes, and that's due to the algorithms. If you're on YouTube, it is the algorithms, and uh, because I have literally kicked myself out of my own, own <laughs> doggone chat and you will lock yourself out of youtube as well as out of facebook um I was doing it and, over 15 so it's good to know <laughs> yeah um and that's why uh you'll if you watch anita and travis okay mm -hmm. one will do one one will do one and they they flip yeah. flop back and forth um and that's a them thing i haven't said nothing about it that is literally a them thing but I appreciate all of my mods. Uh, again, I can build a roof and I can build the walls, but it is the the people that are here and the support that is here um, that is so, so appreciated. And that is not just my mods, but the people, you know, that come and hang out on Saturday nights and you uh of course and kokisha and erica and cindy and everybody else i mean literally everybody uh, i am so full of gratitude that um you know no joke i'm a nobody i'm a nobody and especially in this industry i am a nobody i am not from this industry i am like a duck out of water over here in this industry uh i am a, a cyber security specialist i have been dealing with computers before you guys had pretty little buttons to click on okay <laughs> um that's where i'm from that's that's my pond that i play in as i say uh and the same with my husband but uh you know everybody knows me as you know making putties and diamond painting trays and everything and nobody else has a clue about the rest of it i don't know why but they don't um, but you know, anyway, um, there's just, you know, I guess, you know, there, there's so many things that are in this little, what I call mud puddle, you know, this little diamond industry mud puddle. And, um, my husband told me when we first got started, he goes, that's a fad. It ain't gonna last long. <laughs> I said, well, I'm going to ride this fad till it quits. And when it quits, then I guess I'll go find something else after that. You know, that's why the name is Nix's Notions, because whatever notion pops into my little brain, that's what I can turn it into. That's pretty much how I have to live my life. It's like, you know, nothing in my life stayed the same. So let's just, let's, I agree. I'm going to surf. <laughs> Waves don't last. That doesn't mean I don't surf it. <laughs> 
Uh, honestly, I, I mean, no joke. I'm one of these people. I could get in my car and most probably drive to California, call my husband in the morning, go, yo, I'm in California and my feet's in the water. Uh, I'll be home in a couple of days. And, uh, you know, I don't know about you, but I am a spar of the moment person. Mm -hmm. and, and that's something else that people don't like about me because a lot of people can't figure me out. Mm -hmm. Because when everybody's going in a straight line, I'm either going in the opposite direction or I'm going in a straight line until I get bored and I'll take a sharp break. Yeah. You know, because I get bored. But anyway. Well-planned and spur of the moment. It's It's a very confusing mix. <laughs> oh, I agree. It's OCD so fanatic. It, it, I, I have, I have, I have uh, three shelves. There's wall to wall behind me, and it's my library. I can tell you every book that's on that shelf. I can tell you everything in this entire house, where it's at, what color it is, where it's supposed to be, who touched it, who moved it, and who put it there. Okay, mm -hmm. I mean it is the OCD to the max on that one. But then there's other stuff that I am so scatterbrained. Uh, I'm lucky I can remember what I had five minutes ago. Yeah. But I do know that right this minute, guys, I am starving to death. I'm doing <laughs> the pee-pee dance in my chair. Uh, all of my mods are left, so I got nobody left that I can leave the channel with to go tinkle. Um, so Mrs. Knox, I am, I'm sorry, Mrs. Uh, you don't like that. Oh, it's not. No, you. I just it's got divorced recently. So, I mean, I, I left my husband a long time ago, but we just got divorced. So my apologies. I, I, you, you do. I believe if, if this is not asking the wrong question, I believe you have uh, either you don't do titles or you don't like titles or you don't. I don't um, know. It's, I, I am technically a non-binary trans, although recently I've included uh, female pronouns as well as they, them pronouns. Both are good with me. Um, but as I prefer uh, mix MX pronounced like M I X um, okay. as far as, you know, mix Knox. Okay. How cool is that? Okay. I can deal with that. Uh, because literally, uh, but I knew that, and I knew that you had your own specific. But I honestly, sweetheart, so I've, since I've been talking to you tonight, since you showed up, I have been racking my brain trying to remember what it was, <laughs> and I knew that it was a a they or a them. Uh, and the more that I tried to focus on use the terminology they or them, the more "Hey girls" came out, you know, <laughs> and. I'm sorry. Yeah. I apologize. No, um, like I said recently, I've um, because the type of non-binary I am is gender fluid, so my gender can swap around. And right now, I feel most comfortable with either continuing with the they them's or the she hers. So you actually didn't misgender me at all. Thank you. I, I mean nothing but the utmost respect. I bow my hat. I bow down to you. I am not worthy. Uh, and I I, I swear. Please forgive me because the harder, no joke, this is mm -hmm. no lie, the harder that I tried to correct myself on the they's and them's and not, hey girl, how you doing? And man, you know, and, and, and it was like, it just got worse by the night. <laughs> and so finally, I just shut up. Um, I just shut up. If it was bothering me, I would have said something. Thank you. Uh, you are more than welcome to uh, uh, talk to me and go, yo, uh, I, I prefer this uh, and correct me on any given day because it's like, I I have to know, I'm sorry, no. <laughs> I appreciate um, it. You know, and um, because I, I got five grandkids and, and they average from eight to 18. So, you know, you going to have uh, one, thank goodness, or daddy, I, I taught him open-mindedness. So they're open-minded and whatever they decide that they want to be is perfectly fine. You know, they, them, him, her, whatever, you know, uh, I try to respect everybody. And uh, so a little bit of me felt like I needed to apologize because the harder that I tried to remember and couldn't remember, the worse I got <laughs> with the, hey, girl, you know, and it was like, sorry. No, but no anyway, uh, I, okay, you know what? <laughs> We're actually going to go this time. How about you? Are, are, are you done? I'm done. <laughs> 
Okay, because you just as bad as I am now. You admitted that yourself. Yeah, I'm, I'm done. I actually should go take pain pills and things like that. So, All right. Thank you, sweetheart, for being here. It was here. fun. Thanks for the uh, invite. Tons and tons of love, and thank you. Good night. Where Good are you night. at? There you are. Good night. Goodbye. Uh, up there you are. Remove. Okay. All right, guys, if anybody's left, wow, we still got 12 people in the room. Hey, don't forget the thumbs up. I like to thank everybody that literally showed up tonight, uh, which was honestly a big, huge surprise because when I started out, everybody was sick. Everybody was out. Nobody was here. It was me, myself, and I. And uh, the Cosmic Universe stepped up and brought us the beautiful Knox and the beautiful Erica and all the people the fabulous people in chat and um tonight turned out to be a really 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 good night and uh i still can't believe that uh uh tijuana or karina uh is still here bless your heart baby and obion rocks and punks and crafts and bessie barkley and whoever else is here um thank you guys for sticking around as long as you did thank you um because we did get a little um uh, tonight was a little more serious i guess i could say than our typical saturday night lives which again was a um a lot of help for me it was a lot of help for me i hope I hope that some of you guys out there, it kind of helps you a little bit, um, you know, the discussion that we had this evening. And, um, hey, what, you back? Come here. Uh, okay. You want your five minutes of fame. I'm saying good night. Okay. So, anyway, guys, um, thank you, thank you, thank you so much for being here. Uh, those of you that won reach out our winners for this evening let me look at this really quick was jen uh and she did message me runky and uh she was the whip winner uh cindy michelle was the patreon one and two winner and chris berman was the patreon three and four winner uh, I have heard from Jen. I have heard from Cindy Michelle. Uh, if Chris, if you would please hit me up with your with your email, reach out to me and Facebook Messenger or Messenger. Um, oh, excuse me. I got the hiccups. It would be greatly appreciated. And I can get you your gift. Um, if it's your birthday, uh, pop over to Phoenix Fantasy. You must be a member of the group. Okay um and stick your name in the birthday list can't miss it it's got a big pink birthday cake okay uh and follow the directions and you will receive a mystery birthday gift so anyway guys with that said uh i'm gonna say what i always say have a fabulous holiday weekend okay um and also have a beautiful start to your week please 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 um I challenge you to just once, just once, uh, pay it forward, okay? Uh, do something kind, do something nice for somebody else without expecting anything in return, okay? That's the whole thing about pay it forward. Uh, it's unexpected. You do something nice for somebody, and I promise you it will come back, um, and it, it, it'll feel good in the process. So anyway, guys, with that said... I am going to say, uh, one, if I can keep a ferret from falling out of my lap. Uh, thank you all for being here. Thank you for participating. Thank you for all the donations and the support and uh, the Patreon and everything else tonight. Uh, you guys literally rock. So, uh, again, I'm going to say good night for the umpteenth hundred times because for some reason or another i can't shut up tonight i literally cannot i i think if i went to bed right now i know i should probably end up talking in my sleep so uh anyway good night everybody lots of love big hugs tons and tons of best wishes 
Uh, if you're sick, please get to feeling better. Um, and again, never feel like you're alone because you're not. Um, uh, I promise you there is somebody that is literally just a click away. Okay. Mwah. Good night, everybody. Goodbye. Goodbye.